weekend, right? Every week, Saturday at um, 8 p.m. Central Time is uh, generally when I like to do this uh, show. All right, that's kind of cool. I'm gonna come. Um, I'm gonna come in every now and then. That's cool. Uh, that that's good. Is you know, the more people we can regularly have in here, the better. So by all means, yeah. man, you are welcome to come by whenever you want. Got you. Thank you, bro. You come that's if you come good. around a lot. I'm gonna make you a, a buy a custom uh, icon for you because all of us, uh, all of the main people here, have custom icons. Like Edra, he has a. That's his custom icon that I bought for him. Also, welcome to the stream, Andrew. It's not over yet, anyway. Uh, Wait, what? It's not over yet. What are you, what are you, <laughs> what are you referencing? I'm on me a Mega Man X4. Oh, okay. I thought he was referencing maybe like Sonic the Hedgehog, like in Brawl. He probably is. No, <laughs> he probably no. is. That's exactly no, what my mind know, went. I was referencing uh, Goku's back hit. Because Xeno oh, has, has a okay. I didn't realize that you were referencing that. My mind immediately went to fucking Sonic because I'm the fucking I'm the fucking like resident Sonic tuber here. I we used to have a joke where we would call Jet a Sonic tuber. He doesn't like being called a Sonic tuber, even though those are literally his best doing videos, but that's neither here nor there. Uh but we kind of uh, already like got started, but I guess I'll professionally uh start the show what is up youtube is your boy havoc i'm here with my friends intra and xenoblade 98 and welcome back to the rooftop so oh, my fault. I'm sorry. no no you're good man you're good um okay. but yeah this is xenoblade's first uh episode here i already kind of asked him how he was doing um yes sir but yeah very glad to have you on the show dude um thank, i forget thanks, it. I'm glad to be here of course of course like i said welcome to come back whenever you want to already rank you up to regulars <laughs> um oh, i got you. yeah sure. you up, buddy uh i i don't know who else is supposed to be here switch said he was also going to be here so i guess we'll wait for him um mm -hmm. i think i already asked you pretty much how your week has been uh uh kane what about you andrew how's your week been it has been it has been an experience to be honest like I, I just I'm just enjoying the week to be yeah that's really it just enjoy it nothing crazy I've been I've been cooking I've been cooking you've been cooking have you been cooking on the cooking. Stock, you've been have you been cooking on the stock market side uh no oh that's not what you've been cooking no oh you're 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 probably talking about your book yes okay I haven't had a chance to read the recent chapter yet, but I do. I probably will do that sometime tonight. Um, so yeah, I you have definitely been cooking with that, and I can't wait to see what you, this what else you decide to do with that. Um, but yeah, as far as my week has gone, pretty much just been working, trying to uh, finalize my lease. You know, completely being ended at my old place um it has been an ordeal but i'm pretty much getting it done and other than that i've just been uh i've been supporting the homies i've been reading indra's uh book blossom i've been enjoying it specifically one character in particular valentina and uh she 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 she's pretty cool even though i've only seen so much of her but you know what actions speak louder than words and the uh, first thing we see her doing is kicking ass but also upholding the the law of the school so you know what that's that that leaves a lasting impression on me and she wears yellow and black you know i'm a little biased towards that combination um but uh what else have i been doing i've been watching some streams from some homies too uh i recently watched i recently i think i started watching some of your videos carl this week earlier this week yeah um I also checked into, um, and it's funny because I checked into Neo's fucking video uh, stream that he was doing on what was it, unit you know something? What what game was he playing? Undernight, 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 um, Undernight in Birth is the second game. Yeah, mm. if if you know me, I don't really care all that much about traditional fighters, but I was like, yeah, fuck it, I kind of want to check in with him. Um, and I didn't even know you were there. It was it was a surprise to see you there, but I'm glad you were there too. <laughs> Fucking yeah, yeah. 
the way that Dio pronounced my name, it was like, how did he pronounce it? Because you immediately pronounced um, it right Havoc. afterwards. It was, like, Hav 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 he pronounced it Havok. Bro, yeah, I just I <laughs> see this dude. That's the only reason yeah, I that's how he pronounced thing. it. It's because I thought it said Havoc, because like Havoc, Havoc. I was like, which one is it? And I always called like, it Havoc. No, it's like, yeah, and, and you had it right. The thing is, and I kind okay. of, I, I was kind of like nice to him about it because I was like, it is technically spelled incorrectly, but the K, the, I don't think the K is supposed to make, the K is not supposed to make a, a separate sound. It's still supposed to be the K sound. It's, it's one of yeah. the reasons why the letter K is kind of useless because the letter that... C can make literally every word the letter K can. But that's neither here nor there. Nah, H. See, the letter C is important because the letter C, it, it sounds like a baby cub, right? And, like, the capital <laughs> is, is like a teenage cub. And, like, the lowercase <laughs> K, right? That's like a that's like an adult cub. But the uppercase K is an elderly cub. Yeah, yeah that's how it works. <laughs> the level to the C? I, I, I've never, never heard that explanation before. I've never heard that explanation either. I mean, that, that sounds That's like brilliant. Baby. It definitely sounds like that would explain why the English language doesn't make any sense because the forefathers, <laughs> like freaking of England, decided that they just wanted to just throw in random letters for no reason. It was like, you know what? Let's make a. What did you say, Ken? They turned the English language to a labyrinth. That's literally what they did. It, it seems like it, bro. It makes no sense. <laughs> see, see, shout out to my fourth grade English teacher for uh, teaching me that analogy. <laughs> Even though yeah. right after she said, if that doesn't make any sense, I don't know either. Yeah. Yeah, I was about to say that. It's a crazy analogy, bro. Um, but what else have I been... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The last thing that I checked out um, a little bit was some of uh, uh, Wesley's Hi-Fi Rush uh, playthrough. I didn't get a chance to watch very much of the first one, but I did watch more of the second one. And I gotta say, it definitely... It, it's a nice-looking... It's a nice-looking game. Um... But me and Wesley, sometimes we like to butt heads when it comes to, like, which waifus are better or worse. And so he's obsessed with Corsica. So I was like, you know what? Corsica is I, but I think Peppermint's prettier. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to start talking about her more just to see if I can get a rise out of Wesley. Because I think I, I forget what happened with that. We did that with fucking Resident Evil 4 as well because he's a like a big fan of Ada and I've always preferred Ashley. So anytime he talks about Ada, I specifically just say like, well, but Ashley though, Ashley's better. And it, <laughs> it always it, it always is sensitive and it's so hilarious. Yeah, oh Ashley's goodness. better, Jill's better myth, Ada won. Lost one. <laughs> I do, I do like Jill better than Ada, but Ada's cool though. Oh, Jill, I like Jill uh, more than Ada too, personally. And this yeah, is not really yeah. Like against Ada, I think Ada's fine, but it's just like I don't know, man. I, I don't yeah. mind the exercise of having to go around and freaking chase Ashley down. I do not mind it. <laughs> I heard a lot of people hate Ashley. Runs it even more, bro. Well, I mean, <laughs> I like her better in I like her better in the game in the new game now because at least she follows you. Her AI is way better. She doesn't really get in trouble like that. And when she does, all you got to do is just you know rescue her and all that other kind of stuff. And I mean, you know, yeah. right, right. Um, but what about you, Switch? I swear this past like month and a half, you you've been done with like one corporation over another. Man. Last week. This week is Nintendo, but last week uh, not Nintendo, Nickelodeon. But last week it was someone else. And I can't quite remember who Oh, you sweet were. baby ink. Sweet uh, baby yep. ink is yep. who you, is you, you were fed up with last week. Yep. That's probably gonna be a thing for a while, bro. It should have been a thing for a while, because I've been trying to be cool about it. But like <laughs> Man, <laughs> no. I'll get into that later, but bruh. We yeah, going we're... full Osama on these companies, bro. Grabbing yeah, fucking bruh. Boeing 357. Well, honestly, the fan no, you know what it is? The fans need to take that. We need to take our stuff back. Like real talk. That's we need to take we need we need to take our stuff back now. We absolutely do need to. <laughs> we need to gatekeep like the bronies, bro. They'll straight kill somebody for they shit. <laughs> You're not wrong. You're not wrong. How do you guys feel about bronies in here, anyone? Anyway? They scare me, genuinely. Uh, bronies are kind of, to me, bronies are kind of up there with, like, furries, to me. Um, I feel like they're kind of next-door neighbors. 
I mean, I'm I'm not a part of either fandom, so I'm kind of indifferent to both of them. I know that they both carry their crazy stigmas and such. Uh, right. I'm, I'm, I'm looking for I'm, I'm looking for a turn your brain off game right now, and everything I'm seeing, everything I'm looking at right now is just games that are just going to amp me up. I need something to just I end the to game. Turn your brain off game, Xenoverse. Yeah. <laughs> that's not a that's not a turn your brain off game. You got to calculate the lag spikes in that bitch. Fuck no. Well, that's if you yeah. play PvP. Generally, if you play PvE, you don't got to worry about that. You just mash you just mash X. So, hey, do you want to hear about the latest <laughs> update and you know, let me stop. Nah. <laughs> Fuck. Don't it's don't play a raid. raid. If you play PvE, don't play a raid. How's that? <laughs> yeah. Cuz apparently you can't do that no more without something fucking up on you. I'm gonna play Uno. That's what we going to do. That know, playing, seems playing, like you know. in, entirely in the other direction, but all right. <laughs> I don't know who's turning, their, who's turning their brain off playing Uno. That's exactly. what I'm trying to figure out. <laughs> that's the, that's hey. the most competitive. Imagine, yeah. like, Maybe if you want to, if you want to lose, you can turn your brain off. <laughs> I was gonna say, well, the the actually no, there's this RPG card game, this voice of, voice of cards game that I should probably play just because I'm today was just I'm just ugh. Yeah, it definitely seems like I I got off lucky because I, a good chunk of today I was working and the other chunk I was asleep, so I didn't I didn't get to actually take part in the chaos. Like you guys are actually going to introduce the chaos to me. Yep. So, so oh, yeah, I'm I'm. This is all new to me. Everything that's happening with Nickelodeon and stuff. I've kind of been getting wanting to get into this whole thing, and I was going to watch quite on set myself. But I couldn't find a place to watch it 100% legally for free before I got tired. And I was not about to give HBO Max my money. I wasn't about to give Prime Video my money. So, <laughs> so I'm good. I'll, yeah. just let y'all, I'll just let y'all tell me about it later. I think I have it lined up to where it's the last topic we talk about before okay. we any meme stuff. So we'll have plenty of time. Sure yeah, of I was going to say. And also, uh, we, got, we also got to talk about... Uh, uh, not, well, yeah, Dragon's Dogma, but um, yeah, Dragon's oh, Dogma. Uh, yeah. uh, we also got to talk about there's something else. Uh... Oh, and uh, Star Wars, George Lucas, more specifically. Right, that's that's on the list too. I think. Okay, cool. So the yeah. George Lucas thing comes. Yeah, the George Lucas thing comes up out right before the Dan Schneider thing. Okay. Yeah. So like all the beefier topics are closer to the end. I mean, bro, H, this this Dan Schneider shit is literally like when you get into it, it's like it's like deal, dealing with the devil, bro. You just <laughs> it's like dealing with the devil. It makes you devil. rethink a whole lot of stuff, bro. Honestly, like bro. It, it'll re it'll make you rethink your whole childhood. <laughs> yep, mm. yep. All of them jokes that were kind of questionable, but you didn't think about it because you were a kid. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, no, it, yeah, no. We'll, we'll we'll talk about it. We'll talk right. about it. <laughs> but before we do that, let's break the ice. We have um, Kane is new here, so we have yet to actually do one of these with him. We're going to play a fun game called Would You Rather. And I've got an interesting one we could start with here. Mm -hmm. But it could be scary depending on how you look at it and how you, you view it. But would you rather live in a house with no windows or live in an all-glass house? No windows. Okay, so why do you say no windows, Andrew? Well, for, I've been to a public school before. This ain't any different. <laughs> <laughs> this ain't any different. You go to I, had to, I had to think about that for a second. I'm like, I, I, okay, yeah, you're. I get your string of logic there. <laughs> Pretty much was like that in public school, yeah. <laughs> any other reason right, besides would, that? If I would pick one, I'd probably pick the same thing. I ain't gonna lie. The windows they be having in public schools be mad fake. <laughs> bro, they're not. They yeah. don't even use glass. It's just straight plastic. Like, that's just what I'm saying. It's straight plastic. Like, bro, it looked like glass, but it's not glass. It that's actually, crazy. I've never actually gone up to a public school window and like felt the material that it's made out of. But it does. They do look fake, though. I just no, always, it's, I mean, it's actually just straight up plastic. Like the ones at my school. First of all, the ones we didn't ha we didn't have a lot of windows at my high school. All right, we had like four windows total. In that bitch for like hundred plus fucking kids, it <laughs> it was bad. And those four windows, straight plastic. One of the kids pushed the fucking shit out the frame. Shit hit the ground, didn't even shatter. It just said boom. <laughs> 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 
Yeah, she just feel wild. That is pretty wild, yeah. What, what about good. what about you, Switch? Uh well let's see. The last place I the last place I lived in got really hot. So it was pretty much like in the it got really hot during the summertime, so it was pretty much like living without any windows. So I'll, I'll take an all glass house. No, that's gonna be far worse. Cause you know when the sun, the sun beams its light down and shit. It'll go through the glass. Oh, okay. Burn. Oh yeah, no, never mind. Uh, yeah, you can cook. Sure. Yeah, no, I'll, I'll take the one on the left, and I'll take the, I'll take living in a house with no windows, cause I can make my own ventilation at that point. Yeah, that's yeah, true. Yeah, See, I can't even be a contrarian in this one. Maybe if I was an extrovert, I wouldn't mind having an all glass house because then, hey, there's more people to talk to and interact with. But I don't like people like that. So, yeah. <laughs> like, you know, I, was about yeah. To, I was about to say, like, bro, what if you got to take a shit? Yeah. I mean, <laughs> it said it said live in an all glass house. Exactly. So. That means the toilet's glass, your walls is glass, everything's oh, glass. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Every single thing is made of glass. Now I think about it. Yeah, you're right. I wouldn't necessarily want to have anybody watching me take a shit. That's that, that that's oh, fair enough. Especially, especially being head. especially being lactose intolerant, I can accident I could just eat like a, a muffin and like that chef just decided to just fill it with fucking milk and I'm gonna be on the toilet for a while. <laughs> just like oh wow, I just wanted wow. to enjoy this one thing and my body said no, fuck you. So yeah, I could see why I could see why that might not work so yeah house with no windows i kind of want to see if i let me see if i can find another another good one we also have more people uh, checking out the stream whoever you are thank you for checking it out if you want to go ahead and chat we can throw your comments up on screen as long as it's not some bullshit and uh, if you want to stick around for more episodes we do this on a weekly basis so be sure to stick around huh human interaction this is yeah. I was about to say it's probably because of Kane. You know, we're with a famous person now, so that probably helps. Wait, Kane's famous? Oh yeah, totally. Are you fucking with me, or is he actually? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What? He's, he's totally famous. I wasn't even listening. <laughs> what? What happened? No, I said I said Kane's famous, so that's why we're getting so many more viewers. It probably is because I retweeted it. I well, retweeted I've, your link. I was like, I was about to say, you I mean you're one of the only people that do. So it's like, but then again, yeah, not everybody right. that's not everybody that's on the panel follows the the Twitter for some reason. Hey, if you're on the panel, maybe you know follow the Twitter if you have Twitter. Some people don't. Um, I know Inja does, but I no, I got rid of that shit. <laughs> you got rid of your Twitter. Remember, I quit Twitter because um obvious reasons. I mean, that's fair. Like I said, the only time I really use Twitter is for this show, and that includes the the Twitter for the show. Mm. This this could be this could be an interesting one. Let's try this one. Yes, sir. Would you actually no? We're we're this is a room. Actually, no, because it's a room full of black dudes, that might make this more interesting. Oh, I, I know without any context, that sounds really bad. Don't worry, it's about <laughs> to get worse. Uh. <laughs> Would you rather? Always be aroused or never feel arousal at all. Oh hell! No. <laughs> <laughs> Just the collective, what? like, okay, this one's like a lot harder. <laughs> Literally, what the fuck, dog? What the fuck? <laughs> this is crazy. So much, this one is so much better than the last one. Well, what do y'all? I mean, okay, <laughs> wait. So hold on, pause. Does Viagra work? <laughs> if, like you never feel it. I, I, would, I would, I would say that's defeated the purpose. So no. But if you pick the second option, Viagra just does not work. Damn. It shouldn't your work. Body's <laughs> immune. Yeah, well, well, your body's <laughs> immune to it for whatever reason. Yo ass got ED with a capital in bold letters D. <laughs> Erectile <laughs> destruction. Like no. That's Erectile destruction is wild, bro. What is that? No, this is wild. <laughs> Erectile destruction, dude. <laughs> I mean, if it was me, it's probably never at all. I'm already had certified hater underneath my name, so might as well. Certified hater and certified, I don't know what else you would call that. <laughs> <laughs> so certified hater of fucking arousal, I guess. Certified hater of sex. I mean, you'd be right there with Jed with his fucking 
degenerate ass. So. A little bit. Uh, I would just, I would just take the one. I would just take the one on the left. Uh. Why do you say that? Uh, I would just find a way to just deal with it. Like, you know, <laughs> you make it sound so easy. <laughs> yeah, you just gotta I wear mean, larger pants, bro. Just gotta yeah, wear larger just, pants. Larger yeah, underwear. Just, I guess. I mean, that would give you an excuse to, I guess, just always wear like sweatpants because yeah. there's like a stigma with like black dudes. Like, if if, if they're wearing like sweatpants, if they're naturally going to be able to like see it better anyway. So you can kind of get away with it, maybe. I don't know. You can kind of get away. No, no, unfortunately. That, that, my... <laughs> no. What are you say, about to say, Indra? Because it sounded like you were about to say something fucking unnecessary. What were you about to say? I was going to say some shit like, unfortunately, my shit's like Drake, so that sweatpants method doesn't work. The but, fuck oh, does that no. even mean? <laughs> what does that mean? Hey, if you say, I've never seen Drake. I don't know what that means. I've never seen Drake's penis. I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means. <laughs> No, I was gonna say, neither have I, I, and I don't need to. I don't. I mean, no, it's I not, something okay, look, I have my seen entire it. life, never knowing. I, I was gonna it, say, right? I have, look, I haven't seen it, but I have seen memes of it, and like the memes are saying that shit is like fucking huge. I've, <laughs> I've went, I've went all of my life without seeing that, and I'm like, yeah, I'm good. I don't, I don't. My <laughs> life is Crimson no longer. Has seen it. Uh, the only, Crimson's the only reason. Seen it, yeah. No, no, he's confirmed to have seen it. Because what do you the mean only he's reason confirmed to have seen it. Huh? No, <laughs> remember, AG said this. He said this in the server. When, <laughs> what did he say? I forget what he said specifically. He said some shit like Drake's dick got leaked or some fuck shit like that. Oh, and you're right. Like, he well, must want know. to bring that up. I That's the only reason I know he even got that, that shit leaked. I'm <laughs> like fucking crimson. Then again, he was the one who also like I think was the one who to bring up. Not only did he bring up the video of I show speeds like freaking dick getting like shot, oh. but he also posted the picture of it. So Whoa. <laughs> he the, he posted the video. He po that's the only reason that I ever saw it. I have him to th to thank. I literally <laughs> would have been able to live my entire life not seeing I show speed sp uh, penis, but Crimson. because I know Crimson King 03, I have seen I show speed. <laughs> <penis>. so, <laughs> no. He put his whole name out there. That's crazy. <laughs> no, that's <laughs> no, yeah, I want I want people to know who this nigga is that keeps doing this. <laughs> Bro, imagine having your internet oh, government name out there. Penis. That's crazy. Oh, right. <laughs> I need everyone to know. He like, put Buddy's not, whole he internet him. government name out there. That's wild. <laughs> like, like he did it. It's him. <laughs> that nigga right there. I know. Right? It's to like come up like one day maybe like one day i do become a little bit more prevalent in like probably most likely the sonic community if someone's going to bring up something about me say so you've seen i show speeds penis I'll, I'll be like no someone against my will showed me i show speeds penis and his name is crimson king zero three he yep, that, saw it and then decided to share it with the rest of the class <laughs> <laughs> like that, that fucking age this nigga what? H gonna be like, yep, that's him, the one with the Goku black profile picture. Yep, <laughs> oh, I mean, known as King and Cream. I get asked a question like that. I'm gonna go full Takashi six nine. I promise you, I will. <laughs> I, I go out of my way to find that shit, bro. I do not. I promise you, I don't. <laughs> oh my goodness. So, Indra went. Switch went. Kane, I think you went too, Kane. I think I'm gonna say always be aroused. I'm gonna say always be aroused because again, gives me an excuse to wear baggy stuff all the time. You know, if someone's looking down at my freaking hard dick, I'm gonna be like, "What are you looking for?" Pretty much, just I can use the same excuse that that freaking like gangsters use or wannabe gangsters and thugs use whenever their fucking like pants are down around their fucking butt cheeks and you can see their fucking entire fucking drawers. So, I'll just use the same excuse. Why are you looking at my fucking fat dingling? What are you doing that for? <laughs> I, my eyes were in my face. Nah, H, it's 2024. They don't, gangsters don't use that excuse no more, bro. They be dapping up their homies like that and shit. Gripping on their shit. So I, mods will have their stuff all the way down to their ankles and just dapping each other up. That's crazy, bro. That's wild. <laughs> you don't feel a draft? You don't feel uncomfortable, bro? They never understood that. 
they be doing full dabs too. Fucking clap, hug, all types of shit. Yeah, like, like, mm, mm, yep, nope, these, nope, 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 nope. We are not doing that. <laughs> no, bro, I can't. I cannot. Uh, I, that, I, I knew that that was going to be fun, but I, that ended up being way more fun than I was expecting it to be. That was <laughs> I'm not going to lie. That was pretty cool. Yeah, we we used to do Would You Rather's pretty much like every every single episode. Um, we had in the last couple of ones only because we had fallen behind a little bit. But, yeah, yeah. That is Would You Rather. I'm about to go ahead and open up all of these topics real quick, and we can start with this first one by discussing film. Uh, open that up. There we go. All right. So. This first one says, first look at Zachary Levi as Harold in the live action Harold in the Purple Crayon movie in theaters on August. Oh my God. <laughs> hold on, bro. Hold on, bro. Who sat? I need to know who sat in the meeting for this. It was like, all right, guys, we need an idea for the movie. How about Harold in the Purple Crayon? What? What? Yeah. What That's like having the boxcar children. That's like making a boxcar children movie, but instead, all the kids are named adults. And if you know what the boxcar children is, you're a legend. I uh, I guess I'm not a legend because I don't know what. Yeah, I, I guess I'm not either. I'm sorry. That yeah, it's, it's a it's a book that it's a childhood book of mine that I used to read a lot when I was a kid. But yeah, they made as far as I'm concerned, there's only one book. Mm. They've been in that box. They're still in that box car because that box car is awesome. Anyway, anyway, don't worry about that. Um, but anyway, no, 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 no. I want to know who thought that that was gonna be a good idea for Zachary Levi of all people, because you could tell. Come on now, bro. You you don't feel embarrassment. I. He don't feel embarrassed. I would feel embarrassed. Th no, this is a Shazam three. Maybe like, they're bro, punishing him. Like, Yo, maybe this is punishment. What if this is punishment for how bad Shazam two was? You bombed like, Shazam two. Time to get in the fucking onesie, <laughs> right? <laughs> that is wild, man. I've never heard of that book before, by the way. I felt like I've seen it. Actually, no, reverse. I feel like I've. I feel like I've seen it, but it's it's funny because I'm actually the opposite. I I haven't read the book or checked out the book, but I've seen the cartoon. I've seen the Herald in the Purple Crayon uh, cartoon. I've seen that. Mm. I've never read the book. You know what? This nigga Cat Williams might be right, bro. Hollywood might be doing <laughs> some gay ass shit to these fucking actors, bro. <laughs> <laughs> this like, like, you cannot be in a onesie at first, because at first, if, at first, it looks like a, a reboot of like a ripoff of like the Tick, and now it's what I thought at first. But I'm like, they already did that, and the Tick was actually decent from what I hear. But I'm like, no, this isn't. This isn't the Tick. Okay, so if it's not the Tick, it's the and it ain't, and it ain't the Blue Man, and it's not the Blue Man Group, because there's only one dude. So uh, he's no. This is not gonna work. No. Absolutely. Zachary, you don't need money. Uh, you need to fire your agent. He doesn't even look like the boy, bro. He's not more than like him. Got you going like this? You That's can't let that nigga be alive out here. Black that, that nigga. I'm sorry. <laughs> Honestly, what do some of these comments say? <laughs> <laughs> the he first was, one. Seems a bit old for that role. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a, a, a a little bit like, Wait, Honestly. so. Uh, look, look, I want to know. So is is it going to be a baby that transforms into a, uh, into an adult? Because it's I, like, bro, you did that twice. Nah, nah. Yeah, this is going to be a whole ass man acting like a baby, bro. That's going to be dead. I really hope it's not what that is. That sounds absolutely no, that trash. I'm willing to bet cash money that that's probably what it is. Oh, I'm not even going to lie to you. This is like casting Dave Batista to play like a live action boss baby. Fucking... <laughs> No, oh. this is like no, this is like casting Dave Batista to to play Caillou. Oh, oh no. God! <laughs> oh, oh no! Because <laughs> it's like I like Dave Batista. I have a lot of respect. I like. Yeah, I was gonna say no. I like Dave Batista a lot. I'm just like that'd be one of the things. I'm like, bro, oh, you were in Blade Runner. Runner. Why are you here? <laughs> Like, why are, why are you here? Like you got Marvel money. You're an actual bona fide actor now. What are you talking? You don't need to do this. This <laughs> shambles after Shazam. What is 
Third movie like when Zachary Levi plays a child. That is true, because he did play a, a child in both Shazam. Somebody <laughs> said fire his manager. Well, I yep. Shazam too. <laughs> the meme came yep. back. Look at this grown ass man. It's always good. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> What's that, brother? You know what? This is, this is exactly what happened. This this is exactly how I felt when I saw Drake Bell playing Timmy Turner in the live action. Oh, you know, no, 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 for real. When he was still in fifth grade, I'm like, bro, why? Like, why? why did that, you remind me that, that existed, bro? Why did you remind me of that? Especially after yesterday, bro. Oh, oh yeah. I just, <laughs> bro, this shit, this shit killed me because this nigga, bro, this nigga Timmy was still in fifth grade. This man was That's in a playing. classroom. Full of fifth graders, big as hell, sitting in this tiny ass desk and shit, still catching Fs. Like, nigga, you stupid. Yeah. <laughs> man, like, bro, how? Yeah. It was great. Yep. I guess maybe maybe that was Dan Schneider's idea. That, that was definitely Dan Schneider's yeah. idea. Yep. <laughs> that, was a, that was a Schneider move for real. That was yep. a Schneider, but bro, we got to make that into a thing. Like, Freaking anytime a company does something like really sus, we just got to label it with that was a diner sh Dan Schneider move for real. <laughs> mm -hmm. Fucking Harold and the purple crayon shit. This is a Dan Schneider move for real, for real. <laughs> yeah. He <laughs> took somebody Schneider off, bro. Crayon. Schneider uh, crayon. And what's worse is Zach didn't have to take this role, bro. He could have did something else. Like, they could have used you as Century, bro. What you doing? <laughs> You should have went the the fucking uh what's his face Sean Schimmel route and started pl playing video games, bro. That would have been but that would have been more respectable than this. <laughs> oh my god! But we go from one uh production that's probably dead dead on arrival to another production that's probably dead on arrival. Uh, clips what is from this? Amazon, clips oh, from the fall. Fallout series. This show is gonna be wild. Let's see if that's actually the case. Leave him alone. Now, I seconds in, I already want to shoot myself. Why, why is she... she doesn't know how to act? What, 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 she looked so uncertain. Yeah, she, you know what it is? It, I'm like, I'm I look, I'm I'm reading, I'm picking up on her body language and just her face. She doesn't know what she's doing. I, I, well, like, I, part of me went immediately to AI, but I'm thinking maybe it's not AI. Maybe she just no. really doesn't know how to act. No, <laughs> it's not AI. She doesn't know what she's doing, bro. <laughs> she doesn't get it. Girl, like, I'm not even a Fallout fan, but like, she doesn't get it. Like, bro, you're in a post-apocalyptic wasteland. You gotta, you you gotta be better than this. You gotta this up. Yeah, like this is like your first. It's it, it's like a first day college student, and I know because I took acting classes in college, bro. That insecure, you don't fully know what you're doing. You haven't figured yourself out. Trust me, I've been there. But like, yeah, we're still here. Honestly, but yeah, keep going. Like I was about to say, I've seen fucking better acting in Fallout Girls. But shoot him, your charisma is about to zero. Why are you I, about to say this I can physically feel the negative charisma stat. <laughs> 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 if that was the intention, a little cringy, but I guess I can respect it a little bit. <laughs> oh, I'm a little cool. No, okay. Please tell no, me he's the, the main character cool. and she was just like stalling. <laughs> no, no, she should. She's no, she's the main character. I I don't. I don't think he is. You know what? That's my reaction seeing this bullshit. Yeah. yeah. This looks, if I if I had to freaking stick around with this fucking lady, see that you could tell like the the difference in acting ability between all three of those. The freaking dude with no nose and the freaking Brotherhood people, uh, the Brotherhood dude, they sounded incredibly confident in their lines. And even if the lady's supposed to be sounding like not confident, she. I don't know. She sounded. She still sounded like she didn't understand what she what was going on. Yeah, and also to the dialogue, she said a whole lot of nothing in five minutes. You could have cut down that whole paragraph by like yeah, that's half. Just, yeah, that was unnecessary. Like why? Like if you, like vault dwellers. I like vault dwellers. I'm sure know how to talk. Like and they know how to speak succinctly. I'm sure. So yeah, come on now, bro. Hello, sir. If you are willing to terminate this individual right here, uh, I shall stop you from doing so because that is such a bad thing to do. Like, bitch, shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, like... <laughs> he should have so just shot her like he should have just shot her like two minutes in and just been like pow and walked off. 
Shit, Man, that's, that's gonna fans looking at the shit they got, bro. Let's yeah. Not <laughs> oh, yeah. bro. And that's not. I don't even exist. I, I yeah, <laughs> no, that show doesn't exist. I don't care what people say. Absolutely not. So I'm not. I'm exist. not about to sit that here. Show doesn't exist. Have sex again. I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. Leave him alone. I have no interest in seeing that a second time. Oh my goodness. All right. So, next item of the day: Dragon Ball Sparking Zero Power versus Speed trailer. All right. I'm pretty sure Crimson was the one who posted this. Either Crimson or Reed. I forget exactly which one. Neither of which are here. So yay! No, so let's let's take a look at it because I'm still kind of interested in this game. If Jet was here, he'd he he'd be a bigger certified hater than freaking uh, Kane right now. But I'm oh no still... no I probably no he'd probably be hating just as much as me if I'm being okay. honest. <laughs> Fair enough, I guess. But let's take a look. Gotcha. <laughs> You'll soon understand the difference in our power! My speed is unmatched even among the prime troops! I forgot how black disco was. What? I forgot how black disco was with like the English <laughs> dub. Because I was about to say, I, I never heard that before. Really? Do y'all not play Xeno Xenoverse two? No, I play. I don't the play Japanese Xenoverse. Version. Period. <laughs> yeah, I don't play Xenoverse either. Okay, see, I, that that's why I wasn't surprised because Dispo's in that game, and yeah, he sounds just as black in that game as he does. I played it with the Japanese voices. I don't play with the English voices. Oh either. yeah, that's right. You're fucking weird. Yeah, that's the first I heard of his voice in English. <laughs> Oh my goodness. This is the true might of a Super Saiyan strength. Okay, Trunks. Oh, yeah, that's where that Okay, is. Trunks. I didn't, realize, I, didn't, I didn't realize that he got eviscerated by Trunks. Hey, hey come on, Trunks. Let's rock. Yeah, Yo, Trunks right. is my favorite character. I don't even care. I think Super Trunks Explosive Wave way. was either one of his supers or his ultimate. In it was his ultimate. It was, yeah, so that looks very pretty. That looks great. And that's one thing that I do like about this game, but I hope that they still focus on, like, the <clears throat> old mechanics from the game as well as the cinematics. Because cinematically, this game looks really, really nice. Oh, they had a, bro, H, they had a gameplay trailer. Dog, it's it's heaven. It looks like heaven. It looks I like thought, heaven. It looks, it looks amazing. I saw that, too. I don't think anyone put it here in the lineup. But I saw it too. It looks so beautiful. So is this supposed to be the next Dragon Ball Z game? Yes, the next Budokai Tenkaichi. Yes, yeah, the next recent game. Like bro, they got. I may have to switch. I mean, I definitely, I definitely want to get it because one, the Budokai Tenkaichi. You guys already know how I feel about Raging Blast too. Like so, that's, that's the, they got the they got the Raging Blast two mechanic in that bitch. They got the ooh. Yeah. Wait, yeah. wait, 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 wait. Basically, I, wait. between both series. You just unlocked a core memory for me. I remember playing Budokai Tenkaichi. Yo, this might be a first day buy for me. I'm not even going front. I kind of want to. I'm. I'm gonna keep my. I'm gonna keep my ear to the ground. So far, I do want to get it. So far, um, but I'm still kind of skeptical because I still need to see more gameplay. Because that's fair. I need to see more gameplay. It looks good, but I want to see yeah, more. They they got it visually, and they got and they, they I mean, the oh, fact yeah, that no, they're going to, they, they, it's probably one of the best looking uh, like Dragon Ball games of all time. I was gonna say this is this is rivaling uh, Fighter Z, to be honest with you, because Fighter Z is like the best thing I've seen. Oh, so far. better than Fighters. I think this game looks way better than Fighters. That's oh yeah, yeah, definitely. That's probably a hot take, but this game, game looks way. Better I, I personally better. don't agree. So <laughs> that, Holy, hey, that's fair. My only complaint mm -hmm. is that they changed the beam class yeah, system to the. Yeah, to no, the, we um, they, they changed the beam class system to like similar, similarly to how it worked in like Budokai Three with the ultimates. Now, the older, yeah, the Budokai Three Infinite World. Oh. See, my, my complaint with that is, um, the new generation doesn't get to suffer the blisters on their hands like we did. I hope yes, they have maybe like higher <laughs> difficulties. That's what we need. We need like a classic difficulty that basically makes things as hard as it was back in the day. So we can still so we can still kind of like appreciate it for how difficult this series can get. Because I'm watching right now, I'm watching Dada Doya suffer through Budokai Tenkaichi 2. And I'm like, I really hope there's stuff like that in this game. 
because those games could get fucking brutal with some of the side content. I'm, like, I'm right? just hoping that there's not a switchboard of this shit because I know that bitch is going to run like ass. It probably <laughs> is. No, no, it let, probably let, let's is. Be, I'll say, let's be real. We're they're, 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 Let's be real. They are going to do a switchboard, and let's also be real. It's going to be trash. Yeah. The switch port is going that, to be fucking stupid. the switch and and bad ports go together like mashed potatoes and gravy. It's kind of inevitable. Like it's kind of inevitable. It's a bad meme at this point. Does anyone remember Kakabsa? I remember her because a uh, uh, rebrand, fucking bitch. <laughs> They'll probably put Ribrian in this game too. But they, know, they definitely are because she was part of our squad, so they definitely want to put her in the game. But I'm glad to say, quick some of the other super like like characters from Super that were actually sort of interesting. Some some love here too. I, I was I was going to say, quick question: Are they bringing back like everybody? Like we're talking Z Fighters, GT. We don't we don't know. They're, they're most definitely probably, doing all that. Yeah. Yeah, they're probably okay. focusing Z and Super right now. But it's on that Namco, so we are going to get DLC, and that's probably where all the other stuff is going to be, like GT, the movies, you know, classic mm-hmm. Dragon Ball. Because you got to remember, like, Dragon Ball's, like, representation, especially when it comes to Super, it's going to be a lot of Super characters in there. No, for yeah. sure. Yeah. We're going to see some irrelevant-ass niggas, like, fucking copy Vegeta, bro. Yep. <laughs> yep. Yeah. For Damn sure. Cool. I wouldn't be surprised if this game had seasons and every season was like focused around a specific like part of one of the anime. Like you know, if they had a copy Vegeta season, <laughs> bro. Imagine yeah, if they had fucking looking... battle passes, bro. They had fucking shit ass battle. I'd hang I it up. I can see them having you, battle. You, passes. you know that. Uh, look, look. We we all know that they will most likely. Xenoverse didn't have a battle pass though, so that's that's the thing. Maybe, really? maybe they, they'll have one. Maybe they really? won't. I don't that's know. something. I was gonna say that's something. Yeah, really that's, that's weird, ain't it? For like, yeah, Xenoverse has never gotten a battle pass, which is really weird because they easily could have like done one, but I don't know. Uh, you're my friend. <laughs> How many ladies are there? Hey, hey, Roshi, the next time, Roshi. I'm old, yes, but experienced. I unironically really love this variation of Roshi. I kind of, I kind of like it. I don't think it gets enough love, like in general. The sacred. Not really. No, we gotta have. Wait, hold on. Man, what they they, they, like it comes to in the tournament of power. I don't think I got that far. I don't remember. But like, bro, imagine UI Roshi from the manga. That'd be crazy. No, like right. they can literally, they could go like stupid with this game if they really wanted to, because it's not like they haven't done what if stuff before. Like Raging Blast, like I think both Raging Blast one and two both had two characters that do not exist: Super Saiyan three Broly, and Super Saiyan three Vegeta. So they can easily do something like that. Hachiak technically does exist. He's just a movie villain. No, no, he does exist. He just doesn't exist in the main story. Well, I, that's not what I mean. What I mean is literally like it's just never been seen before. At least oh, like, you're talking about hypothetical. Okay. No, yeah, no, hypothetical no, no. I see what you're talking about. My fault. No, yeah, yeah. I see what you I'm mean. A completely hypothetical. So, yeah, we can. Well, then. Let like playtime begin. Hey, my fault. Whether it's this universe or the other. I'm going to be a little fun of these guys. What, what did you say? That's to be expected. I said, I said, Napa, I think it's time to have a little fun with these guys. No, absolutely. <laughs> bro, they bring it back. Why, bring it back again. You, oh my gosh, bro! Napa is about to get his fucking ass kicked. Bro, <laughs> <laughs> was like, "I'm behind you, stupid." <laughs> Size means nothing when you're as quick as me. Nigga, you are bigger than him. What are you talking about? <laughs> Burner, <laughs> okay, Burner, you play. <laughs> He still plays like he did back in the older Budokan game. It, yeah, his freaking annoying. Bro, Burner's combos are so annoying to deal with, especially when you, you're someone that actually knows how to use him because he he hits so fucking fast. So fast, bro. He be having woodpecker kicks. I'm like, bro. <laughs> Honestly, Relax. Like, it's not that serious. Yeah, the only other person that moved just as fast is like this. I need to know if they're like guaranteed ultimates again. 
Because like that's well, one I, thing that we haven't seen in a while. Is like yeah, that probably is. Yeah. They're probably holding off on that. I yeah yeah. I expect them to still have some team ultimates in here too. And like, man, Jace, Jace, I love Jace. You're a team yeah. Team. Oh, I think that's a, that's a team ultimate right it there, just, ain't it? It looks, it looks it like nice. might, See, that's the thing. It might be, but that also might just be Jace's ultimate. Because I remember in one of the, it was either three or two, it was, where it was they, both um, of them. Oh, uh, where like they basically included Birder into his ultimate. But what that's, I mean by team yeah. ultimates, I mean like you have a member, you have like a character on your team, and like they do a unique ultimate. If the if that character's on your team, that's what I mean. Yeah, and, and Android 17, 18, they do the same thing for theirs. Yeah, yeah. Fucking deadly dance. <laughs> that, 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 or was, it was a deadly dance or was it endless violence? I think they're both the same move. I think they're both the same move, but I think they were named like different things between games because I'm yeah, they sure were the same thing between both variations. It, it could be though. This could be a team ultimate. This could just be Jace's ultimate because it's like I don't know why Jace wouldn't have Crusher Ball or Crusher Volcano as his ultimate. But I guess we'll. I guess we'll see. That looks really good. Yeah, yeah. A purple comment. That's a hollow purple. Fuck, is they talking? About? <laughs> hollow purple. Hey, hell. Android, please. This looks epic. I know. Absolutely. You know what's funny? I always wanted a game where it like after you watch Dragon Ball, like if you after you watch uh Dragon Ball Z, you go out and play it. Oh for I was sure. like doing I was like watching something and then go going to play what I watch, that mm-hmm. kind of thing. So yeah, yeah that, this that's cool. definitely something you could definitely do. It did. Hopefully we'll be able to do, it looks like we'll be able to do that again. My question is, will we get those earrings that amplify the characters? I would assume so, but yeah, yeah. we haven't exactly oh, seen that just shit. yet, but I assume. That, yeah, they might. That would actually break online, because this game is supposed to have online multiplayer. <laughs> Imagine what? fighting a red Patara hit and getting fucking well, they, annihilated. You can do it like Destiny 2, with Trials of Osiris, where there's a specific mode where they allow you to do that, but they don't allow you to do that literally in every online mode. But it would be fun to, to see an online mode specifically for just going crazy with custom characters i was gonna say they the campaign for this has to be epic like it, it needs to be i'm, sure I, I'm expecting kakarot level cutscenes, bro dragon Ball Z, level it definitely looks like it could do it it looks like it could do it the question is will they put in the effort to do it it's dragon ball so it's up in the air don't think you can enter my closet and just walk away <laughs> You cannot win. He used to be one of my mains from Dragon Ball Fighter Z. Hit. Who? Yeah, he used to be one of my mains. Yeah. <laughs> Bro, every it's time I, I every time I see Hit, I get annoyed because I remember that there was a friend of mine, not in Fighters but in Xenoverse, that would always use Hit, and I forget exactly what he did, but he was really annoying with him. I'm sure there's going to be plenty of annoying hits online as well. Plenty. <laughs> annoying hits. What? No, no, you say annoying hits. That's what I mean. Oh, yeah, and some annoying hits. <laughs> Good grief. Looks like we've awakened a real bona fide monster. Hits dead. That is a lot. We in the classic series, in the classic series, we actually talked about like the character roster, and I think a lot of us wanted the character roster to be as big as this, but we were like, it's not going to be as big as this. And now with everything, with every single, and this is something I actually really like about these trailers, with every single trailer that we see, they keep putting emphasis on the character roster. Like they keep showing it to us, getting bigger and bigger, and how right. many slots are still open. Like this they is looking, us know this roster is going to be huge. This is looking like freaking. This is this is like. I remember playing Marvel versus Capcom two, and my mind being blown because there's like fifty six characters for that game. <laughs> Man, Yo, that roster was insane. This this yeah. is. Uh, it's, it's, yeah, it's looking good. It's looking like it, it looks like there's more, still more than half of the characters left to show. Right. Like, this, this is, is going to be like. nuts. Bro, oh my goodness. 
I'm, I'm still waiting for the GT trailer. I'm still waiting for that shit, bro. Hoping, <sighs> hoping for it. It's like there's they do add GT characters though. They're they're gonna have to add the. I think it said someone recently sure. watched. Uh, like read an article about them act, uh, adding GT characters, so we're going to get them. The question is, how many GT characters are we getting to start with? Because we're getting Gogeta for sure. We're ge- we're definitely getting Gogeta for sure. Mm-hmm. I wonder what other ones we're getting. Like you can't really have Budokai Tenkaichi without Gogeta. It's kind of go it's Gogeta. Cool. It's Man, cool. make it as much as as much as it's unlikely for them to do it, bro, I want them to go all out, bro. Straight, I'm talking straight filler niggas. Like that <laughs> one fucking, that one dragon nigga that caused earthquakes with his whiskers. Yeah, add him. Uh, <laughs> add Legic, the dude with the Legic, shoulder blade. Lord Lou, that motherfucker. <laughs> Lord Lou. Who? You know the like robot baby thing that ate people. Yeah, you, that's Oh, not, I was about to get you. No, that's not him. But, um. Yeah, that's not... That's not responding. F- Giru, the, bro. That. Add Giru. I don't care. If he only has like two bars of HP, add Giru. I don't know. <laughs> two bars of HP? I don't know if they're going to be able to add Giru because like Giru like works as like a fucking like summon for Pan in a couple of her moves, I think. They're gonna, but, she gonna be, he's going to be part of our ultimate like he did back at Tekaichi 3. Oh my god. Right. And, like, I, hope they give her, like, I hope they give her like Maiden Blast or fucking Super Kamameha though. Those main in that. particular is underrated as fuck. It is so good in PvP. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh my! God. The bar bar brothers. <laughs> bar bar brothers. They uh, amp Oh them. hell no, <laughs> bro! Bar bar dance is such a high tier move too. That's how you know filler went in a whole new level. You add them bums and again. <laughs> fuck your bar bar brothers, bro. Oh my god! I guess we'll see what happens. Mm. But. Next item of the day, the United States sues Apple. What are they suing them for? Now, the Department of Justice claims Apple has maintained the legal monopoly over the smartphone market by locking in customers and making experiences worse for rival products. How long is this article? It's pretty long. Does anyone know what what exactly is going on uh, with this? Because I forget who even posted this. Basically, uh, Apple done fucked up. They broke the law. They did some shit that the government didn't like, and now that they're they're getting their fucking asses ate out in court. That's that's basically it. <laughs> yeah, that definitely that definitely seems like the gist of it. Definitely seems like the gist of it. Okay, so we don't need to. Oh, there's something else here. I guess this is a specific snippet about this. So one, disrupting super apps that economy encompass many different programs. It could degrade iOS stickiness by making it easier for iPhone users to switch to competing devices. Two, blocking cloud streaming apps for things like video games that would lower the need for more expensive hardware. Three, suppressing the quality of messaging between the iPhone and competing platforms like Android. Okay, so that's a few major bullet points of what's going on here. That's fair. I don't have enough like stake in what's going on with all of this so where's the topic oh there's the dragon's dogma topic so i might put that article in the description if anyone wants to read what's going on with us and apple i just thought it was funny that apple was trying to take on the entire fucking united states with this it's just like apple really you're gonna take on the entire us on this i want them cooked they're literally like nah we'd win there's a me against the world type shit Honestly, it's and the world like, gonna burn <laughs> your ass bad. Let me tell you what, Apple. Yeah. I was about to say, Apple. You, I don't think you guys are as strong as y'all think y'all are. These niggas really think they're Arasaka from Cyberpunk. No, <laughs> y'all not. <laughs> and if y'all think y'all are, you gonna meet you gonna meet Johnny Silverhand, nigga. What the fuck, you talking about? Gonna pick the world up, and the world's gonna fucking flatten me under its supreme weight. <laughs> That's what's gonna happen. Oh my god! All right. Next item of the day. Dragon's Dogma, more like drags on my wallet. Jesus fucking Christ, Capcom. This is posted by Remy. I think Crimson put this in the in the lineup. Refunded 118 minutes ago. Ago, uh, God, this sucks. Paying for fast travel, paying for character editing, paying for revive stones. Bro, it's a hundred dollar game. What the fuck? Yep. Yep. <laughs> oh hell no. They royally messed this up. Mostly bro. negative. Negative. <laughs> Yep. Oh yeah, I'm sure. Actually, hold on, let me check something. I think it's worse now. 
Let me Dragon check. Ma Hold on. Dragons. I'd Dog like Matur. to add they did this with Devil May Cry 5 as well. Really? I didn't hear anything about that. About the Oh, it's it's mixed like now. That. It's mixed oh, now. now. That's interesting. Now it's mixed. Okay. Maybe it's just like people starting out seeing that all the prices and shit are dumb, so they're leaving mostly negative reviews. And oh then no! They, like, some of them actually it's... play the game, and they're no, like, "No, it's oh. not that. It's worse. the The game, the game is horribly optimized. Like that shit. When you enter a town, the town is borderline fucking empty. There's about four niggas in that shit. But yep. uh, if you enter the town, uh, your frame rate is gonna drop to like zero. <laughs> yeah, That's which a... is weird. Which is weird. Consider first of all. This is a PS5 game made by Capcom. Right. A Capcom that's been doing good lately, right? They've been doing good for the past few years. You know, uh, why, did, why is your town looking like a Fallout town, bro? Oh, my goodness. What are we doing? And that's, and that's on high-end machines, bro. Like, high-end yes. like high computers are literally experiencing, like, frame drops beyond the ass, bro. Imagine playing this it, on a PS5 and your shit's stoned like a J. <laughs> bro, bro, imagine, imagine, imagine you just buying, like, a new PC and you've got all the specs and everything and all, all of that stuff. And then you play Dragon's Dogma two, and you you're you second you guessing your, you you're second guessing yourself because you're like I could have I, I spent like three k on this. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, spent like this. I just bought this thing. What? I got two forty nineties in this bitch. I got an illegal SLI setup. How this bitch running like fucking <laughs> fat out? Hell yeah! I got the CPU <laughs> off the black. I got the CPU off the black this? market, bro. I was gonna say, bro, why is this? Why is this thing, bro? Like, why is this? Why is this game running like we switched back to dial-up yesterday? What are we talking? About? <laughs> this game running are you like mad? Sports. <laughs> are you mad? This is sixty frames per second. This is sixty frames per hour. Like, god <laughs> damn, <laughs> that's terrible, bro. What? What the fuck is all this? What is all this? Oh, you know that's the Explorers. Oh, that's the DLC, that's homie. The Dragon's Dogma music soundtrack collection. That's the that's the hot hi, harpy snare smoke beacons. Yeah, you totally need those. Uh, Harley now, Pen now, <laughs> now I will say this: they did come out. Okay, so with the OG Dragon's Dogma, from what I guess, I guess I have uh, Dragon's Dogma and Dark Arisen, which is like the PS4 um, essentially complete edition. Uh, they you did they did a, I think they did do a lot of the same things where they charged for fast travel, but then when you got Dark Arisen, it came with like this thing where you could fast travel wherever you were. Because here's the thing, when Dragon's Dogma, if you get lost in a certain situation, you got to take that walk of shame. What is the walk of shame, ladies and gentlemen? You've got to walk all the way back to home to town yep. by yourself yep. in the dark. In the dark, evening. there's no, there's no fast travel. There's no, you know, no, you gotta hoof it. Yeah, you better pray to God you got a light. <laughs> right. <laughs> Honestly. Oh, and you and you got and you and and it's not like fast travel like markers. You have to. It's not like fast travel like randomly. You can you have to put like little markers to to fast travel to certain places on the map, and you only get a certain amount of them. Yeah, that's. That sounds like a mess and a half, bro. Yep, it is. It is. Oh my goodness. Well, yeah, there. I think wasn't there like one more sliders or just these two? No, it was just these two. So yeah, I mean, it's a good thing that I don't plan on freaking playing that. This is maybe one of the most insane things I've seen in gaming. Asking for a dollar fifty to let your single single player character out of jail in a single player game once, and then the key breaks. Okay, no, what? that's actually insane, bro. What? Imagine paying no, a dollar no, fifty to get so it. <laughs> I have to use real life money to buy a Skyrim lockpick. Nah, they really said you gotta pay <laughs> bail. They really said you gotta pay bail in a game. That's insane, <laughs> bro. There's no fucking way this is real. They really got. Wait, make that's it. a prison. What, yeah, bro? In Dragon's Dogma <laughs> 2, you can actually get locked up in prison. You have to wait like real time to get out, or you can pay a fucking a dollar fifty to get out. That is crazy. Oh, they're what? really making you pay bail, bro. That's insane. Pay <laughs> bail. <laughs> that motherfucker, I just died. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even see this key, bro. Life. When I first looked through this shit, I didn't even see this key. Bro, oh my I god, knew, that's I so knew. bad. I knew that I Capcom like a sky was greedy. Blood. I knew that Capcom was greedy, but this is crazy, man. 
this is crazy. Well, imagine in freaking Resident Evil 4, if Ashley ever gets captured, you had to pay real life money to freaking like get her back. Imagine. <laughs> Bro, imagine in GTA 6, you gotta pay like $20 to bail your character out of prison. <laughs> yep. <laughs> like, yep. You're stuck there for like 16 hours. Real time. That is... No. Come on, Capcom. Like... <laughs> I'm Yo, not even doing so good. Were they? Yes. <laughs> bro, they came out with, bro, they came out with Re- Resident Evil 6. Or, uh, the Resident, or, I'm sorry, Resident Evil 4 remake. And everybody loved it. Like, I played it for a whole month when it dropped. Well, the past like, five years, they have been cooking. Like, bro, yeah. what happened? I guess they're getting big heads. Years. I don't know. Like, it's just like they, the only thing that I remember is fucking Resident Evil 3 remake and the fucking uh and the fucking R- RDM was it DRM shit they've been doing to PCs. Yep. Yeah, yeah. They, yep. They, that's when this yeah, that and Dragon Ball Dogma 2, those are the only times they freaking fumble. But um or this I'm need to get their fucking <laughs> acts together, bro. What is happening? Oh I'm, my gosh. I'm still because so here's boring. the thing. They, they, here, here's the thing: they can't make too many more missteps like this, or the or otherwise they'll be back like they were in the 360 era when nobody trusted them. Honestly, I'm basically. serious. Basically, I was gonna say y'all, y'all remember that whole Street Fighter uh, cross Tekken kerfuffle? This is rivaling that. How did they? How did they? They literally were given like bricks of fucking gold and like dropped them in the fucking like the ocean. <laughs> yep. watch it, I'm and still watch it sink fight. to the bottom. <laughs> yep. Like, how do you let that happen? I'm literally, still hung up on literally, the fact literally that, like, fucking Harada was like, "Here are my characters. Go make an awesome game." And y'all made the middest shit in the planet. <laughs> I'm, I'm still stuck on the fact that like they really charging a dollar fifty for bail, bro. Like, who thought of this? I'm being so real. Who thought of this, bro? They must have hired like an EA executive because this is some EA <laughs> shit. <laughs> some EA shit. This is an EA move for real. <laughs> yeah. Like imagine sitting in prison, you get a fucking pop up ad like you can pay a dollar fifty to get out of prison. Nigga. Like somebody like I was gonna say, like somebody from EA probably thought it well, somebody EA somebody from EA is looking at this and be like, dang, why didn't we think of that? <laughs> <laughs> like, They're gonna damn. put that shit in the next FIFA game. Yep. <laughs> what? How would they even implement that? There's no jail. Same way they did it here. There's no jail in FIFA. There's no look, FIFA. Forty dollars a, jer- a jersey. Forty dollars in jersey. Yep, that's it, bro. It's like I might as well go buy it in real life. <laughs> like what? <laughs> you put a QR code in that shit, like on some Animal Crossing shit, and try bro, to cut corners. Absolutely oh, not. Absolutely not. God damn it, Captain. <laughs> All right. Next time on the list, right. and Culture Crave posts: Sex is now banned in Hell Divers Two because players failed their last major order. <laughs> oh shit. What was the major order? Uh, though many ter- t- terminids uh, have been mercifully culled, the Hell Divers were unable to penetrate as far as inside the quarantine zone as ordered. The expansion of our citizens to new planets would be reduced in line with the reduction of expected element 710 to be produced. Further procreation applications will be denied until further notice. I'm, I, I, I think, again... Is it a wild guess who posted this freaking like sus ass shit? <laughs> it was crimson. It was, it was crimson. It was, it was, it was crimson. <laughs> okay, so I and I'm gonna ask him the same. I'm gonna ask the same questions that I asked him. Like, who who are the divers procreating with? Because it ain't the automatons. He, he tried to say that it might be possible with the automatons, and I told him I don't I don't think that's how that works. But and I'm like I hope it's not the bugs either. I'm like how would they even implement this into the game, let alone make it so that it's not in the game? Because there's been a there's been a, a meme going on with a lot of these new like indie games, like oh we'll add sex to the game if if our Twitter gets a certain amount of followers, and I'm like. Okay, but in like Hell Divers, how does that work? Because nope. I can kind of understand how it would work in like uh unfortunately I understand very well how it would work in fucking uh where's the Pokemon fucking clone game? Pal World. Um I understand how it would work in Pal World, unfortunately. It wouldn't be that hard. Um I understand how it would work in the Cult of the Lamb, because that was another one that, that this happened in. How the fuck would this happen and work in Helldivers? You don't want to know. 
You don't want to know. I guess I, I, I don't know. I, I guess I don't. Again, it would be great if Crimson was here to elaborate on how the fuck this would work. I guess technically he already did. Is like, oh, we'll just procreate with the automatons. I don't think that's going to work, but all right. Amp said people will find a way. <laughs> exactly. You don't want to know. People will find it. I mean, people, people... People thought that the fucking, like, the, the robots in Sonic Frontiers were hot. Like, the fucking, the ones that are literally just g- geometrical shapes. So, yeah, they'll find a way somehow. All right, on to one of the meteor portions of the stream. What did Reed say? Bring him in here and force him to explain. <laughs> <laughs> He'll probably say that he was working while he's looking at fucking DDLC booty again. I'll text him and see what he's saying. Like, he always says that he's working, and around the exact same time, he'll be looking at fucking horny shit. Uh, duh, 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 duh. Let me see if I can get a hold of him. Where is the server? Chat room. There we go. It's Crimson. Come, hey, to, bring yourself the stream. Up. Come to the stream. <laughs> Damn, I forgot people wanted to fuck Asura. Asura? From Wrath? I, I mean, he I is pretty that's... attractive, I guess. You mean wait, Asura from? Oh wait, no, I'm thinking of Asuka from Tekken. But yeah. I mean, Asuka more so. Asuka is hot as fuck, but that's not sure. that's not what I was talking about. I was making a joke towards Asura from Wrath, and I guess I pronounced his name wrong. Um, no, you spelled, I, you said it right. Okay, I don't. It really, know, it really don't matter at all. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know who Asura is that Amp's talking about. That's what I'm trying to figure out. Who's Asura that? Yeah, Tekken oh yeah. About? Who's Asura? Does anyone know which Asura he's talking about? I don't think it's. I, don't, I was gonna say, I don't think it's in a remake of Asura's Wrath because. Uh, oh, he talked about that it, mini ball from Frontier. Oh, okay. Sonic Frontier's Ooh. boss. That's the same. What? I, I, the that one that is? you run up. The one that you run up and fight on the thing. I know what he's talking about. It's that mini boss in some of the. Let items. me see if I can look it up because I I'm not I can't recognize what it looks like right now. It's you'll, this you'll probably thing. Know. Yeah, it's that, that thing. thing? Yeah, it's that. Why? Why? Yeah, I, I have a better question. I have a better question. How? Three arms. Question. Question. Now I haven't played uh I haven't played Sonic Frontiers yet. Well actually I know I played a little bit of it. Um if we're talking about what I think we're talking about, which I'm 95% sure we are, <laughs> how how that's what I'm saying. How I was about to say I would try my hand at Konoichi before Asura. At least Konoichi <laughs> kind of got curves, but Asura, what 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 is this? Bruh, 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 that, that is a whole robot. That's all you fucking <laughs> Sonic Frontiers is robots. Yeah, like, right. How? <laughs> like, there, that's there's like, no... motherfuckers want to smash a satellite, bitch? Bro, that's like being like, yo, I'm gonna go on. That's like, bro, that's like being like, oh yeah, I'm gonna go on a date with Brainiac from Superman's universe. What are you talking about here? <laughs> okay, so, <laughs> um, you might want to use a different analogy for that. <laughs> Oh no! You forgot about Brainiac Five, didn't you? Is that the one with the giant where he's completely a robot? Wait, wait, wait! Who's Brainiac (gasps) Five? Whoa! I know who that is. Buddy is completely a robot. My ex told me about him. You just what is with core? What is with core memories being unlocked today, bro? That's crazy. Brainiac Five. I remember him. He dates Supergirl. I remember him. And they somehow have a child together. I, I don't know how that works either. Well, at, le- at least he's fuckable. I mean, fucking Osra's not fuckable. <laughs> like, what the fuck? I can understand Brainiac to an extent. At least he's sort of handsome. But Osra? Osra. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, no, I remember. Yeah, it was this. It, it's funny. The, yeah, Wait. it was the same question that I was asking her about, but it was reversed. Go, yeah. go to the left. Go down. Go down. Nope. No. Nope. <laughs> Go down. Nope. <laughs> you saw it. You saw it. Hey, you I don't know what you're talking <laughs> about. I didn't see shit. 
I didn't see shit. These freaks <laughs> actually fucking nah. You gotta click it. You got, these freaks. These freaks. What these the freaking fuck freaks. Is Whoa! What is that, bro? Whoever made this knife layer. Knife <laughs> layer. There's no hope for what? you. Yo, what? this is that's like you know what that looks like. That looks like the flood and like some type of machine fused together, and. Any of any of y'all that have played Halo, you don't want that. <laughs> you don't want that in real life. You don't want that in fiction. No, no, no. <laughs> Someone literally drew this and was like, oh, now you want to fuck it, right? And now I'm like, no, go back. This is worse. I was going to say 95, her, 95% of, bro, 95%, bro, first of all, she's got bunny ears. Then she's got a whole dinosaur foot on her chest piece. Like, what are we talking nice. about here? Dinosaur foot. Who, who made this? Whoever I'm dead serious. This, Look bro, at that dinosaur the foot. The devil yeah, is not. looking at you, bro. The devil is on your shoulder. This looks like Caressing some RPG boss type shit. I wouldn't yep. say that too loud because some people would actually tr try to procreate with some JRPG bosses for whatever reason. And they'd be looking like this. This oh is goodness. mad. Oh, yeah, no, I gotta, no. I don't know. People out there that want to have sex with Asura from fucking Sonic Frontiers, you need mental health. You actually need assistance. Y'all are going into the deepest pit of hell next to William Afton. <laughs> so what are you in for? <laughs> like, I murdered a couple, a bunch of kids. What are you in for? <laughs> like, oh, I want to have sex with a Sonic boss. <laughs> Sounds about right. Look at William Adam just starts fucking sweating and then scoots away from it. Right. <laughs> like, I thought I was evil. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Next item of the day, though. Lucas destroyed Star Wars today. All hope to save Star Wars is gone. Lucas bows down to Disney by, by Disney. I almost said Destiny. Overlord DVD made this video. All right, let's check it out. Let's see what good old George did. Attention, the following video is not intended for children and may contain strong language and adult humor, blatantly adult humor. Carl, what, what's your fucking profile picture? Uh, oh, no, it's um, it's some art that I saw on the server. It's what? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, what? I, I you didn't answer my question at all. Well, you answered. I didn't hear it I all. Didn't, I didn't hear you. My question was, what's your profile picture? Your the, the character on the on the stream. I don't know who that is. I don't know what character it is. This is some art I saw on the server. Oh, you said it's art you saw on the server. I thought you said it was like yeah. a character, your profile picture in the, in nah. the server. And I was like, well, that doesn't nah. answer the question. <laughs> Fair enough, I guess. Hmm. Oh, I was about to say the volume work. Commencing transmission. That's the one. Engaging scramblers. Proxy chain initialized. And now. So let me give you guys a bit of lore on this dude. Pretty much anything related to entertainment, like Star Wars and stuff like that. He, this guy comes up with, in, has like insiders and stuff like that, you know, goes over rumors and pretty much talks about how like entertainment's been screwed. And he's generally been right. Oh, really? Like, like all that crazy stuff that, like, all that crazy stuff from Rise of Skywalker that everybody was talking about before the movie dropped. This dude was right about ninety five percent of it. Really? Yeah. That's so, interesting. Okay. Yeah. I might have to start checking this stuff out then because it's like I I like being warned about when things when the boat's about to sink, you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. Yep. But yeah. Doom cock. That is an insane name, by the way. It's pretty insane. Yeah. Really, what yeah. the fuck is that mask? What is that? <laughs> what is that? Oh yeah. Man? Uh no no no. I was gonna say look, ignore all of that and listen to what he says. Trust me. <laughs> we just ignore oh, I it. Bro literally came up with a whole anonymous mask. It was like, trust me, just just listen. Don't worry about this. 
I promise you, your life is not in danger. <laughs> George Lucas just killed Star Wars. Some of you will say, well, Star Wars was already dead, and that's a valid point. <laughs> but if there was any life whatsoever left in Star Wars, if there was even the faintest glimmer of consciousness left in its dead brain, if there was even one more heartbeat lurking for the EKG to record, all of those things are done. Star Wars coffin lid is now nailed firmly shut its head is cut off and stuffed with garlic. Star Wars has been buried at a crossroads, and it will never return, not even as a reanimated shambling corpse. It is all dead, and George Lucas finished it off. I was about to say, if this is something that he said, creating magic is not for amateurs, I don't necessarily agree with that statement. I disagree with that statement. But I'm, ass I'm assuming there's more to it than just that one quote. Hey. Yeah, but this is coming from the person that was an amateur when he made Star Wars. So that's the that's the ironic part about this. It's like right, that's why everybody's tipped off. That's why, makes, that's why that's why what he says makes no, that's why what he just said makes no sense. Putting like, that into context, that that makes a little bit more sense. Yeah, for sure. I'm like, nigga, you, about it for a second. you made Star Wars <laughs> off like a fucking a ham sandwich ass budget and a bunch of niggas you found on the street. Like, what are you talking about? <laughs> Oh my goodness. And you did that shit in the 70s, nigga. What are you what? <laughs> Bro. That is that is fair. That is fair. I wonder I wonder if he like elaborates at all on this. George Lucas dealt the dead blow, according to Variety today, because they just published an article titled George Lucas Backs Disney Board and CEO Bob Iger Amid Proxy Fight. Creating magic is not for amateurs. He says, unbelievable. I am going to try very, very, very hard to restrain myself for a few minutes. And let me just go ahead and get some of the basic facts out. There's six people and watching. Welcome. I'm afraid I'm going to just have to rant because I'm really disgusted. I used to look up to George Lucas. I thought this guy was amazing. <clears throat> Star Wars was one of the highlights of my childhood. I love Star Wars, or I loved it. At least I love the first three movies. That will never change. Yeah, I will always the love them. But Not only did I love those three movies, but I, I enjoyed uh, episodes one and three as well. I, I didn't really care as much about Attack of the Clones. This gentleman, George Lucas is a villain at this point Jesus. this guy is a clown this guy is a sellout <laughs> this guy is a whipped curl <laughs> <laughs> I, I, the combination of him say like he started saying such nice things zoomed in on his face and then started just bashing him and we're just still looking at his fucking He's just still zoomed in on his face, bro. This like, nigga is a clown. He's a talentless hack. He gets no bitches like that. <laughs> okay. Like, if I saw him <laughs> right now, I'd tell him to suck my dick. <laughs> Who is actually now bending the knee, being a hey, lapdog Jack, welcome to the stream, for the very dude. people nice that abused you. him, cheated him, the white slavers Oh my they took God. his property. The white <laughs> Yo! Hold, on. Hold, on. hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Here's the thing. That white slavers thing is a comment that George Lucas made about Disney. Oh, yeah, you're right. It is. He came, out with, he came out of an interview years ago talking about like how the establishment is like full of white slavers and all this other kind of stuff. And people, you know, that it was controversial. You know, and so it's funny that, and pretty much, well, keep going and all. I was about to say it was controversial, but he was low key right. <laughs> it's just wild Get that he said that. It. And George Lucas sucks up to them and says, Yes, yes, Bob Iger, I will be your bitch. I will back the Disney board. I will back Bob Iger. Creating magic is not for amateurs, really. And do you think? 
that the bullshit that has been done with Disney Star Wars is fucking magic? Is this clown out? Switch. No, oh, sorry. <laughs> Bro, I ain't gonna lie. I thought that was a video, bro. I, I was like, Yo! Oh, I was like, <laughs> Fucking George's face on the screen, bro. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> I, I, let the, I let the first one go. I was like, okay, Switch is gonna he, he's gonna back up away from the mic. Second bro, one, okay. Switch, he he, bro, did, he I, doesn't know that he's all up in the mic doing that. I, didn't <laughs> I run, gotta I pause the video. Food. I was like, yo, I thought that was a video, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yo, <laughs> yo I was gonna say the crazy chips in his mouth. I was gonna say the crazy part is I'm wondering in my mind I'm watching the video like why is he stopping the video? I wonder why he stopped the video. <laughs> <laughs> like skipping from that fucking me. <laughs> also, I gotta say, George Lucas, this this face, this face that this like particular face that George Lucas is making, uh, it looks like it's like it looks like he's saying, "I, I got my money. I don't really care." <laughs> Man, that, may, that might be how he right. actually. Am I wrong? With you, it's either I'm he not. doesn't care and he got his money, or he's like, "Yeah, I know Star Wars is cooked. We, we, are, <laughs> we are. I got out of there while I could." <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> then again, if anyone could have saved it, it was you, you fucking stupid bitch. Oh my god. Okay, let me look at these comments. Jesus Christ. They told me I was supposed to destroy Disney, not join them. They was wrong. Yep. Yep. <laughs> and because and, and, uh, I, I got a whole man. I got a bruh. Mm. Okay. okay, let me contain myself. <laughs> Jen said, I got off work. I'll be on in a minute. I got a fucking vent because I had a stressful headache inducing day. You know what? That's perfectly fine. And then Jen says, Much in my day of years. <laughs> <laughs> so I might have to bring highlights back because that shit was too well comedically timed. <laughs> Jesus Christ. But I'll also have to edit the fucking thumbnail too. But Jeff edit icon on that. Mine? All right, now I'm gonna try, like I said, <laughs> to calm down. But this is one of the most disgusting betrayals. <clears throat> from a disgusting betrayer that I've ever, I mean, you know, taking the original classic versions of Star Wars and Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi, taking is those that away from us. What? I saw a bit of his arm. Is that melanin? Is this nigga black? I don't know. <laughs> he might, yeah, he might I, be. I don't, I don't, I don't I've know. know. I've never seen what he looked like, so. You know. No, I just saw like a bit of his like skin from his fucking um glove. He is he is wearing a, a lot of like gold, so it would make this, sense that he's black because that oh contrast. This well. nigga is black, bro. W him. <laughs> w him for being black. Yes, that's one up. That's one up for the team. That's one up for the culture. That's. I mean, you're right. I guess. I'm not. I'm not hate. <laughs> Like, I mean, I'm not hating either. It's just like, is mm. it? Is it one? Of, I guess the more of us, the better. Question mark. Basically, <laughs> underneath a special edition, which is like differently abled edition, as far as I'm concerned, differently abled. That was a big enough sin. That was a huge sin, not just against Star Wars fans, but against fans of cinema, fans of culture, the American zeitgeist. Because those films changed the world and to not have them available in the finest possible presentation these days is a crime against history. And that is bad enough to condemn George Lucas. It was also bad enough that the prequel trilogy was so lackluster. <clears throat> I rewrote the entire prequel trilogy. And I'm thinking about putting those out on video because God knows somebody's got to do some good fucking Star Wars at this point. Because Disney sure isn't going to do it. Oh, he I'll passionate, passionate. Like no, for sure. Who the hell is this? Oh, that's the, the acolyte bitch. That? That's the yeah. acolyte oh. bitch. Oh. 
She's pretty. I mean, she kind of bad though. A little, yeah, I, was about, I was thinking the same thing. She's yeah. pretty. She's no, actually, but, but she's wearing her hair naturally, so that's nice uh, too. Uh, yeah, but her politics is hot dog water, bro. Don't be fooled. Oh, by of that. course they are. Fucking she's a black. Don't, don't be fooled by that. Don't don't be fooled by that. In the day, and the cons. we can't have shit. God, yeah, we can't have shit. <laughs> You either have a woman that's that's ugly, but maybe has decent freaking politics, or you have a woman that's pretty, or and her politics are god awful. <laughs> Can't have both. This is much more important than the Acolyte trailer. This was the last glimmer of hope for fucking Star Wars, and it's gone. It is gone. Here's the facts of the matter, as reported in Variety. Quote: Star Wars. <laughs> mastermind George Lucas, Disney's largest individual shareholder, has come out with a statement supporting Disney's board and CEO Bob Iger. (laughs) They (laughs) went from hard to soft in a matter of seconds. Exactly. Yep. If this, was, yep. if this was bad, I'm talk I'm not talking like new bad. I'm talking about old early two thousands Destiny child child type bad. Like oh my god. It's different. Yeah. That hard that bad that that bad that you hardly ever see anymore these days. Exactly. That ain't mm. that Instagram bad. That's that right. that's that old Beyonce single ladies bad. That's that old that's that I could possibly bring off to the barbecue and everybody loves her. Like yeah. but no, 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 don't be fooled by that. Honestly, fucking, it's profile picture is killing me, bro. Why did you change your profile picture to that? <laughs> well, man. Just as disappointed oh, as we are. Read. No, read. He changed his profile picture on YouTube to Vegeta, I guess, looking at a smartphone. And it's like, he's in oh, the shit. world. I just realized that. So, like, my headcanon for that is that he's asking for the people of Earth for assistance for the spirit bomb, but he's doing it on fucking Twitter, and he's getting, like, no likes. <laughs> he's getting no likes. Yeah. <laughs> like, they're not liking my tweet for some reason. Kakarot. <laughs> That's brilliant. So he's like, I like bro, just delete and repost it. Exactly. <laughs> That's probably what Goku said. Like, just delete and repost it, Vegeta. <laughs> we don't got time for this. He's like, no, right. we, <laughs> we ain't got time for all that, bro. <laughs> Wi-Fi don't right work up, up here. I was about to say, bitch, said energy. The fucking Kid Boo's over there freaking like like posting about this. These niggas, Goku and Vegeta ain't shit. He's got like thousands cool of tweet. likes and retweets. Kid Boo cool cool don't even Kid speak English. He's, like, like, not, like, he's just going to quote retweet. It's going to be a picture of him beating his chest. He's just going to slam his fucking fingers on the keyboard. It's just going <laughs> to ratio the shit out of him. He's going to ratio the shit out of him. Yeah, honestly. <laughs> He saw Vegeta like Vegeta's tweet. He just quote like quoted uh quoted him with that picture, and he immediately re- fucking uh, he immediately ra- ratioed him. <laughs> die. Like, like this man boos more of a menace than I thought. <laughs> he has Urging to die. House House investors to reject bids by two activist investor groups to take seats on the media company's board. Mm, creating magic is not for amateurs. Lucas said in a statement released Tuesday. When I sold Lucasfilm just over a decade ago, I was delighted to become a Disney shareholder because of my longtime admiration for its iconic brand. I didn't know he was a shareholder. I didn't know he was a shareholder. That makes makes us a whole lot worse. It does. Because it's like he, if see, and then they <sighs> found like he didn't sell it because he actually thought that Disney would do a better job. He sold it just to make more money. Yeah. And then the last guy for more money. By the like, Matrix, it, by the Matrix itself, bro. That that completely changed my entire freaking view on George because I used I used to think he was kind of like the victim in all this, but all this new stuff bringing to light makes him sound like he's way more like of a scumbag than I originally thought. Like that's bro. crazy. I can I can't look up to nobody. Like damn. No. Holy shit. Like, I used to legitimately look up to this guy as a fellow writer. But now you're a hack. That's crazy. Chip, when Bob recently returned to the company during a difficult time, I was really... Send this motherfucker to the Shadow Realm or something. 12th layer. 12th layer he goes. He going there with Doom Slayer in them. (laughs) That's where he's going. Fuck you, George. (laughs) Clown. You forget about your white slaver comment? What a piece of shit. 
Oh my god. Shane says, watching the stream while I slowly lag out of Dragon Ball the Breakers. The Raider has been frozen in the sky for 10 minutes now. Send help. That does sound pretty awful, not gonna lie to you. I, I, I feel I I would say I feel your pain, but the last time I tried playing Breakers, I couldn't find a game. He continues. God damn, this is making me sick. No one knows Disney better. I remain a significant shareholder because I have full faith and confidence in the power of Disney. <laughs> I can I, I can't hardly even read this shit. <laughs> and Bob's track record of driving long-term value. Have you looked at the fucking stock, you moron? Yeah, the stocks for Disney for Disney are <clears throat> oh, shit right now. Oh oh oh! Uh, there's one time when there was one time when the stocks were like a hundred bucks. Oh yeah, that's hundred dollars. That's hundred dollars. When I can easily, guys, when guys, I can easily afford Disney stocks, there's a problem. Guys, guys. <laughs> A hundred dollars for Disney. For Disney, that's Disney. actually bad. We're that's we're talking that's a crazy. whole new world. We're talking Lion King. We're talking Hercules. We're talking Hunchback of Notre Dame. The the bangers, the banger movies that everybody talks about from Disney. Those are those are apparently only worth a hundred dollars now. M Marvel Phase oh, One through Three. Well, I don't know. Disney didn't make Marvel Phase One through Three. I think they really? came in. Yeah. They came in around like what phase three, didn't they? No, no, Disney was around for phase like one. Are you sure? I could have sworn they bought them after oh, phase that. Two. I'll have to look at that, but I could have yeah. sworn they bought them like after the fact, not like before. I thought it was after like was. Iron Man. Anyway, Star Wars downfall is sad but expected. They're down. It's past their downfall now. No, nah, bro. The, the basement. The basement isn't even enough to 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 place these people in. This is wild. Fuck the basement. Send them to the fucking gulag where they belong. Those What's dirty up, Jay? What's up, nigga? <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, this is I wild, agree. bro. This is, this is pretty insane. I agree. Hello, niggas and niggases. Niggases. Niggases, yeah. What's a niggasis? I you thought you were going to say niget. <laughs> the, the, I was about to say niget would make more sense. <laughs> yeah. Then again, if there are no niggets in here. Only niggas. Yeah. Only niggas. Uh, I prefer my niggas. niggas. Watch it. You prefer what? Niniquas. Niniquas. That's where every day, every day, Indra surprises me with more crazy shit that comes out of his mouth. I've never heard that. <laughs> never heard it because it's a, it's an original. It's, that's an, it's an original. It's an, it's an original I, recipe. I know, I, I know where that came from. He's like, I'm, I'm glad someone does. <laughs> like, holy shit. Ugh, anyway, let's continue. You fucking Negroid. <laughs> <laughs> you, love, you love the word Negroid, don't you? Yes, I do. <laughs> Indra should have never told me that word existed. Wait, so he told you about the word Negroid? No, oh, I said it on stream. I said he it on said it. I don't remember. I don't remember. <laughs> he, I remember it because I was there and he called me a Negroid. Why did you call him a Negroid? I don't fucking know. I don't know. <laughs> It just, it I think just we really were talking about something. He said, "Listen, Negroid." Will you casually just come up with slurs with the homie, bro? <laughs> <laughs> what is this? Good God! Oh, let's continue. Brought in all of my shares for Disney's twelve directors and urge other shareholders to do the same. You fucking lackey! <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> If Bro, George Lucas has lost yeah, his mind. Duke, yeah, if just to get you up to speed, Ducock here is just shitting all over George Lucas. And it's I'm sorry, hilarious. but that fucking name, dude. <laughs> 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 no. No. Bro, I'm, I'm still on the fucking mask. I think that's a little I'm on the yo, no, that's the only joke. That's the only That's supposed to be a Doctor wait, Doom mask. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. The top of his head looks like a fucking dick. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I do know that. I'm gonna leave. <laughs> I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. I thought it was like the tip of a pencil when you sharpen that. Yo, that's the number. That's the that's the number three China joints, bro. <laughs> number three. What? That's the number three China joints, bro. Them shits made of ramen noodles you know and styrofoam. <laughs> what the fuck? Styrofoam. Yeah. 
doesn't really say that, but a pencil looks like if you sharpen it, you a whole number one pencil. What the I didn't, even, I didn't even notice that. I didn't notice that either. It I was trying makes... to like not look at it all that much, to be honest. That with you. Be it all makes sense. Now. Now. That math is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <'cause Jack>. it's... <laughs> hmm. Um, I was going to say I didn't mean to cut you off if you were in the middle of something, but you said uh, that in the in the chat that you want to rant about something. Oh yeah, fucking work. Work was a fucking headache today, and I'm just glad to be here and laugh because now I'm not pissed off anymore. Hey, I don't what, blame you. I was exactly uh, what exactly we're doing good, really good on time. So why don't you tell us what exactly happened? As I as I put us in a potos. <laughs> <laughs> The ice cream man's looking at us again, like, what the fuck is he doing here every time? They came back? God damn it. <laughs> He's getting real sick of us. <laughs> Honestly. They still have yet to buy any ice cream. <laughs> Just sit here and complain all day. <laughs> right, like, why are you even here? <laughs> oh my god. So I'm gonna, need you, I'm gonna need to give you a bit of context. Before I explain to you why... What the fuck? What are you doing? You just <laughs> fell off my desk. Bro, Hold what on. the hell? My fucking okay. So, so I have a bunch of figurines lined up at the, beside my desk. Of course you do. Yeah, I do. Shut up, bitch. I'm a fucking nerd. What are you gonna do about it? <laughs> fuck you, dark ass bitch. I was about to Burn say. Fuck. I hope you mind your fucking business. Wash, I hope you wash those figures on a daily basis. Who knows what you'd be doing to them? Not, not oh, those type no. of figures, you fucking degenerate freak. Oh, look like Shane. Oh. <laughs> I look like Shane. <laughs> I, I his, hope Shane doesn't fucking, have any figures. Him and his fucking own a whole purchase. You really think he doesn't? Oh my god, he actually, I forgot he bought one of those. No, I did not I forget. I, I remember that. I'm, I will never <laughs> let him live that down. No, Hello? Police. I remember Jet. <laughs> I remember Jet was flaming crimson on this. I remember this. I remember oh. that too. That Cause he said so something funny. stupid and then I fucking made fun of him for it and then I brought that up. Hey, Shane's still in the- I don't know if Shane's still in the fucking uh, uh, chat, but defend yourself. Defend yourself. <laughs> he, he, he knows it's true! Fight back, nigga. Fight back. Fight back, nigga. Fight back! Fight back, nigga. Fight back! Oh my god. Anyways, I'm gonna need to give you a better- God damn it! Bro, how about, oh you, my God. how about you move the figures because you're fucking you you seem to flail like corner, fucking, bro. You flail like a flapjack. No, this one is just very fucking easily damaged and it's annoying because it falls so over. Why is the it on your time. desk? Move it to that. that they have nowhere else to put for. it. Get buy a case, buy a fucking shelf like all the other weeaboos. Yeah, that's fucking expensive, but I'm not the space in my room for that, prick. You have I enough money for figures, show, which are infinitely more expensive. Yes, because I'm not the one who buys them. My father is. That, how is that's besides the point. In fact, I would argue yeah. that gives you more of a reason to want to put them in a specifically safe space. Listen, my room is just full of fucking figures and plushes. Don't ask. Notice how he did not like, like justified not doing that at all <laughs> yeah, I'm, a, I'm a fucking broke boy okay fuck you i'm broke as a bitch i'm broker than a joke i'm broker than you i was about to say that's Damn. actually not that hard then again you don't know how much money i make so exactly you know what i'll keep it that way anyways like i was saying context i'm gonna need to give some context before i explain why i was so annoyed off rip right mm -hmm. so for the past few days the fucking register has been acting fucky. It was down. The system was completely down. It was down Monday. Then it was down. I don't know if it was down Tuesday or Wednesday. But it was down on Monday. Then it was down again on Thursday. Then it went down again yesterday. Who the fuck said BRB? Oh, that was Havoc. But anyways, like I was saying... <laughs> That shit went down three times in one week. The whole week? The whole week. Three times in one in one week. That's freaking annoying. That is mm -hmm. freaking annoying. That is very fucking annoying. Hey, so hey. then oh, I came in today God. and it was fine, right? So I'm like, mm -hmm. oh good, right. it's working today. Thank God. <laughs> Thank fuck. It's working today. Right? Mm hmm So I asked. One of my managers, his name is Jason. I asked him, um, 
I ask him two. I ask him two specific questions. I ask him close to the time when I was supposed to clock in. Hey, what's the code for the thing so I can log out and punch in? He said it should be my numbers. So I'm like, I know his numbers. I'll put it in. I put it in three times. It doesn't work. So then I go to mm-hmm. ask him. So then I'm thinking to myself, okay, maybe I'm just dumb. Maybe I have the password wrong. Let me ask him what his numbers are. So then I ask him, what? he tells me, go to put it in, still isn't working. So then I ask the lady who I'm supposed to be working with, I'm like, hey, what are the numbers for the thing? It's not working. She, she's like, oh, it should be Jason's. So, so I'm like, I put it in again. I'm like, it's not letting me in. And she comes and puts it in. And it turns out it's fucking frozen. Oh, shit. you love to see it. It was fucking frozen. We were able to get it out so I could clock in. But it took a while. It took a few minutes. But then, right? <laughs> then, <laughs> fucking, we couldn't get back in. Because <laughs> it's That's frozen. So, boring, so then, we had to call the fucking ERC. So that way, um, we could get it unfrozen. Mm-hmm. And that was a whole fucking debacle. And this motherfucker, Jason, decides to make me the fucking villain of the goddamn story. <laughs> Cause I put in the wrong damn code. Cause I froze it. It's like, yeah, it's my fault. Yep. But, but you gave me the wrong information, dick. I was just about to say that. He's the one that gave it to you. So he can't get mad at you for giving he you the wrong even, He wasn't even mad. <laughs> he was, he was oh, also okay. just giving me shit for it. He really can't give you shit. And I'm, he, and I'm, right, misinformation. I'm like, right, I'm like, you gave me the wrong information. Don't get mad at me because you got your problem. Oh, yeah, that was on Sir Jason, bro. That was all him. We got That's it fixed. Funny. I had a similar situation, like that happened. Over a year ago. Like, bro, with the EBT cards and shit when it wasn't oh, working that whole time. Yeah. And I was by myself until three o'clock because I only had like a few minutes. My manager tells me. Uh, could, can you try and stay till uh, four or five? I said no. Like, what's wrong with you? No, I was frustrated that day. That was probably the most frustrated I've been in a minute. And once once they hit three, I dipped. They said goodbye. I ain't say goodbye. I just left. Exactly. <laughs> nah, I bro, was fucking... four, four or five carts full of items, bro. I wasn't doing all that shit, and I was by myself. Oh, nah. that, that, like, no, hell no. Nah. Got me fucked up, man. But Sorry. then, fucking, I'm working through the day. I have to work the shelves, right? So yeah. I have to work um, toppers, which is um, um, u bolts with paper on it, because all that stuff goes up mm-hmm. top. Right. So I do that, and I only able to manage to get one done because the entire time, because I not only had to do that, I also had to handle the sales phone, recover it, make sure everything was like in order, and yeah. even by the end of the day, I only managed to get like ninety percent of the store done. That's not. But bad. also. Even more annoying, I have to run the fucking register. Yeah, that is... Oh, oh shit. But to make things even more fucking annoying, mm-hmm. in 30 minutes, right? Like, in 30 minutes, it hadn't even been an hour. I was already fucking done with the day. Because in less than an hour, I found at least, like, four different stolen items. That's annoying. In 30 I'm minutes... Not- Mind you, I, I was still struggling to do do the fucking shit that I had to do. Because I'm, I'm going back and forth finding stolen shit because you broke bitches want to steal shit and then try to fucking I, hide it. Hey, I feel you, bro. They, they, that happens to my job a lot. Literally, like, it was like, what, what day was it? Was it Wednesday? No, it was Tuesday, bro. It was these two guys, bro. They were scheming around the store. Like, they one dude was, like, trying to go up front, and they had carts full of stuff. They ran straight out the door. The door literally, it didn't break open, but, it like, it was wide open because they charged through the door, bro. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sorry about that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, hey. I wasn't tripping, bro. I'm not chasing after them, and them niggas. You got me yeah, fucked no, up, bro. You don't, you don't get the joke. I said sorry about that when you <laughs> said the door, <laughs> Oh, oh, I, oh, okay. I was like, what? I was like, what? But I hated every second of it because I had so much shit that I had to put up and there was no place to put some of this stuff. No, I feel that. Especially over okay. in the paper section where they had to, where a lot of this stuff had to go because that back aisle up top is a fucking mess. Mm-hmm. 
Like so one of these days, someone's gonna have to fucking clean it. I know, I know damn well I'm not doing it. Yeah, they're gonna they have to do a reset. They literally have to do a reset. Mm. They can't just leave it right there. Schemy the scheme and his friend Steely the Steely. <laughs> <laughs> you corny bitch. Get your black <laughs> ass up, nigga. Get your ass back in here. Where are you? Certified You're busy talking in the damn chat. <laughs> you burn fucking coconut head, nigga. Get your ass in here. <laughs> but sometimes, sometimes crispy ass nigga, I can hear you. You fucking cricket. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were gonna call my moon cricket. <laughs> I was about to. <laughs> you gonna call my moon cricket. I was about to call him an overcooked moon cricket, but that would have been too easy. He gonna call him a sun cooking cricket next. <laughs> Russ said a suntan cricket. <laughs> I'll be back. Nah, don't be back in a sec, you magical negro. Hey, it's been, it's <laughs> magical <laughs> negro. <laughs> I had to run that been movie, been. bro. That movie was so trash. <laughs> that movie is Before, nice. movie. The American Society of Magical Negroes. That movie was fucking. Bruh, ass. I can't believe. So I can't believe that that movie. Ex- First of all, huh? That's not like a parody. They, they played. Like, First of all, they picked. They picked. Uh, I, I don't. Uh, First of all, they picked a pansexual person to play. Uh, an unconvincing straight person falling in love, like, and, and and the man was, and that, and and Justice was barely good in uh, Detective Pikachu, bro. He spent half that movie mm-hmm. floundering, and it was only it was only like, he was really part. carried we, by Ryan Reynolds. You True. Me, oh, you want me to tell you about the movie? You H wants me to tell tell him about the movie. Let me tell you about the Ma- the American Society of Magical Uncle Toms. That's really what the real title should be. All right, this movie was trash. <laughs> this movie was straight shit. All right, the main character, I dog. What is what is up with the main character? Like his whole thing is that he wants to please white people. What? No, because that's the fucking objective of the fucking magical society. No, no, no. Magic- I know that is the objective, but like he says it in the movie that like all my life I thought I had to appease white people and shit. Like the fuck? <laughs> I was gonna say you're lighter than most black folk. What are you talking about? Like, what are you talking you, about? Shit, you don't even act black. You're basically white with like a slightly darker tone to your skin. <laughs> what? <laughs> Like I'm being, so, I'm being so serious. Like this man is built like an al- like, he's built like an albino. I'm pretty sure he's mixed too. He is. Yeah, he is. So like you already fifty percent of the way there. I don't know what you gotta appease him for. <laughs> this is only halfway there, right? Like you good, bro. But like you know, he he feels like he has to appease white people. So you know, he talks to his friend. If his anything, friend the like, niggas are gonna be your biggest enemy because they're gonna act like you're not black enough. Oh, and you know what's the funny part is? The funny part is, they do. They do. <laughs> they do think. He, okay. Well, it's not for that reason. It's because he falls in love with a white woman, and if he falls yep. in love with a white woman, then all of their powers shut off, and it it makes. Yeah, that's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. And it's just like, yeah. okay, wait a minute, pause. So your jobs are to appease white people, right? So wouldn't appeasing, a, well, wouldn't falling in love with a white person be appeasing them in the, especially if they're interested in you? Exactly. I was gonna say also too. Do these people just ignore the fact that loving versus the Supreme Court actually exists? Like their power, tr- tr- checked technically, their power should have been gone a long time ago. Are they just going to erase a whole court case out of existence? Exactly. And for those of y'all that don't know, Ling versus the what is it? The Supreme Court is the first uh, interracial marriage or whatever a relationship that actually went to the Supreme Court. And it, <laughs> it, it, it pretty. Whoa. <laughs> Doctor Umar made this power Dr. system is crazy, <laughs> and it actually, and it actually, and it actually, like, it was a big deal. Now, I, I find it funny that now, if you wanted me to put my tin hat on, I find it funny that you know a black chick dating a white chick, or no, a black chick, a black chick dating a white dude goes all the way up to the Supreme Court, but then <sighs> Emmett Till gets, he gets. 
killed because of an alleged, you know, an alleged uh, 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 assault. Yeah, yeah, alleged like assault from mm-hmm. this white chick who came out and said that she lied about it years later. That's crazy mm-hmm. to me how one and the dudes who, and the dude who jumped and killed him were his were her fucking family. Yeah, yeah, but anyway, that that's that's you know that's that's crazy to me. But anyway, <laughs> but like the entire so like the whole premise of the society is very very fucking stupid. And the reason I say that is because their whole thing is basically acting like slaves. And I'm not joking about this. They act like fucking slaves to white people so they can appease them and make them feel comfortable with black people. Mm-mm-mm. Excuse me. <laughs> First of all, they didn't even feel comfortable around us when we were slaves, like actually on them boats and shit. <laughs> Imagine. Yes. Bro, bro, second for, of all. Oh, no, go ahead, go ahead. I was going to say, second of all, y'all, for, how do y'all even get these powers? That's another thing, because black people, black people and white people haven't been comfortable with each other for like literal generations, like actual millennia. So yeah. I don't know how you even got these powers in the first place, but. If y'all do, why don't y'all just take over the planet? Like, y'all could literally do any, and I mean literally anything. Like, they can actually just snap things in and out of existence. I don't. Mm-hmm. That's not even a joke either. They literally can. Oh, I was gonna say, and also, and also too, uh, maybe changing the so-called community as opposed to maybe maybe yeah maybe change the so-called community so that other races can feel more comfortable around you dummy that's like that's like me having a kid and wondering why you know none of my neighbors want me over when i let my kid do whatever the heck it wants and it's terrorizing that the whole entire neighborhood doing stupid stuff like come on now and like okay that that's one and that's another thing too right that's another thing too just because a couple, like a, a little bit of a society of magical black people makes other white people, that doesn't stop from the rest of the black community scaring these niggas off. What are you gonna exactly. do about the? What are you gonna do mm-hmm. about the like twenty gangbangers posted up on the block and shit, and some white couple just drives by them and they just start fucking banging on their windows and shit? What are you gonna do then? Yep. yep. <laughs> like they don't do anything about that. They just say, "Oh yeah, we're here to make white people come." And it's like, and like that's another thing. Y'all have magical abilities. Why don't y'all just like gather a bunch of like your strongest mages and shit snap your fingers and just make white people comfortable with black people why why not do that <laughs> I, I was gonna know. say not even that why don't they why don't they just why don't they instead of making instead of focus on making white folk comfortable why don't they use their powers to clean up their own neighborhood exactly. they clean, you dummy Absolutely. And you know what the byproduct of that would be? Making white people comfortable. <laughs> and, and you know what this? Uh-huh. You know really what it is? Is it shows the insecurity of black folk. Just like get out. Mm-hmm. But you know and if that was the if that was the point, then I'd say you know a job well done. But it's not. But it's and the not. Movie doesn't treat it right. like it's the point. The point. The point that the movie tries to make is like, oh well, we we should be able to accept our racial indifferences and all, all this extra stuff. I'm like, nigga. Like nigga, no. You just spent most of the mo- you, just spent, you just spent most of the movie acknowledging the fact that there is a difference. Now you want to do a whole "We yeah, Are the right. World" sermon, right. bro? Bro, y'all literally yeah, spent the entire you, that movie. entire time you're acknowledging the differences. You spend it all shitting on white people. True. I'm not even joking. This movie, this movie was directed by Uncle Ruckus. Like that's that's the best way I can put it. (laughs) Nah, I'm sorry, bro. Uncle Ruckus is putting it too power too lightly, bro. They treated white people like shit in that movie, and I'm not even white. I feel bad for them niggas. Yeah, and then Uncle Uncle Ruckus would have these niggas at the top of the totem pole, bro. That's that's not some Uncle Ruckus shit, bro. I was gonna say, and the worst part is, is I'm tripping off the fact that David Allen Greer is in this movie. I lost, bro. I'm like, bro. You are a legend, sir. Why are you here? At least Samuel wasn't there. At least Samuel Jackson wasn't there. I don't respect that nigga for what right. he said about the fucking Marvel movies, but like, hey. Oh, yeah, because that nigga's too busy get busy fucking eat, licking Brie Larson's taint, bro. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm still tripping off. Yeah, I'm still mad about the fact that... Uh... This oh man, that, that was I like that. And you know what? You know what's crazy though? You know what's crazy though? White people made a better right made a better version of this movie. White people actually made a better version of this movie. What movie was that? Now you see me. Mm-hmm. 
Huh? Cause that's basically what this movie is. It's a niggified version of Now You See Me. But it's a lot more fucking Uncle Thomas shit, and it's a lot fucking worse. I don't remember. It's made by um, black people who put who put black people down because they feel like they can't do shit. Yeah, sounds about right. It's ironic to me how the people who say they're the most for black people are the ones who put them down the most. Yeah, absolutely. Again, yeah. they could have just made that the lesson of the movie, and then it probably would have been way better. <laughs> but again, they didn't do that. I'm still waiting for Now You See Me 3. That shit about to hit. Oh, Now You See Me 3 going to be fire. I, I still got to watch, I still I gotta totally watch the second too. one. Me too. Me too. Oh, the second one's gas. Y'all going to like that. I mean, Bro, if I haven't it was seen the first like, one in years. It was, it was the, if it was anything like the first one, because I remember the first one being amazing. It was anything the first like one the was first fucking one. amazing. I haven't even seen yeah. it in years. That's something I should. You know what? That's what I should do tomorrow. Sometime off. I just just spend the day watching the Now You See Me movies. Do it. No, do it. Fine. You're I not gonna regret to, it. I still need to finish Twelve Angry Men. I kind of want to see like the the version that was made in like the '90s. I think, but I gotta rent that if I want to see it, unless I find it somewhere else, 100 percent legally for free. <laughs> Dude, that's what I, I love how we've all just started saying that. It's, it's literally because of injury, because it's just like mm-hmm. he's just he's just a bad influence on me, I guess. But also, it works. It makes sense. Hundred percent legally for free. Hundred <laughs> yep, percent legally for free. Mm. But is that about everything for uh, that fucking magical Negro movie? Basically, I still can't believe that. I still can't believe that that's the fucking name they went with, bro. That name yeah, cause listen, so- it's because it's supposed to be a play on the fucking um trope and known as the magical negro. The trope oh, of the magical that. negro? Yes, yeah, that is a real trope. film trope. You know, the one that was invented by white people to be racist against black people. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, God, this movie. I've never awesome. even heard of that trope, and it would have been really nice if I had went my entire life never hearing about it. You wanna know what's funny? Let me tell you something funny, right? Most people never heard of this trope until the movie came out. Actually, you know what? No, I heard of this trope before, and that's because of King Botch's racist ass. <laughs> I heard that's about it because right. I took a fucking film class, so I studied different tropes. I know that we like to make a lot of jokes about setting our, like black people back, but that literally sets us back because it's it's a trope, a racist trope that people didn't know about, and so you purposely made people know about it. Great. <laughs> we legitimately got set back to bacteria, bro. Like, mm. straight pre-evolution. Great, cool. Now everyone knows. Dude, I gotta be hundred percent honest. Bro. We are our own worst enemy. We really are. True. We yeah. No, nah, the person and who made this movie, he let his fucking white half take over. That's what happened. <laughs> <laughs> no, the, white white half. the person who made this movie was pure black, bro. No, no, they were mixed. I know he has a white father. He has a white father right now. He's mixed. <laughs> yeah, his, his father made him make this shit. That was that's his dad's fault. <laughs> that is rough. Ugh. No, that's yeah. all him because he he openly said that all his life felt like he had to appease black people. Or white people. Oh my goodness. So this was all him. This had nothing to do with his father. I nah, was gonna say, nah, uh, say this is his father's fault because his mom was definitely not in his fucking life. Well, I was gonna, well, I was gonna say, bro, this is one of them things called counseling, bro. You don't make a movie about this. You go to get therapy for it. You like, go to counseling for this, bro, or get journaling or something like that, bro. What are you talking about? Right, go, get get a fucking therapist. And, and, bro. And second of all, second of all, uh, you want to talk about you want to talk about not having to fit in. I'm black and I don't fit in around black people. What are you talking about, bro? Exactly, like make a movie about like so we should, let's make a movie about that shit, bro. Being black and not fitting in with other niggas, bro. Yeah, they're not gonna they're not gonna like that. Ain't this? I don't think Absolutely they is. Absolutely not gonna like no. us. His no. his next movie, this nigga's next movie, is gonna be some fucking tap dancing Negroes and shit. It's just gonna be a bunch <laughs> of tap dancers. It's yeah, gonna be a team Negro of tap dancers. Negroes. They're gonna bring back yet another racist trope that no one knows about and set us back even further. It's gonna be a sequel. It's gonna be a whole bunch of jazz music, tap dancing, <laughs> stupid ass shit. It's bad. Oh my God. And it's going to be a sneak where it's just going to focus on the main character's kids. Do not let this nigga in the director's seat ever again. I Absolutely. swear. Yep. <laughs> Absolutely. The director's seat, the writer's room, don't let him anywhere near a film set. Don't even let this nigga near a pen and paper. If he picks up a pen, I want 50 cal in the back of his don't head. Don't let him think. <laughs> he said a 50 cal. Don't let him think. I'm going to let him think. Don't let him think. He's lost, he's, he's lost those privileges. He's lost Straight all Stephen Hawking. Privileges. He can't even think. Am said, Am said, Am said, Am said, 
gonna be called Token. It's gonna have the picture of that one South Park nigga on the front. What? Hello, what? South Park boy. Token. <laughs> oh no. Oh my goodness. We should. We need to get back on track. Oh, oh my goodness, bro. Every time freaking Jet joins the stream, it it's always immediately starts with some bullshit, bro. <laughs> bro, yeah. I'm convinced. I'm just cursed, bro, because I don't want to. Yeah. <laughs> you heard the story about the fucking register, bro. I didn't want to touch that thing all day because I almost broke it again. Oh, my God. Just like you almost broke all your sticky figures. Anyway, let's keep watching. <laughs> I'm, again, not. <laughs> bro, you want to talk about sticky, nigga? I'll make you sticky. Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> that is so... <laughs> you heard it here first, folks. <laughs> Jet wants to make me sticky. I see <laughs> it, not me. He said it, not me. But this is not the George Lucas should... that I remember. Oh yeah, Kane. I know that you're. I know that you're in a server with Jet and some other dudes. Be sure to share this. Uh, this uh, stream to, with them. Please I'm sure, don't. The, I'm sure they'll love that line in particular. Oh, oh, no, 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 Carl, I beg. Carl, Carl, listen. No, 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 you can hold this over me for the rest of my life. Just don't <laughs> send me yeah, yeah, this. Hey, hey, Jet. I'm not gonna hold. You, I'm not gonna hold you on. I, well, I'm probably am, but I'm not gonna. You know, <laughs> you know damn well that you are. You lying motherfucker. Yeah, definitely, yeah. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> oh shit. Disney oh, parody of George Lucas. I wonder, <laughs> invasion of the body snatchers, if we're living this right now, because this is disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> Creating magic is. Well, I mean, we've got amateurs. fucking skinwalkers walking around like they're human beings. <laughs> that is very true. That smell like it's... a whole freaking can of bounce that ass. I'm going to make that a real thing. <laughs> I'm actually gonna make it. Bounce that ass. I was gonna make it cologne or fucking like uh perfume, <laughs> but fucking Andrew was like, no, make it insect repellent. And I'm like, all right. I mean, <laughs> that insect would be an repellent. interesting imagine if fucking like raid fucking came out with a freaking variation of insect repellent that's called Call bounce, bounce that. that. <laughs> <laughs> like this will just kill bugs, it's gonna kill everything. <laughs> Oh, AG, no. please tell me you remember the fucking skinwalkers thing. Um. Oh yeah, the thing that <laughs> said when we were, okay, when we were watching dream. that episode. That episode actually, I was able to salvage that classic episode. Yes. Was, oh, we're gonna be able to see that one again. It was the one about Cody yes. and Bollinger, where I accidentally called. I forget what his name was. Alex. Something. <laughs> Alex. I said, "What the Alex. fuck is that?" I tried That's to double because you because you thought it was fucking uh the lady, but you didn't realize it was I, a I different was. person. I, I thought that, that was the like the the lady that we were like talking shit. Yeah, about. you didn't no, realize that, that was, was just a bad. That was a different person. Yeah, so I was like, what the fuck is that? I tried to take it back and then read. And you like, just kept a... making it worse. Than no, I didn't reason. make it worse. Yes, you did. Yes, no, you I did. did. I remember the clip. You kept making it worse. What specifically did I say to make it worse? Because you, you you said, you said, I'm trying to remember exactly word for word what you said. <laughs> but you said fucking, um, to, I can't remember word for word what you said. I wish I still had the fucking clip. We'll 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 see it in the coming days, uh, but it's, I'm just still on. Like oh, you, like, you were trying to fucking reel it back, and in the process of trying to dig yourself out of the hole, you made the hole bigger. Then here comes fucking Reed, fucking not giving a fuck, not giving a fuck, <laughs> jumping in the hole with you. Bro, so is that a fucking skinwalk, bro? I, I know I said I could never be a, a Smash commentator. Reed definitely could not be a Smash commentator. Oh, absolutely not. He's he's losing that job day he, one. He he'll be one of the dudes that calls someone a retard and immediately gets ejected. Exactly. <laughs> no. Yeah, like, over. did you see that fucking Falco move? Is that dude a retard? <laughs> like, they the just said the chat. I made the whole thing. Yes, he did. Yes, you did. I'm glad you know that you did. Yeah, you really I know, did. I know Switch's fighting game hating ass could never be a Switch commentator. He <laughs> flamed the fuck out of them niggas. He flamed the fuck out of them niggas. True story. A whole picker. <laughs> Who in here could be a Smash commentator without getting fucking fired immediately? Because I know I'm I probably the closest fucking bet. And even yeah, then, that's uh, very. Uh, uh, I that probably last the longest. I. I don't know. I have no idea how bad Carl is with with. with he can be he fucking. Can, he can. You can be real bad. Don't even fucking lie. You can be. No, worse no, no, than no, me no, 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 Chad. Don't even say that, bro. You're way worse than me. Don't even say that. <laughs> bro, I'm 
worse than no, I'm that. worse than you. I'm worse than you consistently. But when you get going, you you are worse than me. You're no, way worse. You're than worse me. objectively. You're worse objectively. I'm not. Nigga said, "What's objective about it? <laughs> <laughs> we are ain't no. Bro, man, I don't. I don't. I, I would not be able to argue with that. Someone told me, "No, you are objectively worse than I." I'd be like, "Fuck!" Like, and the only way to argue that is to come up with some fucking, of, like concrete bro, the documents. amount of game, the amount of stuff we commentate. This man be going in, like, bro. Oh my <laughs> god! Yeah, because I'd be <laughs> fucking mad as hell. But let's not act like you weren't playing Hitman, talking about some kill hey, everybody, hey, bro. Hey, bro. Hey, bro. Hey, bro. Hey, bro. Mad shit, you hey, fucking what? serial killer, bro. What? No, no, no. I was playing Hitman Absolute shit, bro. I was on some hating shit, bro. I was trying. Bro. Exactly. I, I, I did, and you were worse than me. You were worse <laughs> right. than me. Don't you fucking ain't playing Hitman like me. You I play don't play him like, like you. <laughs> you right, and you know what? Because I know I'd be just as bad. Oh my god! See now, and I want to see Zeno fucking play some Hitman, bro. I, I can't play. tell him this man make a Hitman video. That's comedy, right you know, there. I watched that. Jay gave me the idea. Jay gave me the idea to play Hitman on my channel, and I'm definitely gonna do that because I had that plan. This whole time. I don't know if I want to stream it or do a video on it. <laughs> I might. Do I might do both. I might do a whole playthrough. I might play well, streaming. You know what? I will. I will definitely be there. I will definitely. I will be there, there for all of it because that's gonna be fucking comedy. That's, that's I'll sure be in the, I'll be yo. I'll be yo. I'll be heated, bro. <laughs> this man gets heated when he <laughs> plays Hitman. Like I love that game, bro. But that game be making me mad when I get caught. <laughs> <laughs> bro, <laughs> this man I'm gets caught. To... He turns into Jerry. Turns on the turns on the right. Jerry on the ball. <laughs> Literally, Maybe. that's that's literally what happens. This man literally becomes Jerry, man, bro. Really like I'm convinced this somebody. man Miles will inspire Jerry off of watching him play it, man. Bro, I was <laughs> enraged, bro. Bro, that's kind of how I feel about like I think I, that's kind of how I feel about Sonic Heroes because I love Sonic Heroes, but sometimes that game be making me so fucking mad. Bro. No, when I was younger and I fought against Egg Emperor, bro, that shit used to piss me the fuck bro, off. Bro, Egg Emperor could suck the fattest donkey dick, bro. He's so I bro, hate Egg Emperor is light work. I, okay. No, no. When I was young, no, I'm talking about when I was younger. I used to f that. That she used to piss I haven't me off. fought Egg Emperor in, okay. uh, Emperor in a while, but I know specifically yeah, I on like I never played. I think specifically no, on either Chaotix and or Dark, he's a pain in the fucking ass. Oh, on and Chaotix, Rose he's Sonic, a real pain in the ass. Uh, and so on Team Sonic and Team Rose, yeah, he's absolutely he's like piss easy. But I, in but Team I think... Dark, he's annoying, but he's not bad. And Team Chaos is actually a pain annoying. in the ass. In Team Chaos, he's the, the most like annoying the like piece of shit ever, and that's yeah. partially because of the Chaotix themselves. The Chaotix themselves, which isn't. Mm -hmm. like, that's why I didn't get too mad at the boss. I'm like, you niggas suck, not him. I you was about to. Yeah, yeah, I was. I was about to say they need to be like fully leveled up before they're actually fucking useful, and it sucks because that's. That's just their team. The fucking Team Rose is fucking busted. Team <laughs> like, Rose, because Team Rose is piss easy. Well, it's no, they're, they're like that, the easy mode. They, the team yeah, Team Rose is the easy mode. Because of that, they they themselves are busted. Because they just <laughs> mm -hmm. need a team yeah. blast, and they all level up. They're invincible, and they get shields. Like what? Is and that? they fucking wipe out basically everything That's in their path. Too, and their team blast and, is ridiculously strong. And mm -hmm. you can also get the Chaos Emeralds with, with them easier, too, from what I hear. Mm -hmm. yeah, 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 they are. That, they're that's literally... the definitive way to get the Chaos Emeralds in that game is with Team Rose. Team yeah, Chaos, they're literally the easy mode their, of the game. All their Team Blast does is give them rings. In a fight like Egg Emperor, that doesn't do anything. <laughs> yeah, they're basically invincible. Like, them. <laughs> Like, who, them. like whoever designed Team Chaotix, like I, I, I where do you live? <laughs> where do you yes, live? Bro, I'm why did you, this man, why did you this design man said, like "Where that? do you live?" I'm gonna pull up to your house and break I you. I just want to talk. I just want to talk. I him. just want to talk. I just want to talk. Have a five minute discussion. <laughs> Just want to talk. Is that is that family guy clip? I just want to talk to him. I just want to talk to him. I just want to talk to him. I just want to talk. I just want to talk. That hit me in just right, like like very uh, personally because that's my favorite team in that game. So the fact that they made that my favorite team so fucking useless in so many situations really hit me different because it's like. And like everybody else is fucking like T blast or just their level ups. They're just they they're strong at like level one. For Team Chaotix, you like you need to be at like level three for them before they're actually like useful. And that could take so long sometimes. 
Especially since their levels could get so long too if you don't know where every single fucking MacGuffin is. Because their fucking levels are set up to where you gotta find fucking MacGuffins. Oh my yeah, god. Yeah, because their levels are fucking with, challenges. With no map. With no map too, yeah. With no map, yeah. Bruh, I, I, bruh, I, I tried. Yo, I remember I, I, I played one of the Chaotix levels and I'm like, okay, let me get this a shot. And it said, find the missing chow. And I'm like, okay, cool. But then, dang. Uh, but then I'm looking at this, and I'm like, okay. Uh, where, have I I'm, where haven't I checked? No, 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 no. I'm saying, I, no, I'm like, find a missing chow. And it takes me back to Sonic Adventure 2 days, and I'm like, oh, no. And then I'm looking around. I'm looking at the screen. See, what do y'all want me to do? Listen for it? Is he supposed to make a sound? Like what? Yes, I know what but, channels sound like. Here, here, so here's a fun fact, right? The channels actually do fucking have very. It's because the sound mixing in that game is shit. You're not gonna it's, fucking hear it, bad. but there is fucking audio there yeah, for them. Try. Yeah, the audio mixing in Sonic Heroes is absolutely god awful. Oh yeah, just, yeah, it is. Fun fact: that's only an issue in the English version. It's not as bad in the Japanese version. What? Wait, that doesn't make any question. sense. That doesn't have, make that any makes sense. sense. <laughs> which, which also Man, how does it make sense? no, because that also. Hey, so let me explain something to you. That also happened in Sonic Adventure Two. I was literally about to just say that too, because the sound mixing in Sonic Adventure Two was hot dog water. <laughs> but it was only hot dog water in the the international release, not the fucking Japanese version. Jedi, have a yeah. Question. So I don't yeah. know what the fuck happened. Even in. I think localization was kind of bad because you figure that was the Dreamcast era, and every time you, yeah, every time sense. you had to release a game, because uh, I know for 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 any of you Shenmue fans, that's the reason why the English voice, the English dub for that game was so bad, oh, was shit. because it, it, they didn't know what they they didn't know what they were doing. <laughs> Pretty much. So, Jedi. And, and, so Jap- and, and look, the only difference is. That- Instead of not knowing what they're doing, they know what they're doing. They're just doing it wrong. Yeah, I was gonna say, in, in, in Japanese voice acting is in direction is very different from English, obviously. So mm-hmm. yeah, I feel like that's a lot less strict uh, over here in the states. Hey, yeah, they let question? fucking anyone do anything. Yes, Andra. Okay, would you rather have Sonic Heroes mixing or FNAF Four mixing? <laughs> So that's Bruh. okay. Let me <laughs> let me explain to you what when are you going just back asked, to that game, right? by the way. Well, the, so fuck it, I don't I don't fucking know. <laughs> you know you, let me explain like, to you never. what you just Indra, Indra, let me explain to you what you just asked me. You what you just asked me is would I rather get shot in the balls or would I rather get my balls fucking scalped out with a knife? That's what you just asked me. <laughs> what? Neither of I'm those not gonna lie, I thought he was gonna get shot in the like the back of some shit. <laughs> I, I, was take balls. I was not <laughs> expecting balls, bro. Yeah, that for that for cell mixing had jet. Because that's that's that limit. had me in pain. Dude. I was on the this man Andrew like, was there. I was on the fucking floor crying, dude. It was like it was like the cell was... mixing was bad, but they but he they made it bad on purpose to make the game harder. <laughs> yeah, because the game's so fucking loud. Dude. Yeah, and the game was already hard to begin with, bro. And they already had a hard mode, so he's like, bro, why do they like this? What? Like the game's already loud. You didn't need to make it even worse with it, the like, jump bro, scare. Bro. Good lord, man. They're like, when you get jump scared in this game, we want the entire neighborhood to know about it. Like, this nigga really? Scott said, you, you, you in the forest, little nigga. Your house in the forest. No <laughs> one's gonna hear you scream. <laughs> oh my goodness. Holy shit. So let's... Oh, that fuck, that fucking hurt. <laughs> I'm sure it that... What? No, no, go ahead. No, I'm just messing around. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. All right, but let's continue on with this. Really? What the fuck? I I am beyond disgusted. I am fucking furious. This clown, this what? idiot. What the fuck was that? This hack has Why shit it doing on that? his own legacy. Why is what doing what? This life? idiot has torn down. Uh, you don't see that? I'm moving my mouse and it's like focusing on like a co- top left corner. I don't know why. It's yeah, yeah I don't know why. the top left corner. There will not be a what Star the fuck? Wars Renaissance. Yeah, I don't know why it's doing this. The fucking acolyte trailer. Let me, that right there. Let me, man, this Disney this. Star Wars. Oh, the acolyte was le- H. Just leave it on out. the screen. and Give it a bit. It'll disappear on its. Oh no, it's just the fucking. It's YouTube itself. Okay, what the sorry. fuck? Yeah, I don't know what's For going on. With that. Hold on, let me see if I can refresh that because that's gonna. That's gonna get fucking 
annoying. Irritating. And Bob's track yeah. record of driving long-term value. Have you looked at the fucking stock, you trailer? That right there. Why she got to be so bad? Star Wars. Yeah, that's a good question. Why does she yeah. have to be so cute? Why, why you got to yeah, be so bad but so fucking stupid? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's only, I like, wait, can, I, can I, can I, can I, I okay, why is it always the cute bitches that are stupid? I, I they guess got it, they got, because college. They got two girls. Because college. They got two girls. college. <laughs> they, they, uh, not. Co- college. Two girls and pretty girls that are dumb as fuck. Bruh, college and imagined problems. It really did, though. Yeah, uh, it's, it's, that's another reason why I don't want to go to college because it's just gonna fuck. It's just fucking. It's gonna make me stupid because college is gonna teach me dumb shit. Mm-hmm. It, it, it seems like it. I dumb shit. I don't care about. By the way, fucking angry, <laughs> and I could not be more sorry for all of the fans out there who thought George Lucas was a great guy who thought yeah. that George Lucas was a hero yeah. who looked up to George All right, Lucas. doom dick, we get it. George Lucas is no get hero. to the point. He proved that today. Bending over for Bob Iger oh, after Bob fuck? Iger already shafted okay. him once and we know that it's true. George came on and said, this is what it feels like to sell your child to white slavers. And he bends over again and says, thank you, sir. May I have another? Thank you, sir. This dude, Doomcock, is funny as fuck. <laughs> bro, why yeah, is no, he talking like No, Doomcock's a legend. He's a legend, bro. Bro. Thank said, you, sir. Please, sir, may I have another? Thank you, sir. <laughs> may I have another? I cannot believe I am saying this, but fuck you, George Lucas. So there you have it, my friends. I don't know what else there is to say. Star Wars is fucking beyond dead. George Lucas, it's like, been I dead, know, you prick. Went through a afterlife portal. Well, yeah, but and, it's and like basically you absolute like, dickhead. Well, this is a literal dickhead. Literal but dickhead. Besides, but that's besides. Literal the point. dickhead. That's besides the point. Basically, what I'm. Hey, gathered, put some respect on his name. <laughs> basically, what I've gathered. Okay, let me let me reiterate. Mf Doomcock. There. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. That's better. That's better. MF Doom. <laughs> MF if, Doom. If, 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 yo, if you know, if you know MF Doom, if you know MF Doom, you know MF Doom. I do, but God. That's why. It. That's why I said that. Exactly. I approve. I'm okay with it. He'd probably be okay with it too. So yeah. Jesus Christ. You know what? If this he man. Actually... Now, MF Doom was a, was freaky, bro. He was funny as hell. But he was freaky. That's the one person who can make music. Have a concert and it's 50 50 as to whether or not dude actually shows up. Right. <laughs> this man was just that out of this man was just that gone at all times, bro. He was out there. Not even, bro. He would hire he would hire doubles for him for concerts. Mm-hmm. Oh, that man. Like, 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 sometimes. Um, yeah, he would hire concert. Yes, buddy would hire body doubles for concerts and have them play his stuff, bro. You know what? I'd fuck I fuck with that. I'd do some shit like that. Yeah, we know you fucking con artist. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. But yeah. I, lo- I love how he di- I love how he didn't freaking correct you. He just laughed because you were right. We all know he's a fucking criminal. I am not a carn artist. I am a scammer. Get it right. <laughs> scammer? I'm okay, then scammer. I'll scam you. The scammer, the scammer's getting scammed then. How about that, bitch? Scammer oh, he scammed. did not just that scammer gets scammed. <laughs> yeah. He never <laughs> scammed. He did not just that scammer gets scammed. <laughs> scammer gets scammed. Steal the, the stealer and scam me the scammer. <laughs> oh, my God. Me and Indra gonna be a bootleg dynamic duo, bro. Oh, my God. Y'all have fun with that. Oh, did you get your phone? Oh, yes, sir. <laughs> All right. Last uh, topic of the day. Dan Schneider doesn't want you to see this video. It's bad by sensitive oh, society. Before I, get, okay. before I get into this video, though, I need a little bit of context on what happened recently with Quiet on the set because, again, couldn't find it 100% legally for free. The version on YouTube has an annoying fucking banner that they put up every five seconds, so I was not about to watch that. So who okay. had context on that I, actual I, documentary? I, I saw it. Um, So pretty much... It goes into like the different 
and it kind of focuses on Dan Snyder for the first couple episodes, but then it goes into a couple other people. Um, but pretty much, Dan Snyder has been known to make work unsafe hell. and unpleasant for people. Yeah, pretty much hell. Um, there, like, uh, like it's a known fact that man is a a weirdo, is a freak. He yeah, terrible he would. Work do, with. No, he would. He no would, one likes would, working with him. Yeah, he would do like. Uh, <clears throat> obviously, well, innuendos in kids' uh, TV programs, like it's, and, Man, and they show footage. All, like at the oldest, these people were teenagers, by the way. Yeah, they were young. They, yeah, quote innuendos. Yeah, uh, they would they would do like uh, like they they and they'll show footage of like you know scenes with Ariana Grande, for instance, who you know it'd be weirdly sexual stuff that yeah adults would recognize and feel weird about then um then there's this other guy who uh who was known to who like sexually assaulted well he sexually assaulted Drake Bell and then Drake mm-hmm. Bell gets an episode where he comes out and he deals with he talks about like how he was assaulted and how like the guy got in between his his him and his father and all this other kind of crazy stuff but the thing is is that Drake Bell got assault Drake Bell got assaulted but nobody knew about it and then and and here's the thing uh there were what what tripped then that that wasn't that wasn't bad enough what tripped me out was I they 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 said in the documentary that there were um during the during the, the during the trial for Drake Bell Drake Bell's assault there was this uh they had like the opposition or the defendants got uh letters uh got letters and stuff right uh and all these people came to uh uh what is it? I think it's Brian Peck. That's the guy's name. I think his yeah. name. I think his name is Brian Peck. His name is Brian um, Peck. It, every, uh, the, hey, no, the pretty, he's not related to Josh. Right. Okay. Um. Pretty much, it was Drake Bell, and he. It was him and his family, and pretty much that's it. And then for Brian Peck's side, it was it was filled with a bunch of like industry people. Now, here's the here's the tripped out part. The tripped out part was that people wrote letters on Brian Peck's behalf saying, oh, you know, we've known Brian Peck for years. We don't believe he would do all these crazy things he's been accused of. And then, and some of the names that they come out, some of the names of the folk that wrote the letters blew my mind. Really? Yeah. It's, yeah. It's bad. And you know what's crazy? Brian Peck, it, it was funny because they, they were lying. They straight up lied. Because here's the thing about Brian Peck. Brian Peck was on the registry. He was on the Whoa. sex offenders registry for fucking, not touching, not groping, fucking, fucking, fucking nine year old. Bro. Oh my God. What the yep. fuck? Yep. Yep. Like straight up dick in the butt. Dick in the butt levels of fucking. They were, about, <laughs> they were talking about some, oh, we don't we don't think he'd ever do this. Bullshit. He was literally on the registry way before he even worked at Nickelodeon. Them niggas was lying pieces of shit. Whoa, why did they hire, they why did they they hire him? Oh my god. Because these companies Wait. don't fucking care. Wait, and it gets like, better. Funimation not... has worked with like literal D- domestic violence people, fucking le- legit. I think they had a legitimate pedophile. Seven. Wait, I was gonna say, and that's not that. That's the crazy. That, okay, so, buddy, Brian Peck goes to prison, right? Mm-hmm. Brian Peck goes to prison. I think he does like what ten years or something like that. Something no, crazy. Six months. Six six months. months. Okay, six months. Six right. Months for that. Uh, yep. Wait, wait, wait. It gets better. That man. Do you know what his next job it was? was Disney. It? He worked. He worked for Disney during one of their uh, most popular shows, "The Sweet Life of Zach and Cody." On Zach and Cody. No. Whoa. Yep. Yep. No. And 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 Please. and the fo- and and when people found out, and people were found, and when people found out, they you know they got ticked off because it's like yo Nickelodeon, yo yo Disney, you ain't do your research on this man. Y'all didn't see he was doing stuff right next door to y'all. What in the world? No, they did. They just don't care. <clears throat> If they needed money yep. that bad, like damn. 
Well, does no, no, it take no, no. the time to look for someone better? Well, yeah, yeah. And then, uh, yeah, it was, so then that was pretty much it. And then it, and it talked about how, like, uh, they had some of the people from all that, and they had, like, um, they, they explained why you didn't see them on the show anymore and stuff like that. And they were saying that, you know, Dan Snyder would, like, there, there were women that, you know, Dan Snyder worked with where in the writer's room where, you know, he didn't want women in the writer's room and, you know, different little things like that. He wouldn't pay them and that kind of thing. And it just, just, just out of line stuff. And it was just like, bruh. Oh yeah. And it was just like, there was a recent development in this. So uh, there was supposed to be a spinoff show for uh, one of the characters on all that uh, Jordan. Mm-hmm. Uh, basically, the show just Jordan got canceled, and like after the um after the Quiet on Set documentary came out, he he said uh, Jordan and Jordan got canceled because he wouldn't give up any ass. Mm-hmm. Wow! <laughs> no, that's crazy. Yeah, yeah. That is. I remember just Jordan, and I remember it being off for like five too, minutes, and then it just dipped. Yeah, it got canceled because he wouldn't give up any ass. He that is up crazy. Ass. Yeah, I was wondering why it didn't last as long as it did. That makes sense. What the fuck? That is crazy. Yeah. Um, and then, and Quiet then, on set was basically, hey, you know this bad thing that everyone knows about? Oh, it's a lot worse than y'all think. Oh no, yep. oh no, that's yeah. all. That's oh, the no. only. That's all that they covered on Quiet on set. There was actually it's another. A lot worse. There was another documentary. Well, kind of documentary, kind of investigation type thing that some guy did like years ago. Apparently, yeah, using up. it is alleged that Dan Schneider was the one who got the fucking main, the, the girl who played Zoe from Zoe 101. Jamie Lynn Spears. Yep. Jamie Lynn Spears. There is, there is something that alleges him to be the father of her child. Yep. Oh, no. keep in mind, he was a teenager during this time. Oh, uh-huh. No. But here's here's the wild part, right? This I think this might have been a joke in that documentary, but the motherfucker said that Robert Downey Jr. was the one who exposed Dan Schneider. I'm not joking. I mean, That's what he said in the documentary. That has to be a joke. That has to. <laughs> it has to be yeah. a joke, but to that statement, I wouldn't be surprised if it isn't. Because yeah. RDJ has never really cared about the fucking industry standard or the industry people. Oh yep. yeah, for sure. Definitely does. He definitely doesn't seem to be that kind of guy. But then again, I didn't see George Lucas as that kind of guy either. And look where we are today. So I don't know. But just, the difference is George Lucas is a known dumbass. He's a known dumbass, but not every dumbass is like slimy. Yeah, uh, like what? it's one of those things. It's like d- fucking um, RDJ isn't really a dumbass. He was on crack for a bit. He was at a fucking he had a fucking drug addiction. I was look, look. All I know is, is my man changed his life. So. Sure. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So I, I, I want to I want to have some respect for for some people in the in these movies that I watch. Like he I doesn't like... give a fuck about the industry. He doesn't give a fuck about <laughs> industry people because the industry almost fucking destroyed him. Yep. Right. Yep. Mm-hmm. Right. So. Yeah, and then and then and then Dan Schneider responded. Uh, I think he came out with a video or something like that, where pretty much he was crying and saying, "Oh yeah, like you know, I, I didn't do all this stuff. Yeah, I, I didn't this see it." In his like, 40s, right? He's, yeah, he was doing the R. Kelly shit. I'm fighting for my fucking life. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. And it's like, and it's like my boy. Like, there's too much evidence against you. Right. Like, you know, and mind normally, you, it you know, was known beforehand that you were a weirdo and a freak, bro. Yeah. yeah. Now all like, this is coming out. Like, and it's like, like, when, like, when you start putting that stuff in, like, okay, you want to know what it is? When, we, 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 we quit in Tarantino. You could tell he's got a thing for feet, right? Yeah. But here's the here's the difference. Exactly. Here's the difference. It never goes beyond that. Right, like it's just a thing. It never goes head. beyond that. Maybe in like, his personal life it does. We don't. Right, know. yeah, but but like matter. that does. Yeah, when but it comes here's the to thing. His professional life, he keeps it away from that. Exactly, and yeah, he doesn't let it. Yeah, like he'll make obvious references to that. Where okay, it's like okay, we get it, but it's like hey, okay, you, you a feet freak, all right? All right. Yeah, but then I'll like, but then you. yeah, but then like it's one of those things where like it yeah, it doesn't go beyond that. You don't hear anybody coming out with uh any type of allegations or anything like that with him with Quentin Tarantino. No. So it's like you know, I so it's that. like okay, 
after that doc, I swear, I went and looked back at some of like the old Nick clip. I swear they had one scene in iCarly where somebody was sucking toes, bro. Like I'm Dan Schneider, bro. You know know I'm pretty sure it was Carly. Yeah, yeah no, nah, you want to know what was weird? No, no, no. seemed to really, um, really like Miranda. Yeah, I really like her. It was Bruh. Miranda. It was Miranda and fucking Nathan Cress. He really liked those two. He really See, you want to know what was too, weird? Huh? I, like, here's here's something that was crazy that I kind of noticed. I remember watching an episode of uh, Victorious where, like, Ariana Grande, it was kind of like, yeah, it, Ariana Grande was in it, and she was just, like, with these guys or what, with, the, like, these, I don't want to say they were older-looking dudes, but kind of? And she was just, like, you know, dancing around them and stuff, and I'm just like, I'm just sitting back and watching this. And I'm like, why is this trying to be more adult than than what it's supposed to be? No, like she's this. dressed in a, you know, she's dressed in like a bikini or whatever the case is. And I'm like, you're dancing with like older looking guys, bro. Like th- this isn't weird to y'all. Like, like yeah. putting all of this into perspective, like this just this just makes this. It's basically awful. right. A fire was started a long time ago. Someone went back to the fucking place the fire the fire had been burning. Because the fire had already died like years ago. Someone just threw a fucking nuke on that shit. That's mm-hmm. what this is basically. Yo, this, and then and then was, what's worse Oh yeah, go ahead, go ahead. I was gonna say I'm gonna send H a couple of like the wildest, like the weirdest fucking feet jokes that were in shows that I literally I didn't even remember half of these. I'm curious because I probably would have remembered some of them. I just need to see them again to be in. Yeah. yeah it's going to be weird because ones. I feel like that's going to like I'm going to that's going to respark a memory like, "Oh, I remember this." And then I'm going to be like, "Oh, in this new context, that's actually really fucking weird." <laughs> like there was and, a, and, there was a joke in Sam and Cat where fucking Sam acts a bunch of fucking like 11 year olds to rub her feet like it's fucking weird yeah there was like a fucking chinese slave labor joke there too i remember uh, no i remember the the one episode i was gonna say the one episode i remember was the whole like piranha thing where they would put i think it was on victorious where they would put like their feet in a in a in a in 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 like a an aquarium or something like that or like a fish tank yeah fish tank and then the the piranhas were supposed to like nibble the bacteria off their feet and stuff and I'm like what yeah. the hell? this is this is weird oh nobody goodness. would do this yeah. <laughs> like That's... you mean to tell me that y'all are at this really hot y'all are at this really prestigious pre- uh, uh, prestigious uh, 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 want to be Juilliard type of place and y'all are doing this with y'all free time come on now yeah that's that's who fun. does that this but my thing, but my thing is just the fact that like I I grew up with Nickelodeon, bro. Like, Nickel. you know, Hey Arnold, all that. Like, that that was that was home. Excuse me. And now and now that this is that now that this is coming out, I'm like, like y'all took something that was supposed to be for kids, the the, the one of the few safe spaces that we had, and, and, and y'all just crap and, and adults, adults just crapped all over it, bro. And it's just like, man. Yeah, they did. They crapped all over it decades ago. Yeah. This is no yeah. one fucking noticed. Or yeah, no one noticed, and all the stuff is being let out right now. So it's, it's like, like, damn, y'all. Like we smelt it, we didn't see it. <laughs> yeah. And then what's worse is like I started and, and like I started noticing that like you would hear, you know. You know, hear like people come out on YouTube where like a Dan Schneider was, you know, weird and all this other kind of like little things, right? Little rumors. But then mm-hmm. there was a whole, bro. I remember there being like a whole year, like a few years ago, where Dan Schneider was getting lit up, where lit like everybody was, where everybody yeah. was coming out and saying, "Oh yeah, you know, Dan Schneider did this, and Dan Schneider did that, and all this other kind of stuff." And it's like, I know that like it, it's weird. Like I know that like I, I don't think that. Miranda Cosgrove or anybody else, any of those guys are really gonna come out and say like, yo, like they're not gonna, they're not gonna, you know, they're gonna keep. I know they're gonna keep silent, but I know Jeanette McCurdy lit everybody up. She's just like, look, I'm gonna burn this whole place down. I don't care. Oh yeah, no, Jeanette McCurdy did not give a fuck, and that had me a lot of. 
Yeah, I have a lot of respect of for her. After yeah, that. no, I got a lot of respect for her, I, too. I already liked Jeanette McCurdy because of her work in the shows, but I didn't, like, she was, she gained more of my respect when she came out about everything. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No, she. Because so, yeah. I oh, think it was, she got out of rehab. She said, fuck all y'all. Y'all niggas almost killed y'all me. Are the, burning... Y'all are literally the reason I go to therapy. Yep. <laughs> mm-hmm. yep. I'm going to burn all of your fucking careers. Yep. Yep. Let me see, let me actually look at a couple She said fuck my mother. Characters. She said fuck fuck everyone at Nickelodeon that I had to work oh, under. Really fuck cool. all y'all. Yep. Yeah. Cuz this does seem to be at least a little relevant. So see, I didn't watch a lot of Sam and Cat. Neither so, did I. It was a weird fucking it show. Was, it was a bad yeah. show. I it genuinely feel like he was because here's the thing: when I was younger, I didn't think it made any sense for these characters to like even be together. But that now, was putting, but now putting all of this into light and saying like, "Oh, Dan Schneider just really liked these two fucking teenagers," which I don't know if they were still teenagers by this time. I assume they were. They were. But yeah, um, the fact that now it's just putting on this light that he just has a really like creepy interest in these characters i'm starting to feel like sam and cat was literally just fan fiction it was I mean, yeah it was, that it was, was that was, yeah, it was i was gonna say no because here's the thing i liked uh i okay look i carly was cool i carly was, it was i carly was a dope show mm-hmm. uh and i re- i thought the same exact thing when sam and cat was up because i'm like like, what First of all, doing? these two hardly don't even talk about each other, talk to each other on Sam and Cat. Number one, why? That's the one thing. Number two, why would you even? Why would you two even like? Why would you bring two characters that don't even talk to each other like that together on a two show? Two characters anyway? who are like polar what? opposite, by the right. way. Yeah. Right. Know it could right. work. It, it, it could. It could work. But I don't think Dan Schneider was worried. Was concerned nah. about whether or not nah, he, was, not, he, was he was concerned about. about he wasn't no, even much concerned about how weird he can make this fucking show. How weird he yeah. can make this show and get away with it. And get away with it. And, like, and also, too, also, too, like, it, it's crazy, too, because, yeah, no, uh, Jeanette McCurdy and, and, and Ariana Grande didn't really have that much chemistry like that. And so, they never disliked each other, but they never really clicked, if that makes sense. Right. Right. Yeah. yeah. And I feel like for a show like this, where you have two polar opposites working together, having chemistry. Is incredibly it's important. important. Like, yeah, they, it's vital. Yeah. You know what's crazy? Sam and Cat could have worked if they just it replaced Cat with Jade, because Jade is literally just goth Sam. J- and you want to know what's funny? You want to know what's funny? You want to know what's funny? There's an episode where Jade shows up in the show, and in that very fucking episode, right? In that very episode, Jade and Sam are together the whole episode. That's crazy. That's actually that fucking crazy. hilarious. Because that's how that's well those true. two worked together. Right. See, I think Sam and Cat would have worked better if Sam, instead of kind of like the brash tomboyish character um, archetype, was more of the straight man archetype. But Sam's not the Sam's not the straight right. man. Yeah. Yeah. No, Carly the thing was about the straight man. This, this, the, 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 the only reason a show like this would work is if you have a fucking straight man. Exactly. To work yeah. Out like one thing like Victoria's did hand. right, right, was it split every character into sort of like a pair of mm-hmm. the weird one and the straight man. Yeah. Mm-hmm. In here, you have like two like completely like radical like um uh, polar opposite ends of the weird one. Really don't yeah yeah pretty much they're both kind of the weird one, and so like it's the whole reason why shows like the Patrick Star show and shows where you have like the comic relief as the main focus. Planet Sheen. (laughs) It's why shows like that don't work. Don't work. I hated Planet Sheen. Hold the fuck up. (laughs) What is the Patrick <laughs> Star show? What is that? Oh, yeah, Patrick Star. Patrick Star. <laughs> That's, a That's, That's a thing. That's a thing. Patrick has his that own is a show. Real... Like, Patrick has that... his own show. And it's yes. bad. And it's Why? bad. It's bad. Fuck. It's so Why? terrible. I don't know. Wait, I need to look this up. No, <laughs> I need to look dark this up myself. No, God, there so was bad. a fucking 4chan Reddit joke, bro, in the fucking show. Are you sick? You're, you're, oh yeah, my god, this is real. <laughs> I'm dead ass. Yeah, right they now. use the bubble oh. ass to make a 4chan joke, bro. This shit has a 14% on Rotten Tomatoes and a 3.5 on That's it. Like, even Rotten Tomatoes couldn't, you couldn't pay Rotten Tomatoes enough to suck that dick. 
That Dang. Was rotten. So you mean to tell me you couldn't pay Ron at Rotten Tomatoes to use enough bots to boost That's up how you know the... That's uh, right. You want to know what's I funny? Rotten up. Tomatoes is known for being willing to suck any dick if you could pay them enough. You yep, couldn't pay true. them enough to suck this show off, but they, you could, they, they, Netflix could pay them enough to suck off She-Ra. Fucking um, Disney, Disney could pay them a shitload to suck off all their shitty movies. True. You mean to tell me y'all couldn't afford to pay them enough to you know suck off your show? I found a compilation yeah. and straight up delete stuff. reviews. I found that uh, would make uh, the show's rating worse. I found a compilation. Of course, we're not going to watch all of this, but I found a compilation of basically the best of the Patrick Star show season. Who the one. fuck is that? Is that Squidward's granddaughter? Who is this? <laughs> <laughs> that is, if, no, let me explain. I'm pretty sure that bitch is supposed to be related to Patrick. That's not a joke. That's a squid. How is that related to There's Patrick? A squid. That's a squid. No. One, 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 of his, one of his relatives got freaky deaky. That's all you need to know. Bro, why does he look like a why does she look like a mutated version of Baby Bop? What are we dealing with? <laughs> <laughs> Baby Bop. But he looks like the thing the thing looks like Baby Bop and Squidward fused to Oh my gosh. No. Let me just get a snippet of, of some of the stuff that goes on in this fucking show, bro. This uh, is bad. Wait, we probably shouldn't. We might get oh, fucking yeah, like obliterated by Viacom. <laughs> That's true. Viacom might not even yeah. watch us want us like checking it out. So I guess check that out for yourself then. Check that out for yourself. But since this is a Sam and Cat thing, we might not even be able to do that. Oh no! This you gotta remember that's also remember that's also Nickelodeon. Nickelodeon's too busy trying to quell the flames of. I, I'll, quiet on set. So, I'll know, pause it like, here and there because this one's like really short. Well, since we're talking about fucking quiet on set, they're gonna cut. They're gonna see us front and center, bro. They're gonna see us as the enemy. You wanna make you? Ain't seeing us. Like, the fuck? <laughs> Listen, these dumbasses. Listen, they're so stupid. They lost their own fucking court case because they're idiots. Yeah, no, I was saying, Nickelodeon's got bigger things to be concerned about. They need to be. They need to be worried about the thousand skeletons. It's ironic. It's ironic because I did like Ariana Grande and Jeanette McCurdy back when these shows were out, but I was also a teenager with these when these shows went yeah, out. Yeah, when these shows I, were out. So I, could, yeah. I was in middle school was when gonna, this show was out. I was going to say, yeah, I was like what. 16 17 when these when these yeah, shows were like a thing yeah. and so and and the thing i love too was that like you know the accent like ariana grande singing i'm like whoa she's really good she can sing really yeah. good and i'm just like, like she, she had her she started her singing career with victorious yeah that's why like right that's why randomly you would see in um uh sam and cat that sometimes she would um have different color hair because sometimes what she would do is she would dye her hair mm-hmm what? Uh, what is the reason the, Ariana because Grande... because Cat had red hair? What she'd have to do sometimes is she'd have to then you know dye either dye it back to red or wear a red wig. Hey, what if the reason why Ariana Grande keeps changing her skin color is because she has like deep rooted trauma from Nickelodeon? Could, it wouldn't that would be surprise me. I, that would be an interesting way to try to deal with. Uh, we're not gonna get like a. We're not gonna get like a theory. Not because, fucking, yeah, we're not fucking we here. Ain't gonna get, that, we ain't gonna get no truth. We're not gonna talk about that, bro. That's no, 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 just no, no, theory. No. A film no, theory. Well, no, 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 no. Well, no, no, no. We're not gonna like. Uh, uh, she ain't gonna come out say nothing. She ain't. She ain't gonna say she nothing. Definitely ain't. She's making too much she, money. She's she making right. too much she, money to worry about this shit. She's she no no no. She's making too much money, and also, uh, she looked at. She probably thought of. She she probably uh, saw Jeanette McCurdy and was like, "No, nah, you got it, champ." You can speak also, she like openly this. stated she wants nothing to do with Nickelodeon and the, the role of like she she hated Cat. She hated playing Cat. Like this is something she was very open about. She hated playing Cat. Oh, oh, yeah, that's I can she, understand that. Not everyone like wants to be the airhead. Yeah, right. and it and it don't no, but the, the thing is is like sometimes you can make an airhead like adorable, but mm -hmm. for her it was like they no, they just made her and they and tried I, to and make I, her a fuck they tried to like infantilize her almost. Yeah. yeah. And I'm like like there there's there's like a few times in the episode there's a few times where I'm just like there's a few times where I remember seeing her in the Victorious and I'm like, there's nobody that dumb. Yeah. Come on now. Like there's come no, on, y'all are not even trying to make her like adorably dumb like come on dude yeah. this is I, like this is actual retardation like right? how are you even <laughs> in high literally school? Like, literally like you should still like, be the in thing the, kindergarten. Like, i don't know if you remember but in the first season of victorious cat had a very different voice 
But then, like, one episode, right? Mm. It was, like, one episode, she put on a voice. I forget what the fucking context was. I think something happened to Kat that resulted in her voice being higher, right? Mm-hmm. And then for the rest of the fuck, then like they go back to her normal voice. But then for the rest, I think from like the it was near the end of season one. But then like for the rest of the show, she has that high voice. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it, it like it, it got it got annoying after a while. Yeah. It's just like yeah. you sound mm-hmm. like you just sound like you're always confused about everything all the time, and that you're like five years old, like at you all sound times. Like you're from California. <laughs> <laughs> Well, to be fair, her character is supposed to be from California. So you know what? Uh, it works. She sounds like a dumbass from Damn. California. Because she's playing a dumbass really, from California. This kind of really told her to live up to the stereotype. That's crazy. Literally. They literally, made, oh, her, they they literally made her the stereotype. Yep. Oh, and, and, and I was going to say, and the funny thing is, is honestly, a lot of those shows made me not want to go to California. For real? A lot of them shows. Yeah, a lot of, bro, a lot of them shows made me not want to go to California. Because I'm like, bro. There's nothing but like entitled stupid artists. Entitled stupid and I'm like, artists and dickheads there. You want to know what's funny? Yeah. That's that's very much true. Entitled yeah. stupid artists and dickheads. Yep. Yeah, you can't I've been like, there. I've been bro, to California several times. That's it. California is like it's like New York, but worse. How do you do that? How what? do you which is crazy to me? Because how are you worse than New York? Like the prices. Like the the way the houses. Okay, here's the shit that kills me. Right. This is what kills me about California. California, in New York, right, you have the slums, okay, you have the ghetto, you have Brooklyn, the Bronx, and all that shit. Here's the thing, you know it's Brooklyn and the Bronx. You know what to expect when you go there, right? You know In California, in I, California, you can you know this. You, you can literally have the suburbs in the hood, like, literally intersect with each other. It's fucking disgusting. Yep. <laughs> and you wouldn't notice. You wouldn't yep. notice, because it all looks the fucking same. This it's so true. fucking it's so stupid. Not only that, but niggas in California can't fucking drive. <laughs> no, they can't. You niggas drive like y'all surprised. are putting y'all feet on the damn steering wheel and shit and using their fucking hands for the pedals and shit. Y'all niggas bro, <laughs> California niggas. Let me ask you something. Let me ask you something. No Did worries. you get your licenses off the back of a cereal box? How the fuck <laughs> did y'all get to work? Because California has no fucking standards. True. And why is everything so damn Like, expensive? these niggas are more cracked out than Florida. You want to know why? Because they're the ones who want all these niggas there. Like, hey, all right, now you wonder what they're like. Right. Last time I went to California, it Wait, cost what? me $14. $14 for a smoothie. <laughs> How are you niggas alive? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. No, that's what, yeah. yeah, that's another thing. Like, a, a lot of shit in California, they cost a lot of shit. Like, that shit costs mm. a lot. Fourteen. Yeah. Right, there's hella fucking people there. And they, yeah. and they want to have one of the, Then, I'm going to add this, right? They have one of the worst sets of homeless population in the fucking state. Skid Row. Skid Row. No, that's a fact. Hey. And Skid Row, too. And they got Skid Row. Yep. Please, for the love, can we just cut California off of the like United States? Can we just get like a giant drill yeah, can we laser only have- and just cut oh, yeah. that shit off and let it float down the river, like float down the ocean? See who else gets it. That's what I'm saying. Just give us 49 states. We good. We don't need 50. Right. We don't need 50. We don't need California. Let that bitch sink. We need that Rico, all them, them dumbasses are. Anyway. Listen, all those dumbasses are there. The rest of the dumbasses are either in New York, which is slowly sinking like the rest of the world. Anyway. In Florida. So, what a, so they'll, or Florida. But Florida is also full of fucking crackheads who... Honestly, Florida's stupid shit is... Cont- One thing I can give Florida, their stupidity and their craziness is contained to Florida. Hey, hey, they don't tr- take it they back. Don't sp- they don't try to spread it to the rest of the fucking world. I'd take it back. 47 states. No, California, right 47. 47. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Like... Florida is that stupid voice in your head, right? Right. New York it's, is like, a clinical disease, right? New York is a actual <laughs> disease. California is a fucking cancer. brain tumor. It is a brain tumor. California is a brain tumor. <laughs> that's that's you. That's 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 killing you. You. Uh-uh. Absolutely. H, I want you to look up California compliant guns. Please what? do it. Please do. No, please look it up. It's fucking hilarious. California compliant guns. Yes. Hey, guns. Look up it's California compliant it's guns. It's hilarious. Please look it up. California compliant guns. Are we talking like water guns? Like No, no. Like actual no. firearms. 
There is a, I shit you not, there is a single shot pistol. There is a single, there, hear me out. There is a single shot pistol It that is California compliant. You have to, I shit you not, you have to put the bullet through the top of the fucking, <laughs> through the top of the goddamn <laughs> barrel gun. and push it down and then you fire it. I'm not joking. This is how stupid California is. I'm about musket you shit. have to take a single bullet. <laughs> No, hold on, hold on. I'm, I'm gonna find it. I'm gonna find it. So please, please, please show it to him. Yeah, ahead, please show it to him. It's so it funny. So it's fun. so funny. Yeah, find it. I'll, I'll, I'll throw it up. Like niggas always ask, who would win? In a, if there was a fucking state war, who would win between Texas and California? The answer is always gonna be Texas. Oh, yeah, of course. Like Texas? Oh, oh, I fought. My fault. I'm thinking the other way around. Texas is always gonna win. These niggas don't give a fuck. H. H, when you see this gun, when you see this gun, you're gonna want to you kill you. You're gun. gonna lose it. You're gonna lose it. <laughs> play the clip. I, it's, it's, you're gonna lose it. What the fuck is that? Just play it. Just you're play gonna it. fucking lose it, dude. What the fuck is this? Hold on. <laughs> it's a California complaint gun. That's what that is. Hold on. Let me that's go just, That's just oh, a pistol. Let me find. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Oh, see if you can find the fucking rifle, Indra, please. <laughs> what is that? Hold on. Franklin that Armory a... CA 329 millimeter pistol. Let me take a look. That is a California compliant gun. All right. Yes. This is the Franklin Armory CA 321. It looks fake. It looks Close broken. It. Take a shot. <laughs> Drop another round in there. What? Oh, hell no. That's what you gotta what? do. That's what yeah, you gotta do. To you gotta drop gun. the individual rounds in there like it's a fucking musket. <laughs> Bro, you put it up there? You don't put it down there? Bro, what the fuck is this? <laughs> what is that for then? What's this? Because the model of a gun, that. because the model and the regular model of gun, the proper way it's supposed to be done, is you put it in through that hole, at the, use that place at the bottom, that's where it's supposed to go. Dude, hey, yo, you know what that sounds Yo, that's not like the Wii family when he took the uh, GameCube shits off the side, yo. <laughs> 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 no. Like, these California niggas are playing with Nerf guns, bro, basically. Oh, no. I'm, like I was hoping they took them joints. I'm wondering. First of all, yeah, why does that gun look like? Why does that gun look plastic as ever? Like I got squished it. That's what I'm saying. It with my fingers. It looks like, like someone it's sat on it. It's California. Because it's California. These niggas are pissants. These niggas are more pussy than you. Bro, he got that shit all wick. Oh, and if you think that. <laughs> oh, you think that... Wait, Wait. Andrew, Andrew, did you find the right? Andrew, did you find the right one? <laughs> okay, which one? Uh, honestly, it doesn't fucking matter. There? They're both there? bad. They're both really bad. All right, all right. So this is this is one. This is this is one where they're it's, both it's, really one guy's explaining the the absolute absurdity of their rifles. Like it's so bad. Like I'm not even a huge fucking gun nut. Like I like I like I like guns. Guns are are always been a cool thing to me. Shut up, Carl. Don't fucking say anything. I wasn't even with that. Oh, nah. <laughs> exactly. That's why I told I'm you shut up. Concerned, not gonna lie. <laughs> I'm yeah, yeah, told yeah, that yeah. ass. This is uh, <laughs> it's so bad. It's so Ew. Bad. California yeah. shocking assault rifle laws exposed. That looks like a goddamn flamethrower. What is that? What is that is an assault rifle. That is a that's an assault, assault rifle. What the fuck mm -hmm. is this shit? All right, that? so that's supposed to be the back. H, H. So here's the funny thing about California gun law. The, the pistol. So apparently, pistol grips make guns more effective at shooting things now. Yes, that is exactly what California has said. So I mean, even though that's proven to be false. So anything with a pistol grip has to have this weird fucking thing on the back of it, right? Or or it has to be changed out to this fucking thing that makes it pretty much impossible to hold and shoot. Mm-hmm. Surgeon's grip can't put those on AKs, unfortunately. Those are a little bit friendlier than just like you know how on some bigger guns you'll see that little thing like attached to the back. Looks yeah, thing, bro. yeah, that's effectively what that is. No. That's not supposed to go to that. No, it doesn't look like it's supposed to. It that shit looks gross. disgusting, bro. Because it's not. Just ugh. Like I could take a Smith and Wesson 500 in California. None of these niggas are doing Bro, shit to me. I'll wipe out half is, the population. What in an hour. is that? <laughs> what is that supposed is to be? The, that? That, 
That's H. H, you're going to lose it when I tell you this? That's supposed to be the barrel. Yep. That's not. Oh, that what? Bro, just put a. That's supposed cage. to be the just barrel. Fucking, just, just fucking put a whole cage on this thing. For oh, those are just the ARs. ARs. Those are just those the ARs. Just the ARs. Those are just the ARs. You want to see Bro, the AKs? That's literally just gonna sh- f- make your bullets like miss. Just go all yeah. over the place. H, H, the, the AKs. They're not even automatic. They're, it's they're all single even, shots. It, all all of this shit here, single shot. Mind shots. you, single an AK shot. is supposed to be an automatic an gun. Then how is it an AK? It's not an AK. It's a monstrosity. <laughs> because it's California. <laughs> well, that's not an AK. That's an AL. <laughs> that's an AL. AL. That's not even an AL, AL, bro. That's an OL, bro. Bro, that looks like a fucking sniper rifle. Why does it have the nozzle on there? Bro, like what that? is that? In the, mm-hmm. Bro, that shit don't even look. Come on. What is that? That's supposed what to be the is, fucking nozzle. Bro, this is what happens when you let freaking guns like have sex with sibling guns. That's what happens. <laughs> <laughs> this is, this is literally interbreeding guns, it. bro. This is hey, should we that one fucking incest meme Shane sent? That's what this is with guns. Bro, like Ooh. I'm trying to remember specifically which one you're talking about because I know he's probably uh, the before. the one where the grandma fucked the son. Oh yeah, that one. Oh lord. Bro, yeah, I, the, whoever whoever is new to this stream is gonna be confused as what the fuck's going on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you don't need this context. They're called. You don't need to know about. Bro, look don't. at this one down here. Why is the nozzle so tiny? Welcome to California. Yeah, this, a, welcome. Welcome to California, where our guns you know are and we're all big ass motherfuckers. You know it'd be funny if they added a fucking silencer on that shit. You know how ugly that shit would look on these guns. Oh, you want to see it? You, you want to see, see it? You want to see it? Wait, wait, are, no, are y'all dead? Ass? <laughs> show him, show him, show him. Please show him. Please show him. Please stop playing. I can't, I can't keep doing this. It's a good thing I started drinking. Bro, I, can't I was keep playing. Doing Ain't no way that shit. Is <laughs> <laughs> I started drinking. Stop playing. You want to see California? Compl- Quiet rifle with a we thing. haven't even finished it this. Apparently, worse. there's more. Yeah, no, there's more. It gets worse. It always How can it possibly get worse little... than this? It's good. Like uh, Bro, you can't even grab that. There's no room <laughs> to grab it. <laughs> yep. Well, that's California law, right? Yeah, maybe a little bit. You can hold law. that thing, but if you have adult hands, how are you supposed to even hold that? You don't. made that thing for a goddamn automaton. Or maybe a robot could hold that. Fucking take his whole fucking arm socket off and replace the <laughs> end of that thing, maybe. What the hey. fuck is this? Is that the fucking <laughs> SMG from Shadow the Hedgehog? <laughs> <laughs> Ain't no way. Ain't no way. All right, put the, put the image on screen for the people. Yep. Put it on screen. What is yeah. that? What yeah, is that? that is, that's it. Yeah. That's a California gun with a silencer on it. This this is your warning, guys. This is your warning. Never go to California. <laughs> Never go to what California. Fuck is this? Bro, imagine getting robbed and the nigga who's robbing you pulls out with this. <laughs> like, no, I'm losing SMG. it. I'm going to start laughing. A cockable SMG. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what the I'm like, bro, you're not and you're supposed that. to and, so, and you're supposed to put one bullet at a time, bro. Imagine you're doing that in a mm-hmm. firefight. Like no, 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 no. It's not. Yeah, this, you're done. This, this is not one bullet at a time. This actually has a magazine. Mm-hmm. This no, actually no, has a mag. Yeah, you can you can instead, see the mag. Instead, yeah. there is no automatic fire. It is all single shot. <laughs> mm-hmm. And and it does. They do not allow. I'm pretty sure they do not allow assault rifle caliber. So uh, they're only allowed to shoot nine millimeter. <laughs> yep. Bro, you're telling me that's so that trash. magazine is full of nine millimeter bullets. Yes, yep. and all nine like, mil- these, all like the- that that is that rifle is designed to shoot nine millimeter, even though that's not the fucking right model for that. <laughs> they that went is- and altered it and changed it to shoot nine millimeter. Bro, oh. those bullets look like it's gonna get stuck in the fucking barrel. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Like those guns, yo. When you use them too much. You're going to fire oh, it. And oh, it's oh, stuck. H, 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 you need to see the bullpup. You need do to I, see a bullpup. Please. Do I, do oh, I, no. Do I really? No, no, a California no, compliant no. bullpup. You need to see this. <laughs> Not the bullpup. No, don't do it. Don't do it. Go for it. I'm do it. Uh, oh, no. what is, <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> Yo, Ew. Uh, <laughs> what? No, 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 no. What is the handle? Why is the magazine back there? No, what the hell is this? No one. That is what, a what California, California compliant bull point. Is that? You can't hold that. You cannot you can't hold, hold it. it. You, cannot hold that. you cannot hold that. 
You can't hold that gun, bro. I forget about firing it correctly. How the fuck are you supposed to grip this? Fucking I'm pressing back. Get caught between your hands. Over here, just fucking, just bolted a fucking sheet of metal behind the fucking handle. Like, there you go. Like, how am I supposed to use this? You don't. That's, you that's don't, actually. You don't. <laughs> That is. Let's 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 make our let's make our gun ridiculously expensive and difficult to use. Congratulations, California. What's difficult. How's a human supposed to even handle this? You don't. Not even just. Not, not you don't. How do you reload it, bro? <laughs> you, you, you pull that. Okay. You pull that magazine out. One false move. All your bullets are on the ground. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Right. Just lightly tap. You just lightly tap that fucking piece of metal on the back, and you're done. You're dead. Like all I wanted to do was reload. <laughs> That's amazing. Do those like, also fire nine millimeter bullets? No, no. no yeah. This one. Okay. No. Okay. Wait. No. This one doesn't fire nine mil. Okay. That, that doesn't. That doesn't look like nine mil. Okay. I was. I, I was, think it's real... needs to die. <laughs> all California's guns need to die because their guns are shit. Bro. Fuck no, California. No, this one's Need to die. Look at it. Oh yeah, no, it's, it's atrocious. But it gets worse, by the way. It gets worse. It can get worse. This gun, get worse. Bro, this gun is the freaking like the result of the fucking grandmother fucking the fucking grandchild. No, no. If you want to see some bullshit, you want to see some bullshit. This is this is the great grandmother fucking the avocado outside. Look at this shit. The avocado outside. You, show it. You show it, please. This gun's making me angry. I looked at this gun and now I'm upset. <laughs> no. <laughs> Ew! Oh. California. The I thought the it couldn't get any how. worse. The question is how they Where's the end? You, I guess there isn't one. California is the ninth one. No, California is the ninth one. Barrel looked like it was fucking like forced in with a hammer, bro. <laughs> that looked like it was forced in with a. Bro, it looked like the barrel got chopped in half <laughs> because he did. The barrel bro, you did like that, bro. Like, what the fuck? Uh, no, I didn't do that. I would never, a, I would, you know I would, I would never like? destroy a, a beautiful piece of machinery like this. You know I would that never. Looks like? That hose looks like it came off of a fucking bike pump. That's what that hose looks like. For real. It doesn't like Wait, Jay, you said this pump. is beautiful? This shit is not beautiful, bro. No, I didn't say this was beautiful. I said I would never, I would never fucking destroy a beautiful piece of machinery like this. Oh, yeah. Bro, and was, to add the cherry on top. To add the cherry on top. You could get these. You can get these beauties for the low, low price of between one thousand and three thousand dollars. You got me <laughs> all the way. Up. Mm-hmm. You no, know you know you said that. You got you got me three you different types him, right? of fucked up. California is literally EA, bro. When it comes to their fucking guns, so show them the prices. Like eh? Show them the prices. I'm not fucking with you. You could get this is over a thousand dollars. One thousand two hundred thirty-eight dollars for the gun from Shadow the Hedgehog. Somebody needs to get shot, and not by these guns. No, whoever bought this needs to get shot by that that actual gun. Because bro, no I way. don't think you can. I legitimately do not buy that you can hit anybody with these guns. Oh, like, no, it's not. It's no, not no, nine. No way I'm oh, that's that not shit. nine. That's seven six two. That's huh. bro. I just saw the fucking what? handle Why on this thing. That looks like it's made out of plastic. <laughs> Gotta love California, you know. It's it's a wonderful. Why is it seven six two? What? Seven six two. That thing actually shoots seven six. That's tough. <laughs> I'm I'm so I'm. We need to nuke. So please, Raccoon City, California. The best of the best. You say Raccoon City, the best of the best. You lying, you little bitch. Oh, let's, let's see the one review. Of the best rifles in California. I just wish I can't pronounce that. USA would offer Woodstock and for Cali Nico. Nine. A very Look, they, bad they spelled California oh, wrong. That's how you know these reviews are fake. That shit says California oh, with a K. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> I just see that shit. It shoots straight. It is very accurate, and it's cheap to shoot. Don't deny yourself the fun. Cheap to shoot. That's over a thousand dollars. Thanks for speaking of us. California. <laughs> Thanks for. Yeah, these are bots. <laughs> these are bots. Uh, sex you're as literally bots in California. 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 Overall, Overall, amazing, amazing looking, looking firearm. And really fun to shoot. It'll take Man. point ten off because I prefer the build to have nitride coating. What Still, put four point nine starting. So nitride coating is basically a thing that makes it better for shooting, which you know I don't think California guns can do because they're <laughs> shittily made. You want a uh, gun that can get nitride coating? Give me a fucking gun, pussy. 
Oh bro, first off, these go- bro, first off, these comments. I know they're bots, but like, come on, bro, they're not better at Xbox reviews. You got me fucked up. <laughs> no, the Xbox. Bro, we gotta show one of these days. We got. I gotta Xbox. show these niggas the, Yo, the They don't know the reviews. Xbox, bro. Meet the Robinsons. No. Oh my Meet fucking the god! Reviews. We're that was hilarious. <laughs> we're in the we're in the meme section, and this counts as a meme. So by all means, uh, share them over. We're still doing. Fuck it out. Let me pull them up. Let me pull them up then. Hey, no lie though. No lie though. Sometimes, sometimes the the uh, the Xbox reviews go kind of hard. Like I looked up some of the reviews of like some of the games, and they're like, "Yeah, this game doesn't work. Why is this? Why does this exist?" Like, no, we yeah, saw Meet the Robinsons years ago. That shit was fucking <laughs> funny, yo. Oh my Bro, god, wait, was it was it on Metacritic that we found them, Carl? No, it was on Microsoft. Oh fuck! Yeah, go, go, on ahead and, go ahead and look for them. I'll get started with some of the ones that were submitted. Da, 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 present share screen. All right, first one. Well, first one after th- those fucking quote unquote guns. Uh, no context humans. That crunch gave me chills. That looks like such a delicious piece of fried oh, chicken. I've seen him. I've and it's seen making me. It's, it's so making good. me. It makes me want fried chicken now. I want fried chicken now. But everything's oh, fucking closed. What time is it? Love. Yep, everything's closed. God damn it. Well, I'll get I'll you know what? I'll get some no. tomorrow. I'll get some fried exactly. chicken. Exactly. I'll just order, I'll just order some tomorrow for lunch. Question is, do I get do you think that's a Popeye's recipe type recipe? You think that's a church's type recipe? You think that's a KFC? That's probably type that, recipe? that's looking like a mix of Popeye's and maybe less greasy than KFC's, but like yeah, I like KFC. I like KFC's like kind of like other options besides just their regular chicken, because their regular chicken is greasy as fuck. Mm-hmm. Um I kind of want some yeah, churches yeah. though. It's churches. I was gonna say it's churches good because I've seen them rebrand the themselves, which is the crazy. Last time I had churches was when I was like single digits, so I actually don't know. Ah. Last time I had churches, they had bulletproof glass at the fucking register. Hey, <laughs> well, it's Omaha, so hopefully they won't need that. But I digress. We'll see. But yeah, let's. All let's right, stay. I found. I found. I found the link. Where I put it. Uh, just, just, in, Carl, just send, just send it to me. I'll pull it up. You can send it to him, All but right. also you can, from now on, if you want to sh- like share things to talk about, just you can put it in either the weekly uh, channel if it's like something like a topic, or the memes channel if it's something silly. All right, H H H H H H. I just remembered. I gotta show you this man, fucking um, Ivan, bro. Ivan. What? He's a, he's this Mexican dude on TikTok. He's a fucking menace, but he's funny as shit. <laughs> oh shit! I remember this dude. Hey, bro, a, men- a menacing Mexican? What? <laughs> what is yes. That yes, he's a, me- he's a he's he's Mexican and he's a fucking menace. <clears throat> okay, I definitely gonna need some context for that because that can mean anything. Like, is he? A, I'll, he's I'll, a Mexican that robs videos. people. Like, <laughs> I'm yeah, pulling some fucking videos. Oh, okay. okay. All right, guys, let's make some fried chicken. First step is to brine your chicken overnight. Brining is the process of submerging meat into a solution of salt and water. This actually is the secret to flavorful and juicy chicken. Okay. Once you're done with the brining, <clears throat> add the chicken dry. Make sure it's really dry or else the batter won't stick to the chicken while it's frying. <clears throat> Next step is the actual coating of the chicken. Okay. I first learned this a few years ago from a Eggs. YouTuber, Wong Tran. What? Eggs, huh? It's actually pretty funny because even after two years of culinary school, this method of his is still the best one I've ever tried. A lot Once of, you're done with the three-step cooking steps. process, fry it immediately for best results. Fry it for 16 minutes and it should be ready. I need to get an air fryer real real. Yes, soon. you do. Air fryers real, are yeah. like a genuine air, air fryers. Bro. Air fryers are life-changing, bro. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god right, that that yeah that crunch was fucking yo that can you send that to me yo oh, can yeah, you send I, that to me yeah i'll send that oh, to yeah, me. i found the meet the robinson's review by the way i'll show him i'm gonna pull him up he sent them to me that, yeah. that, cr- put- that crunch sounded like a whole orchestra yeah honestly that was that was, that was I, I agree with the guy on the left like yeah oh, that, that, that was a beautiful <laughs> crunch <laughs> oh my goodness! Yeah, I sent that to you. Shit. I Sweet. if if I you know if I get enough time and if I have enough money to spare, shit, I might have to try that recipe. I might have to. Okay, well, on to the next one. 
No, no, let me show. Let me the Robinson's reviews first. Oh, okay. Just go ahead and send it to oh, me. Mouse, bro. Oh, shit. No, I got, I got, I got it. I'm gonna pull it up. Oh, you're you're all you're gonna pull it up on your end. Okay. Yeah, I already have it open. Okay. So, so. The, the first one it says, oh. "I divorced my yeah. wife over this game. What? I'm poor and can't afford games or child support, <laughs> so I got games with gold, and they always give me the highest quality games. Keep it up." Why'd you divorce your fucking wife? I don't fucking no, it know. Gets crazy. It, it gets just as no, crazy. Where is it? Where is it? Are you talking about the one with the rat poison, bro? Please. What? Yo. Wait, 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 wait. This game oh, gave me yeah, 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 Why? <laughs> Why? Yeah, no, the one above it. The one above oh, it. This game gave me an erection harder than when I watched the creature. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Why is the <laughs> man made a whole orgasm noise? <laughs> <laughs> busting nuts. Literally busting a nut right in a review. I didn't know you could write reviews that in, in <laughs> That's what I'm saying. saying. Like, bro, yeah. this man chat was about to pass it. Oh no, I saw it. Wait. Oh, this is the, this, oh. This, is the one, this is the one. No, this is the one. This is the one. This one of the other ones. What does that I sat mean? I in my dark room chugging four locos, this mowing down copper floor scrubs as Wilbur Robinson. <laughs> Suddenly, Wilbur is <laughs> just out of my Shrek television. My boombox malfunction says so playing various audio from XX. <laughs> 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 I'm Baskin Robbins nearby incident. He spelled Baskin wrong, by the way. Don't worry, your sphincter is safe. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Excuse and me. Like, I need more straight. of this. Shit. What cocaine? That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Like, these FOVs, you had me crying. What? Bro. We were fucking all dying, bro. <laughs> It gets worse. It gets so oh, no. much. It gets well, worse. I just can't. My devotion was I can't join him. What do you mean? <laughs> so for anyone who doesn't know history, Kim Jong Il is Kim Jong Un's father. Okay. I'm pretty sure he still he had the, the same freaking George Jefferson ass haircut Kim Jong Un has. Yeah, he does. <laughs> Jefferson. That's the only, don't tell me that's not what his hair looks like, bro. He does. It's like a pickle. It's like a pickle up top, but it's like shaved. He stashed back at me, have it your way. <laughs> he then throws candelure at me and instantly teleports me to Poland. September 1st. Oh. No. <laughs> The side where anime was invented. I then got shot 56 <laughs> times by German MG 42s and died. <laughs> I like how it wasn't more of the game though, more of the story. Have sex with Wilbur Robinson, I guess. What the fuck? <laughs> game really needs to change your lives, bro. What the fuck? <laughs> I need to find the rap poison. How that how that was just one review out of so many. <laughs> it days. felt like my day was oh. missing for 15 years. It came back. It's worse. What? I love BB. What does that have to do with BB? <laughs> <laughs> This game finally pushed me to take me those pills. They pumped my stomach, but I ran a lot. <laughs> I guess he was saying the game was bad. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I'm gonna say that one. 
<laughs> when I was playing this masterpiece, my god, I can't even like, come up 2019. <laughs> two, two miles in front of me, while tearing giant holes in the drywall in my home. Ouch. That sounds painful. Clown emoji gun, Arab man, <laughs> fucking deer. Soccer ball. <laughs> Let's just start with David. Oh. <sighs> I'm trying to remember. Yo, we got to keep going down. <laughs> Not Yo, in I'm any way. By the end of this, I'm, I'm going to actually off myself. <laughs> Wait, is this the one? Whoa, no, it's not. I I don't no, this. there's another. But Whoa. I remember this one. It honestly, I'm when I'm home dog. from work, I cannot stop addiction to dick cheese. <laughs> <laughs> I'm seriously trying to figure out what half of these reviews have to do with the fucking game. That's Nothing. what makes these it funny. Just on drugs. <laughs> Nothing. These people are just on drugs. <laughs> That's what makes it funny seriously, else. dick cheese was ruining my life. But then when I played Mrs. Robinson, I learned to appreciate virtual way. <laughs> So now I don't need no cheese from John at the bar or homeless Lou. <laughs> Thank you, Simon. Thank you, Gar- Gar- Frank. What? Virtual Wang. Oh what virtual, virtual Wang? wang. Crazy, I virtual don't wang. know. These need to be locked into a vault. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, bro. I don't remember most of these. These are relics of the motherfucking past, bro. Wait, 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 wait. Somebody <laughs> said, yo, wait, wait, no, go back up. D- this game makes me cry. <clears throat> the Russo brothers made $9 billion and destroyed Avatar despite their allowance of a st- sweatshop worker in Iraq. <laughs> 10 out of 1 made in one. China. <laughs> <laughs> yo, I can't. Jesus Christ, these reviews. Holy shit. <laughs> Why? That's what I'm saying. Oh, oh yeah, let's, let's go to the next one. I was in the middle of an asthma oh. attack in the hospital, laying on a bed, seeing my last breath fog up my phone screen as I called my family, saying goodbye. When I got a notification on my phone, it was from the Xbox app. It said a new game was out for free. When I saw it was Meet the Robinsons, I felt a heavenly being filled my lungs <laughs> with air. My severe asthma attack was over. I had been saved by the power of Meet the Robinsons. The next day, I downloaded the game, and after playing around two hours of the game, I survived a suicide attempt by jumping into the Grand Canyon. Jesus. I can't. Talk about Whiplash, bro. That's... Wait, what else did I just get sent? Oh, I sent you the Ivan, one of the Ivan videos. I'm, I'm sending you a bunch yo, of them, by the way. I was going to say, yo, could somebody send me this link of this... Of this uh... Of these comments because this is brilliant. This is a part of history. I'm in fucking mm. tears, bro. This shit is me actually too. stupid. Uh, it's right. it's totally no, stupid. there's one yeah. in particular that y'all need to see. Which yeah. one was Some, it, bro? I'm trying to remember which one was it. I don't me. know. It's about to get a lot worse. And all I'm saying is, I'm just glad that I grabbed two of these today. I remember playing this as a kid, man. I never got to beat it because the cancer beat me. Wow. Hey, yo. <laughs> oh, shit. What the fuck? What else did I just get sent? I told you I was sending you Ivan videos. Oh, how many? Jesus Christ. Oh, I'm going to send you like four, four or five of them because there's one in particular that you need to see. <clears throat> the craziest part is I have a working like disc for Meet the Robinsons. Like I actually have the fucking game. <laughs> so this is just hitting home it. for me. <laughs> This is new, this one's funny. Ten years ago, I lost my legs to a raging toddler with delicious black hair. What? Uh, what? Uh, Joe Biden, you I wrote this? this Joe Biden, you Joe wrote Biden. this? I ain't never seen this one. What the fuck? I ain't seen this one either. Little did I know, this walking bakery was out Lord Wilbur. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Wait, what? Dan? Dan, Last is this time you? I- Last time I checked, last time I checked, Wilbur did not have a bakery, but all right. <laughs> Why you look? Wait a minute, hold on. We're not gonna pass that comment. Why are you worried about Wilbur's bakery? What are you talking about? I didn't say it right now. I didn't say right this, but I said last time I checked, which was years and years ago. Why were you checking? 
Bro, don't fucking judge me. All right. <clears throat> judge you if I want to. I'm going to be a judge you. <laughs> Bro, I thought we were judging these commenters, not me. Get off my neck. I can do both. Multitasking, Negroid. Oh, you know, hey, okay. well, I am a little scared because last little time little. you did say that you would make me sticky, so I am a little bit worried. <laughs> oh God! You promised me the Neverland I saw. It. I could see my wife and son before the incident. I could taste the souls of Wilbur's victims. Bro, how does this have anything to do with the game? It's it crazy. brought me back to that village in Granada. The orders I now know, my lord, gave praise the son of eternity. Praise his being. I shall sacrifice my arms in tribute. Journal entry 11. <laughs> June 15, Journal entry 94. Uh, was 11. In 2022. <laughs> By Squid Magic CEO. By Squid Magic CEO. Yo, was yo, this the rat poison? This is the rat poison! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> this, this game saved me. During a long night of dark thoughts at the bottom of a bottle of the strongest liquor I could scrounge from my cabinet. I f- hold up. I need to get real up close into the mic for this. I need to get Please real don't. loud. Please I need don't. to get real nice my and close. Ear, ear, I felt as though my life no longer had meaning. My wife had packed her things and told me I was a failure. I had given up. I couldn't bear to keep living. But then a miracle happened. This game, Meet the Robinsons for Xbox 360, had appeared in my games with gold. A sense of purpose had finally came to me. A reason not to eat the rat poison sitting <laughs> on my bedstand. <laughs> Play this holy relic of a game, and it will certainly restore your will to live. By JMB Chief. Written in 2019. <laughs> <laughs> bro, somebody's got to send me this. I need it. <laughs> no, I'm, bro. Wait, this, hold on. this is all I'm on the Xbox joint. store. I'm pretty sure. I'm going to link that joint. Because, oh, my, oh gosh. my gosh. I this need water. I actually need something to drink after this. Holy <laughs> shit. This, 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 the fact that this episode is just sitting here breaking fucking everybody is crazy. <laughs> I was about to say Indra, but no, I feel like it's breaking everyone. This is brilliant. Oh my god. I don't I don't know if I could take much more of this. <laughs> Indra actually left to go get water. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna wait until I get a little bit tips here before I go get any, but I know I'm gonna need some soon too. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Hey, hey, you're welcome. Oh my goodness, bro. Oh you no, gotta... this isn't what I wanted to show you, but this, this one's so fucking bad. <clears throat> Which which one? I'm gonna send you another fuck. Because there's one in particular I'm trying to find. Okay, what what else did you send me? Hold on. Let me see. Okay, da, 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 da. send another one of these, bro. That scarf, <laughs> the fucking scarf, bro. Oh man, bro. Started off this bro. clip by saying we're black. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I just need you to ruse in a minute. I forgot how funny these things were. Oh my god. Oh my god. <clears throat> okay. no, I remember no, the ones from Bolt were crazy too. Well, at least some of them. Oh let's, 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 let's do that one next week. Let's do the let's do Bolt. Yeah, no, 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 no. We're not gonna do them right now. Yeah, I wasn't yeah. saying that, but I'm just like yeah, let's do only because I don't think I I don't think I could do that and also the ones that are still in the fucking playlist. I will, yeah, 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 yeah. I will actually die. <laughs> I'll be like Havoc, what happened to Havoc? <laughs> they, were, yeah, yeah. they weren't as funny as Bolt they weren't as funny as Meet the Robinsons, but they were still kind of funny. Fair enough. We could definitely check those out another time. Yeah. Oh, guys, I'm it. back. Are you uh, good? <laughs> all right, bro. You, you alive, no, I'm I not found the, I found the one I wanted to show you. Bitch. Okay. You okay, one? there's there's all the Omar ones I'm going to send you. A, what was he eating? <laughs> he eating what is he eating? He's eating Wendy's. He's eating Wendy's. He's eating Wendy's. He's eating Wendy's. You, gotta, you gotta share. You're not sharing it. I will, I will share it. There are others. I'm going to show all of these. Let me show all these. Wait, this man Ivan is a legit fucking menace, dude. This man is wild. I guess we're going to see exactly how much of a menace this motherfucker is. So this is one by Ivan Peningua 52 and that's what the next few of these are going to be. Here's somebody. I- we're black. Of course we like chicken. I'm Ivan. Every time I drive and hit somebody, I add five points to the score. Oh, you're a fucking criminal. Huh? <laughs> 
Bro, what? It's really fucking criminal. I guess it's fucking evil. I, I guess. <laughs> Let's look at the next. Hey, these are gonna get more and more out of pocket, by the way. No, I'm sure they will be. Let's see what this. Like, one I don't will. know if I send them in order, but. <laughs> well, we'll see. That one was kind of. Eh, that one was okay. We're farmers. Of course, we own cows. I'm Ivan. I help illegals cross the border just to give them back up to immigration. What the? Yo. <laughs> It's, it's kind of fucked up. It's kind of fucked up. <laughs> that one hits different. A little bit, yeah. Because he, he's right Mexican. Now. Yeah. What's this one? We're cops. Of course, people call us pigs. I'm Ivan. I give blind kids a gun and tell them it's a blood dryer. Well, what the? F <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> oh, what? Hey, bro. What? what? No. Okay, that was crazy. What? That one's actually insane. What's, what's, what I want to know is what's the joke here? Because I'm assuming there's a punchline, but I'm not. I'm Every not punchline is Ivan's a fucking criminal. I, I guess that's the joke. The joke is Ivan's a fucking psychopath. This man Ivan is his Indra. I, 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 Jesus. That's and notice how they both start with an I. Oh yeah, that is true. I mean, it's just niggas with with the letter I. Ivan Indra. No letter. niggas are criminals, bro. I guess so. I don't make the rules. We can't drive. Of course, we're gonna Uber everywhere we go. I'm Ivan. I run a cotton plantation in virtual reality. Get back to work. Abraham Lincoln can't free you now. Get me out of this Uber. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. what? Bruh. You know what's funny? I'm less concerned about that and more concerned why why he's driving an Uber with a fucking Apple Pro on his face. Right, bro. Like, how are you Ubering me and you can't see? <laughs> What? <laughs> oh my god. Next one. Okay. This one was apparently posted by Cropmore 2.0. We're black. Of course we like Kool-Aid. But why are we here? Just record, right? I'm Ivan and I like to chase girls in the alleyway at night. Bro, what? <laughs> no! Go no! Hello? Bro. Bro. Hey, that's, that's not okay. <laughs> no, he's not. I I know it was a skit, but it's like that went from zero. Maybe oh. that's the joke that it's gonna go from zero to a hundred for no reason. Because yeah, it's fucking Ivan. Ivan is uh, Andrew is our Ivan, bro. Whenever Andrew's here, it always goes from zero to one hundred. He's zero. He's he's our Ivan, bro. I I guess so. I don't know. I don't know. This this, I know, this one's crazy. wild, bro. This one is crazy. All he's doing is eating Wendy's. How's it about to get crazy? Play it. <laughs> Just play it. I don't know. Play the the video. This guy offered me free food. Of course, I'm gonna order as much as possible. Wait, is it a burger in that? Just play it. Just play it. Just play it. I don't like it. Play the video. Fresh play. Whoa. Fresh play. Fresh play. Fresh play. Press play. I'm Ivan. I'm the one making Omar his sandwiches. Hey, dog! Hey, dog! <laughs> it's the return of the next sandwich. No, that boy. That boy was cheap. It's the return of the next sandwich. Yo, 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 it's the secret sauce. <laughs> the secret sauce. So, AJ, now you know how the stiff ass sandwiches were made. Mm -hmm. Lost World. <laughs> oh, oh, man, is this man stealing his burger, bro? It was the Ivy who made the damn sandwich. Man, stealing oh. his burger. <laughs> I mean, he was. Uh, he didn't have any. He didn't have any mayonnaise. He had to improvise. He had to <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> It's funny because Indra had the exact same reaction as you did, Carl. I was like, no. <laughs> That's not there ain't no fucking way you did this. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, my oh. first reaction was like, oh my gosh, the nut sandwich has returned. The fucking oh. nut sandwich. It was that, and there was no, I thought there was no burger either, bro. I thought there was no, no burger. Yeah, there was, was. There was, was no burger because he was eating with nut. nut in it, bro. Yeah. <laughs> And the fact that they're in the kitchen just letting him do that is crazy. Let him do that shit. It's insane, bro. He just quickly wrapping that thing up. <laughs> no, no, don't give me that shit. 
That is disgusting, bro. I ain't gonna lie. That's the funniest one. I ain't gonna lie. Uh, he, that Jeff was, was right. They did get progressively like more out of pocket. Worse and worse. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh my god. Okay. Let's actually. Let's... I'll be back, y'all. Okay. okay. All right. Let's He's not coming it. back. You never know. He might come back this time. <laughs> okay. He left. So yeah, probably not. Um. Told you. But if he if he stayed in the call and just stepped away, then I would have been like, oh, maybe. But no, he left the call. <laughs> So this yeah, one's so called, going back. This was called Talking to the Z Fires after so. We should have watched this one before the boo one, but this one was pretty funny too. Yeah. All right, all right, all right. Um, before we start, I just want everybody to know you're all here because every single one of you fucked up. All right. Cell became cell because of y'all. All right. First off, Vegeta, what made you think? That you could take on a form that had perfect things. Because I didn't believe him. You're either perfect or you're not me. It's as simple as that. Plus, <laughs> it was getting too easy. I love the TFS moon. Right. No, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie. Vegeta dub a day in your life. I'm, like, I'm, <laughs> that's crazy. But if you read the manga, Vegeta did have a similar motivation. He genuinely didn't believe him. I think that's still shit motivation, but that was probably the point. Oh, it so. is. Yeah, but like that's the fucking point. He doesn't believe there's gonna be that much of a fucking difference. So he's like, sure, go ahead, do it. Get his shit rocked. <laughs> yeah, he was a dumb yeah, regardless, he was still a dumbass for that. Like that's still a lesson. I, I that's a lesson that I don't know if he like I think he does eventually learn it in the boo saga, not to just let people like just to not to just call people's bluffs all the fucking time. Because like <laughs> even in the sand, he did that him. even in the sand saga. He did that, he did that in the sand, sand saga. saga. He did it in the yeah. freezes, he did it in Namek, he did it in Cell, and then he does it again in Boo, and that's when it finally clicks. Okay, maybe I should stop just calling everyone's bluff because it's gonna get me killed. And yeah. guess what happens? He literally kills himself by calling a bluff. This man, mm-hmm. Vegeta, no. this man Vegeta is like doing the equivalent of, oh, you're not going to shoot me. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty <laughs> much. Like, you won't, shoot, you won't shoot pussy, get shot with a fucking 50 can I, cal. Can, can I just say that that's the dumbest <laughs> thing you could ever say to someone with a gun in your face is that you won't shoot me? <laughs> so just no, he did that to Trunks in the anime. He did that he to Trunks. He's like, yeah. you ain't going to shoot me. You ain't gonna do it. Trunk and Trunks did exactly that. <laughs> Honestly, it's so mm-hmm. it's so it's so funny, but it's so dumb at the same time. You think yeah. he would have yeah. learned after go, like after Goku, but he didn't. <laughs> nope. Well, technically he did because of Freeze, because he was like, you know what? I can't fight this nigga. I can't fight this nigga. Yeah. No, he did. He, 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 he to that, to that same man, he knew he couldn't fight Freeza. That's why he was so desperate to find the Dragon Balls and get more time. That's why I'm like, yeah. There was a form where he goaded Frieza into transforming. I'm trying to remember exactly which form it was, though. He was trying to think... goad him into transforming in a second. Okay, yeah, he goaded him into transforming. It was the second, second one, yeah. And then he got his at, his clock cleaned. Because mm-hmm. <laughs> he was like, you know what? I'm going to shut your ass up. Boom, <laughs> No, no, it was the final form because he thought he could beat him after he form. came back. Yeah. He got his oh. ass whooped. Because he, he got his Zenkai boost from uh, getting his shit rocked by Krillin. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. Mm-hmm. And he thought he was a Super Saiyan. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh my goodness! Oh my I will God. always say this. I will always say this. The person who had the definitive biggest fuck up in the South Saga was Krillin. That man sold no. for some pussy. Yeah. Yeah. To and, be and, honest. Yeah, it's like, like I, I, I like, know that Krillin like, has a track record of fucking up. But this was definitely his biggest fuck up. Like I don't care what and everyone always says, oh, it's Vegito, it's Vegito. no, it's factually Krillin. Because no, it doesn't Krillin, matter. It is factually Krillin. Because it doesn't hey, matter it, if Vegeta lets him it, go. It, it's right? another right. If he can't find 18, Vegeta's is gonna come and finish the fucking job. I was about to say hey, in the in what it was worth it though. I don't it really was because he got a bad bitch out of so. it, but to that end, I, 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 right? I, I disagree. I'm happy for the guy, but I would not say that it's worth it. That just it, kept, was, it, that just it worked out for him. It, it was not worth in it. a meta sense. In a meta sense, I get it because that's giving like Krillin a win, like oh, you know, you have a hot wife now. But but at the same time, he more sense. It was still so risky that I feel yeah, like because people in the in the get in the in the show should still kind of hold it against him because it was like. You made a potentially gamble. 
You made a yeah. crazy you fucking rich family. The world you're untrustworthy. For some you have a hot wife, yeah, but you're you, now we can't fucking trust you. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> to be fair, they also let it go about Vegeta. To be fair, the universe is yeah. their choice. Because to be fair, they also know. let Vegeta's go. They should. They shouldn't. They shouldn't have. I wouldn't have. But then again, I'm a petty motherfucker. Well, to that same end, yeah, you're a petty motherfucker. They're not. But to that same end, Vegeta held himself to it. And that's yeah, good. but that's they great. expected. That's kudos to him. They expected. They expected Vegeta to do some stupid shit like the not Krillin. Right. They weren't ready for Krillin to do a level. Of, they expected like, Krillin to potentially do something stupid. Krillin. Not Hell something no. that dumb. And it doesn't help either because in pretty much every other arc, he seems to be way more responsible than that. It's specifically here in this arc that he decides to be the most irresponsible motherfucker there. Because he's down bad, bro. And it's like, no. Like, I don't think this I've ever met a woman. This man was down bad was... for the dangerous baddie, bro. There is no woman that I've ever been with that I would ever sit here and be like, hmm. Okay, I, I'll so risk I my want... life. I'll risk my friends' lives. I'll risk the lives of I'll everyone. I'll risk my I own know. life. I'm not about to risk everyone else's life. If I, if it was my own life, that's one thing. But it wasn't just. But his, his own decision life. It was the whole put planet. not only his life on the line; it put everyone else's life on the line as well. It was literally the whole planet. Like it's literally what happened with Gohan, as far as like, and he's gonna cover this. Gohan, um, like toying with Cell. Yeah. It was literally like that, but worse because Krillin worse. had ample opportunity to fix the problem and he purposely chose to not fix the problem. Gohan was eventually planning to fix the problem, but he wanted to see Cell squirm a little bit. Krillin was just blatantly went in the opposite Krillin direction. He was like, no, I'm making he it things the worse. Remote. I am choosing to make things yeah, he worse for pussy. <laughs> clank, 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 clank. <laughs> This man, this this man Krillin literally destroyed. He had a whole conversation with eighteen, and then destroyed the remote. Oh my god! You could have wished the bitch back, though. Yeah. He could yeah. Yeah, so. mind you, mind you, I mean, Miles right? also they... talks about this. Miles also mm-hmm. talks and guess, about this guess, guess who they did that with? Guess who they did that with? 17. 17. Because when so they wished to restore so the android, because when they yeah. made the wish to bring everyone who died during Cell's attack and shit back to life, he guess who got brought life. back? 17. He would actually have a leg to stand on, maybe if 18. What like couldn't be brought back with the Dragon Balls because she wasn't. If she was organic. a full on android, if like a sixteen, on, like, like yeah, like sixteen or fucking nineteen, mm-hmm. that would be one thing. But even then, that would be incredibly selfish. Here, it just doesn't make any damn sense. It doesn't make any sense because <laughs> she's human. She, if you when you make the wish to bring everyone back, she's gonna get brought back. And like, even if she was a full robot, like sixteen. Bulma's like what, right there. She could just rebuild her, bro. What's like, the worst? Like, like, as what's long, the worst that could happen? Like, as Hope long as her body fucking well, <laughs> right? Like, like as long as well. fucking, <laughs> like as long as her whole body isn't destroyed. Which, mind you, it wouldn't have destroyed her whole body. It would have just destroyed her upper half. She could have been rebuilt. All right, upper know. half. I don't know about that because she's still part and like she's a cyborg, bro. Right, but well, yeah. At the very least, her lower half would still be organic, which means maybe she could possibly still have kids. I don't know. I don't know how she the can. technology works. Then okay, so yeah, yeah. She's it's basically she has cybernetic with... enhancements. Like she has human parts, but she has robotic parts as well. Right. So at the very mm-hmm. least, so like when you trigger happen- that bomb, right? Because the bomb was in her chest, so it would have right. went from her chest up. Right. Boom. So yeah, literally all all that would have happened, you would have re- been able to rebuild 18. Maybe she would have held it against you, but I feel like you could have used that time that you were given her lip service before you destroyed the, mm-hmm. the remote to explain to her why she had to do it. And the thing is, I fully believe 18 would have been wouldn't have held it against him because she, she was about to do it anyway. She was she, she was considering anyway. blowing herself up. Yeah, she, she, she was. was. She was considering the killer. She understood the situation. If she understood like, him. the have, only way Cell gets what back. he wants is if I die. I have if, to die to stop him. If Krillin literally told her, like, have the remote and was like, I have to use it so so that Cell cannot become perfect, I feel like 18 would have understood. Krillin would have been she like, would I'll have bring understood. you back. Krillin would have been like, I'll bring you back. And Lazuli would have been like, I know. And then that yes. would have been it. 
she would not she have would, held she it would have him. understood she wouldn't I have been mad she wouldn't have held it against him it. in fact in fact i feel like that she would actually gain more respect for him because she was like i know i could tell that you like me and i like you but you're not about to put the entire plan on the line for that I feel like she that's one that. that's one thing that I love about the TFS version. She when he destroys that, even she's like, <clears throat> "You probably shouldn't have did that. You shouldn't have done that. Dude. Like it was sweet, thank you. Like that probably shouldn't nice have did it. Bad you, idea. <laughs> but you should not have done. <laughs> no, they no, just lucky that that no, Krillin they just was lucky. an idiot for that. A horny. They idiot just lucky they had Goku and Gohan on their side because right. Krillin would like, have all the luck. like Goku literally planned for the event of okay, one or both of these two idiots is going to fuck up massively. <laughs> I w- I wonder which one it's gonna be. <laughs> see, see, and this this is another thing. This is another thing about Goku, right? <clears throat> Super Goku wouldn't have done that. No, nah. <laughs> Super Goku would have been like, "Oh my gosh, I did not expect Krillin or Vegeta to mess up this badly." Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm stupid. <laughs> no, I'm so stupid. I would have, I would have done the same thing. Who would have seen this coming? Literally oh. everyone. <laughs> Technically speaking, Goku wasn't expecting to be that strong. That's why he had to uh, check him out real quick. He would. They were just lucky to have Gohan on their side because he was way stronger than all. Yeah. Of them. Mm. That was a f- it was actually that was when Goku's plan into motion. Oh, he's like, okay, yeah, yeah, that- if these if these two fuck up, I have him. I need him. Yeah, yeah, and Gohan I've already I've trump card. stopping him up a little bit. I'll mm-hmm. let Gohan finish the job. Mm-hmm. At, least that been, at least that would have been that would have been the smart decision, but mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, he he wanted Gohan to get Super Saiyan two, mm-hmm. but if it was Dragon Ball Super, Goku, they all got clapped. Mm-hmm. Or Goku would have got some new power up. Oh lord! Yeah, I was about to oh, say, yeah. like, fuck Gohan. I'll just, I'll just use Super Saiyan three and have no issue with it. I'll use Super Saiyan three red god key dumbass shit. What, what, whatever has the coolest looking toy? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I hate toy animation so much. Yes, me, me too. Oh. If people before, what are you talking about? Really, Android nineteen. You, you happy with Android 19? I Android that wasn't even part of the plan, really. Zarbon, the Dora, you you happy for taking? Okay, out I can't, I can't lie. We can't, you you can't lie. Z- Zarbon was literally bodying these niggas, bro. This man Zarbon was running shit with Freezer, bro. Like, Zarbon people was overlook, the, people, people really overlook Zarbon. Strong, this man strong. Zarbon was literally Freezer's right hand man. Like Dodoria is one thing, but Zarbon, Zar- people forget how fucking powerful Zarbon was. Zarbon yeah, was Freeze's right hand man. When Zarbon had a big mission to do, he, he sent Zarbon to do it. Like we when he turned that bloated putting... prone. Yeah, we need to start putting respect on Zarbon's name. He was not a pushover. Like Zarbon was no fucking bitch, bro. Yeah, he wasn't like, for a while. Yeah, the only and the only reason that Vegeta that uh, he like lost was because he didn't kill Vegeta. He should have killed him. the first time. He should have yeah, killed him. Because guess what? He beat him the first time, left him there, came back, got his corpse, put him in the healing chamber, which gave him a Zenkai boost. Vegeta escaped. Exactly. Vegeta escaped. They ran round two. Bro got bitched. Yeah. <laughs> like if Sarban would have just killed Vegeta, that would have been it. <laughs> that yeah, it would have been, been over. <laughs> I ain't forgetting that beat out he gave, but yeah, I don't either. I, bro, I love no, he, he beat the so hell many, out of Vegeta. I hear so many people talking about how quote unquote weak Zarbon is, but the thing is, he's not. Like Zarbon, no, was Zarbon like, you gotta, like you gotta remember when the when Zarbon was around in the story. Like these characters were significantly weaker. He was a fucking threat. Yes, he was. Mm-hmm. A, yeah, yeah. And I was about, about to be like, I, I I feel like, and the thing is, Frieza had a lot of, like, respect and trust in him. Like, when Zarbon went down, he specifically had to call the Ginyu for us. Because, like, yeah. oh, because A, Zarbon's Zarbon's down. his right-hand man, and B, Zarbon was his last man left. With him gone, my only option is, oh, shit, I need to call the fucking Ginyus. My fucking right-hand man, you know, the person I trust more than any of these other gaggle fucks is dead. Okay, Death Deathcon 1, I'm calling in the trump card. Ginyus, get your gay asses down here, you freaky fuck. You want to be Power Rangers? <laughs> freaky fucks. <laughs> <laughs> like, I legitimately, it legitimately would have been interesting to see Goku fight Zarbon. I don't think Zarbon would be able to beat Goku necessarily. Zarbon would not be able to beat Zarbon would have no. got fucking trashed by Goku. For sure. But I, what I'm saying is I don't think he would have just, like, gone down, like, instantly. Maybe not a super challenging fight, 
but maybe like a fight that maybe like maybe it would be one you of those fights fight, where it you reveal, know how where, that fight would go. You wanna know how that fight would go? This would would, go? you remember what he did to fucking um to Napa when he showed up back on Earth? Uh, It'd be that, know. but how he beat the shit out of Napa like he was a joke when he showed up. It'd know. be that, but worse. Yeah, I, 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 I can kind of see that. I can kind of see that. Cause that man Napa still put up a fight. He just got body. Yeah, not really not an instant, not an instant win, but very low diff, low diff, for sure. Like I'm not gonna be able to instantly KO him. Like bro like, went I'm down not, I'm not swinging, worried. but he went not, down easily. Yeah, yeah, I'm not worried about it. low diff for sure. Mm-hmm. <laughs> really, Queen? Please, uh, <laughs> oh God! No, <laughs> right. yeah, not you, Queen. You, Queen. You, like bro said, Queen. <laughs> Queen. Like really, you want a pool as your W? Okay, Vegeta. That, that, that's, that, that is his name. <laughs> that is his name. That is his actual name. I know. It, it'd be like what Goku did to Raccoon. Basically, maybe, maybe yeah. I know. I agree with that. For sure. Now he's right. Because it, it'd probably be like that, but worse. Because because it get, most of the Game Force members are stronger than Zarbon. Well, yeah. And he, yeah. And he fought, well, to that same man, Raccoon got fucking. Um, he got messed up a little bit beforehand, didn't he? That's but Burger, he Burger had no excuse. Game. That man just got clapped. That man just got clapped. Burger was just light work. Which is really silly because isn't Burger supposed to be stronger than Raccoon? No, he's supposed to be faster. Okay, so not stronger, but just like faster. Uh, Raccoon's yeah, physically fast. the strongest. Murder's physically the fastest. Okay. Mm-hmm. And you get it thrown around like a peasant. You're my favorite character, so I need you to tee up right now, bro. Like, <laughs> your dumbassery transferred to Gohan. Gohan! His arm. <laughs> my arm's still fucked up. I missed this version of you, Gohan. You haven't done shit in the future, all right? You was on top of the world. Super Saiyan 2, strongest nigga in the Z Fighters. You Molly Wap Cell, you had a chance to finish it, and then you have the audacity to say, I want to see him suffer. <laughs> nigga, <laughs> why? It's, 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 yeah. it's crazy. He's about to say it right now, but like, Gohan doesn't fucking talk like that. Why are you talking like that? Yeah, Gohan don't talk like that. <laughs> Like where'd this come from, homie? That was pure. <laughs> that was all that bent, bent up rage, bro. This man said, "This man went crazy when he was super." That's that fan blood, bro. I guess. You have never talked. Like you guess. <laughs> you guess, <laughs> nigga. Did you hold on? I'm sorry. Fuck him. You just turned me into him right now. Cause what you mean? You guess. Wait a minute. Did we read the same series? Did we watch the same series? Relax. Who, who's that? Too? Who's that directed at? First of all. You! What the? You what like, burnt cookie what monster! Like, bro, you're Wait. talking so loud into your goddamn mic that it's having a fucking conniption. Back up! Hell yeah, nigga. Hot <laughs> ass <laughs> left. All over the fucking mic, just yelling and spitting. What did what you say? was stupid! What did I say? That was stupid. You talking about some I guess. Nigga, did you pay attention to the story? I thought the video said something. that. I didn't know like, he said that because that was so I, loud. What did I say I guess to? But I said it was this. There was all that fucking pent up rage. And I said, I. You said, I guess. I'm agreeing with you, stupid fuck. I know, but like the fucking you guess. There is no guessing, dumbass. It's a fucking fact. It's a fuck. It's a fucking uh, turn of phrase, dude. I'm just saying I don't have anything to argue with. I'll turn you into a phrase. How about that? What does that you got there, bro? Bro, (laughs) dude, this dude Jet is just like you know the fucking like if you see Inside Out, Jet is just anger, just being angry. No, he outside in, bro. He don't know what's going on. (laughs) He's outside (laughs) in. I'll turn your fucking insides out, bro. I'll scoop your insides out. Fucking go, you got to stop saying shit like that. Actually, have to stop. You, you better hope I never get invited to the server that you and Carl are in with fucking like Neo. Uh, Because I, I I, see, freaking Carl said he's not gonna do that shit to you. I will if you keep talking to me like this. (laughs) (laughs) Scoop my insides out with what? You dick? No thanks. No, fucking (laughs) knife, you fool. I literally said I was gonna gut him like a fish. Do you not listen? You said no. I the actually didn't hear you. you said, like... The first thing you, I didn't hear the gut me like a fish part. I heard scoop my insides out. That's what I heard. Yeah, I ain't hear. <laughs> no, I ain't agree with you. I, even I didn't hear that shit. Bro, you, you bro, talk, said, he, he says, he didn't say. Like, 
I Shut said up. it. I said it. Watch the playback. I said it. You was you just wasn't listening to me. You wasn't hearing me, bro. bro. Yeah, because I'm too busy trying to protect my insides, bro. <laughs> Don't nobody want you in your nasty ass insides. You literally just said you. They did, probably bro. smell like alcohol and monster energy. Bro, what the fr- first of all, I'm drinking Rockstar today. Thank you. Second of all, what the <laughs> fuck is wrong with that? There's nothing wrong with Rockstar or fucking al- like beer. Hey, hey, Rockstar again. better than Monster. I know that for a fact. It is, though. I haven't had either. They're delicious. They're magically delicious. Well, actually, no, I've had Monster once. M- M- Monster hits, hits well on a freaking like really tired day for sure. It, it, it really does what it needs to do. It does. I agree with that. <laughs> Oh this, my god! This nigga Shane that. drinks gamer girl VTuber gamer subs. That's uh, that's that's all he, <laughs> oh, he drinks. That instead of water. That's he all. That that's all he water. fucking talks about. He he gamer, drinks fucking gamer bro subs. Bro is literally the biggest sin for gamer subs. He drink, That is actually his liver can't be okay. I'm no, sorry. It's, it's, it's not. Probably not. That's it's probably, probably not. He's probably crying out in pain right now. Yeah, well, his liver is probably like molten black and bubbly and shit, bro. <laughs> bro <laughs> bro's liver is out here dying while his kidneys are singing Juice World, bro. Like, get this <laughs> 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 talking about, oh my God, bro. Damn. Like, are you good? I'm st- <laughs> bro, I took a fucking drink and the interest that I started laughing. You know that laughing. you cannot take sips of anything while Indra is in the same call as you. You should know that. <laughs> he <laughs> said that right as I fucking took a drink, so I started joking. Like, you, you cannot. It's no, it's against the rules. Unless you I want hate to you, me. Indra. One of these days, you're going to kill me. <laughs> you, you specifically are going to be the death of me. <laughs> Yeah, like I feel like TFS King Kai with Goku. You, this man is gonna be the death of me. Mm-mm. And he was one hundred percent right. Dog was literally. I don't know where else to take this fucking big explody guy. I want to put him right in front of you so you can fucking die a horrible death. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, not even. I love the TFS version of that because it really is a play up of the original scene. Mm-hmm. But even the original was stupid. He was like, "Hey, Kai, where should I take this motherfucker?" Like, like you couldn't have asked me that. You, bring him here you couldn't have asked me that farther away. <laughs> you couldn't have asked me that before you brought him here. <laughs> so stupid. Never talks like that. You are suburban. Act like it, like bro. You one of the smartest people in the show, and you made a. I'm sorry, ass- he is not suburban. This nigga grew up in a forest. This nigga is more caveman. Right, than caveman. He grew up in the valley, bro. <laughs> this man is more caveman than you. Yeah, talking about some suburban. Yeah, no. He, <laughs> like it's a miracle this man Gohan can form proper sentence. You know, like, he not talking like me Gohan. He's lucky his mom was school. That's all. Well, I was about to say he's probably better off because of Chi Chi, because Chi Chi actually knows how to speak proper words. Yeah, yeah. she actually had proper education. <laughs> That's why he was yeah. able to have proper education. Yeah, he Goku has a proper education, but he's not suburban. Those two things are not the same. <laughs> he, pro- he had proper education in a goddamn jungle, bro. <laughs> and that's yeah. only because his mother had a proper education. Remember, I remember in the first movie, this man was reading books in the in the forest, bro. <laughs> right. Oh my god. Like if a it was, like if he was raised the way Goku was raised, this man would have, would sound more like a hicker than Goku. Maybe be Tarzan Junior. <laughs> oh my god! Because this man Goku is supposed to talk like a hick in the original. That's the whole idea. Yeah. Like that's why he talks weird. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Which makes sense. Mm-hmm. Kind of grew, grew up in a forest by himself. Makes sense. Way. It's uh, right. Actually, doing a lot better. I'm moving it pretty easy. So thank you for asking. That's right. Wrong timeline. My fault. Yeah, that was pretty stupid though, huh? Caillou, I know you're not talking. Nigga called him Caillou. Caillou. Bro. That was personal. That was personal. That was bro. That reaction you, was Rillin. immediate. Frame one. Just <laughs> <laughs> you. Please like, play that back. Please bro, play like, that back. Are, most replay. <laughs> Bro, everyone, everyone liked that. That's literally a fucking like that's uh, literally fall, what that fallout is. moment. Everyone liked that. Everyone liked that. By the way, it's uh, actually doing a lot better. I'm moving it pretty easy. So thank you for asking. That's right. Wrong timeline. My fault. Yeah, that was pretty stupid though, huh? 
Caillou, I know you're not talking. <laughs> I know you're not talking. Like you didn't just almost endanger the earth for Robo Pussy. He didn't <laughs> almost endanger the earth. He did endanger the earth. What you want to say is almost get the earth blown up for Robot Pussy. He did endanger yeah, And then the rest of the world. <laughs> I love how we brought that <laughs> up earlier, and he brings it up right now. Yeah, mm -hmm. no, I, I see. I knew that part was coming. Like, I knew yeah. we all knew it was coming. Right, mm -hmm. Cheeto's gonna fuck up. That was a given. <laughs> at least we had Plan B. At least we had a remote to blow H or H. Oh wait, Shaolin Monk over here. Nigga said Shaolin Monk. Shaolin monk. Shaolin showdown. It's it's funny because I'm pretty sure he was a Shaolin monk. He, he was, was supposed to be based he, off of a Shaolin was. monk. Right. He was. Yeah, he's based off it. Yeah, like I know it was supposed to be like a jab, but it's like that's actually 100. Yeah, accurate, like this man Krillin was supposed to be based specifically on a Shaolin monk. It's why when mm -hmm. he, when he when first met Goku, he was a monk. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like and that's why he was he was a monk when he first met Goku. Right. Mm -hmm. And the part that's blowing me. Is that this nigga? I like. We don't have Dragon Ball. T technically, we ain't. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> we just said this shit. Yep. Like, yep. Like you niggas, like, te 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 the, technically we did. not Until that end, he's right. They didn't have the Dragon Balls yet. At, at that point, they didn't have the Dragon Balls. Yeah, they, oh yeah, point. they didn't. At the time, they didn't have them yet. Yeah, they didn't. At the time. They, they, didn't get, the they didn't get them back. Yeah. Which, right, but, uh, fun fact for you, once Goku found out they didn't have Dragon Balls, guess what he did? He went and grabbed Dende. Dende. He had to go get Dende. Mm -hmm. Like this, Krillin, this nigga Krillin really sat here and said like, oh, well, we don't have Dragon Balls right this second, so that means there's absolutely no way to bring 18 back. And on one hand, even if that's the case, okay, it's either 18 or the planet, bro. If the planet gets blown up, 18's still gonna fucking die, you stupid. Yeah, like, <laughs> you stupid bitch. Like you think just being like like cells just gonna leave you two to be like happily that ever after? That fucking head of yours got the sun beaming down on it, give you brain cancer, nigga. You stupid right, bro. fuck. That solar flare ain't gonna help you. That solar flare ain't gonna do shit. Like, Cell knows how to do that. <laughs> no, 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 I was playing Everyone around. Knows I know how to do that, it. except Vegeta. I was about to say. Honestly, if Vegeta really wanted to, he probably could learn how to do the solar flare. Yeah, player. he could learn it because it's piss easy to learn. Most people mm -hmm. know how to do it. Like, yeah, he already it. knew the struggle the, disc off for it. The funniest, right. Mm -hmm. The funniest part is Vegeta knows instant transmission. He just doesn't use it. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah, that Dragon Ball Super. Man, what the fuck? Yeah, Vegeta knows instant transmission, but because Goku uses it, he doesn't want to use it. It's so stupid. It's, it's so the stupidest shit. That's I've such heard. a stupid re How many times are we gonna let Vegeta get away with shit just by saying pride? That's the stupidest pride. shit I've ever <laughs> heard. Mind you, mind you, right? This man goes Super Saiyan, Super Saiyan 2, Super, Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan 4, Super Saiyan Blue. That's, that's, what I'm saying. that's like saying he, those. he'll be like, oh, well, he'll be like, oh well, Kakarot doesn't have a fucking trademark for those, so it's okay. He doesn't have a trademark for instantaneous Dude, transmission. He, he, he else. right said he learned yeah, instant yo. transmission from you when he landed on Planet Yard. That's what, that's what I'm saying. He learned it from them purple nurples, bro. Like, come on, yo, right? I'm fucking dried up raisin ass <laughs> niggas. Yeah, yo. Said, he even admitted purple. this. He learned it from <laughs> them. <laughs> Yeah, because that's where their technique originated from. Originated from them. Mm -hmm. oh this is Vegeta. Is, so this nigga Vegeta is just inconsistent as fuck. That's, that's what I'm saying. That's like him not using the forms because Goku had him before him. I'm like, that's some bro. dumb ass shit, bro. Bro, like honestly, Vegeta, if you weren't so up your own ass, you can literally surprise everyone by going Super Saiyan three and literally having no stamina problems. Now, cool that would be. <laughs> it's like it must be taking so much of your stamina, Vegeta. And Vegeta's like, yeah, sure. You want to believe that? <laughs> like this man's so good with key, I could see it. Like it being like it's not draining his key at all because he has so fucking much. <laughs> oh my goodness! He almost smacked the shit out of him. <laughs> Bro. Because I swear to God, Krillin, if you didn't pull her, you would have been the most hated nigga in anime, and I would have guaranteed that shit. I would have guaranteed <laughs> that. that would have been, been deserved. Happened. That would have been deserved, too. It would have been deserved. I, I you still... risked the planet for some robo pussy, and you no, fumbled so the fucking I, bag. I still think the Z Fighters should have held that against him for at least a little bit, bro. Maybe no, not to be better. honest. To be honest. They really should have. They, they were too like, nice to that man. Honestly, I was, bro. 
Like, yeah, if, if I was one of them, I would have hated. I, to be honest, I would have despised this nigga. I ain't gonna lie. Bro, I would have like, hated. Bro. Like, really, I asked to fucking go train with them, and like mm-hmm. they freaking like say something like, "I don't know." I mean, you seem like you're pretty, you know, busy with eighteen. You know, the woman mm-hmm. that you pretty much put the entire planet in jeopardy. That's one. Like everyone was prepared for Vegeta to do some dumb shit. Hell, Trunks was only there to stop Vegeta from doing some dumb and shit. And the good thing he did because he would like, bro. That's why he shot him on Team Rocket, bro. Exactly. Like, That's why when Vegeta did some dumb shit, guess what Trunks did? He stepped in. You know what? I had to stop my role. dad. My dad on some dumb shit. <laughs> my dad on some d- dumb he, shit. Dad, 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 <laughs> dad's being a dickhead again. Let me go beat his ass real quick. Oh my yeah. god. Like, honestly. But no, like, no one was prepped for Krillin. <laughs> no one was. Nobody was prepped for his boy. No dad. one was ready for Krillin to sell like he did. Oh my god. He sold so much. He sold an entire store. <laughs> <laughs> ah, shit. I know that's not who I think it is. <laughs> is that Goku? Is that Goku? Instantly. Instantly, bro. <laughs> All he did was sniff. All he did was snort, bro. Bro, in the last episode, he tried to get up and leave in the fucking Maj- Majin Buu. Right, and he wrote that he was slick. Wrote that he could escape. Bro. Like, not my protagonist. How you gonna have your protagonist fucking up this much, bro? I could, could not be me. Maybe once or twice, but all the time. <laughs> I, I, bro, I don't know where to start from you. I really don't. You know what? Let me give you praise. Everybody here was talking about, oh my God, why did you throw Gohan to the fire? Like, why would you do that? I was one of those people. And then I took a step back and thought, you know what? I wasn't in the hyperbolic time chamber with my son. I don't know. I don't know what Gohan's capable of. And, and look what we got. A Super Saiyan 2. So I said, you know what? Let him cook. Thank you. I, I appreciate that. But my God, we kept them in the kitchen for far too long. Cause why the fuck would you give a sensual bean to sell? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. If he ever, fuck. if he ever does a video on the moral arc, I'm pretty sure Goku he's gonna, might just die. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna die. die. Cause he's gonna, give, he's gonna fucking pass. lose it. Or that moral shit, I don't give a pass. But Cell, I'll give a pass. Cell, he Cell gets a pass specifically because it was part of his fucking plan. His yeah, plan was, was to push plan. Gohan to Super Saiyan 2. His plan was yeah. garbage. His plan was absolute fucking garbage. Oh, no. he, he Yeah, and he acknowledges that. <laughs> he realizes, okay, maybe my plan wasn't exactly the greatest idea. Hey, but it still went all right. Hey, it, it came full circle, though. Like, so exactly. I'm glad it came. I, I would not say it went all right because it did not go all right. I don't think that. Goku I mean, it ended with fine. his death. Yeah, no, I, I acknowledge it. it was a I acknowledge it. Like, I don't think hey, it, it worked when it worked. <laughs> It was not the best possible plan, but just go to remember Goku's a dumbass. He is a dumbass. Not as dumb as he is in Super, oh my God. but he's not. He's not the fucking brightest. I mean, this man grew up in a fucking forest by himself for twelve years, damn near. Hey, but, I think the problem hey, is that I give Goku too much credit. <laughs> like, hey, but you without do him, give Goku bro, too much credit. But without him, bro, hey, some, hey, they wouldn't be able to stop the androids. So I can't even say anything. Yeah, exactly, they wouldn't have been able to stop the androids. They wouldn't have been able to stop Cell. They wouldn't have been able to stop Boo, Frieza. Like this man is got fucking like crackhead thinking but it's something to, but it be coming in clutch sometimes like let's not it's act like it don't I, I, it's guess. Smart I guess for me how dumb this nigga was until he fought a cell junior because as i'm watching i'm confused like damn why are you getting thrown around like yonch on the tuesday he didn't eat a sensu bean <laughs> he bag yeah, of that's weird. Why would he bring a whole bag of sensu beans? And the only one that gets one to sell. Like, what's that about? <laughs> what is that about? You're not gonna use it, but throw it to the enemy. Are you dumb? Like, bro, <laughs> yeah, and yeah, then, okay. and then, yeah, right? Yeah, specifically yeah. to keep you from using one, said enemy takes one. Oh my god! Hey, hey, this, he it, takes it, the it, fucking bag. But another thing, they they weren't completely capable of how perfect Cell was because they didn't know he can make Cell Jr. sneaker. Okay, well, here's... That was just a thing he and, he ended up doing in front of all of them. And that's another thing that I've noticed. It's not just Vegeta that calls people's bluff and just, then just... Because it's the same thing with the Majibu. Like, that's the same excuse Piccolo used. He was like, well, I didn't know he could do that. <laughs> like, okay... <laughs> Oh uh, yeah, yeah, no, no, no. yeah. That's another thing. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Boo, he was he was unpredictable. He was unpredictable. Boo period. was incredibly that's, unpredictable. So you know what? That's fine. Because that no one knew Boo, Boo could do that. No one was prepared for the shit Boo was pulling. 
Mm-hmm. Boo is the epitome of never let him know your next move. Because even he yeah. didn't know his next move. Yeah, for Cell, for Cell is it, well, for Cell, he kind of exposed himself because of like you know the whole shit with Piccolo. But even then, like when he turned perfect and he made those things, they didn't know he could do that. But yeah, when they Boo, weren't prepared. They, they weren't prepared for that. He was like, Oh, he only has our DNA. He was completely okay. different. Wait, hold on. I, okay, them not knowing that Cell could do that is kind of dumb. And the reason I say that is because Piccolo can do that. That comes from technically he can. No, technically, technically he can, can yeah. but Piccolo doesn't know he can do that. Yes, he does. He knows where he came but from. No, he, he knows his. Even yeah, if, even he knows if his, Piccolo, yeah. Let's say let's say that Piccolo doesn't know that he can do that. You know who would? Goku. Yeah, Goku would. Mm-hmm. So the fact that he didn't prepare for that is another misstep on his part. Because he didn't even bother considering it. He was like, okay, I fought Cell once. I know the extent of his power. Nigga, how? How did you come to that conclusion that you know? But techni- yeah, and technically at the same fight. time, like, Cell has, <laughs> Cell has Piccolo's intellect. He has his blood in him. So it's like, you yeah, know, so like, he's so it's one of those things. It's like he's got the blood of a lot of people a and the intelligence of, of a lot of people. So it's effectively so Piccolo be. knows he can do it, but he has no reason to. That's Cell, why he was able to. He scheme. knows he can do it yeah. and has reason to. That's how Piccolo Cell was able to, to do that. And here's, the, here's another thing that I kind of find pretty funny about Cell's makeup because he has DNA from Frieza and King Cold, but he doesn't have yeah. DNA from Kami. He has DNA from Piccolo, but not Kami. Which because is, Kami and Piccolo were one and the same, so it makes sense. Well, no, 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 so it's make... not that. Not what I mean by that. I mean in the fact that like that those drones never got DNA from Kami himself, which is weird because they were able to get it from Frieza, and they also flew around the entire planet, and they also got DNA from people. That, yeah, it's it's a bit strange how Cell can't create Dragon Balls. I'm pretty. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it's because he only got them from Piccolo specifically. That's why right. he didn't yeah, need Kami. Right. Right. Saying, the thing is, right? Here's the, here's the thing. Okay, here's the thing, right? He got the Namekian DNA from Piccolo. Jiro wasn't really worried about Kami. He's like, oh, Kami's a fucking old man. He can't do shit. No, and, and not only that, that he wouldn't. Uh, Jiro, the thing is, Jiro wouldn't know Kami could make the Dragon Balls. How? He wouldn't think to make to copy his DNA if he did not. Because wh- what do you mean? How would Jiro not be no, aware? I say Jiro doesn't know That's anything the about the Dragon Balls. No, no, hold on, hold, hold on, stop, pause. Okay. Jiro was collecting that DNA since Dragon Ball, since the Red Ribbon Army was completely defeated, right? That means he followed Goku. He followed Goku's ass from all the way, like all the way through there to the to the Cell Saga, to the very Cell Saga, right? That means that bug had to have been following his ass up Co- up Corrin's tower, up to the lookout, and in Dragon Ball. Kami literally explains that he created the Dragon Balls, so there is actually no way for him not to know, and we know those bugs record audio, because in a flashback, yes, in a flashback, it shows that the bug was able to actually record audio from the fights, so he would have actually heard Kami say that he created the Dragon Balls. The thing is, Jiro only copied the data of the fights, not everything that Goku did, that's the thing. Yeah, it was only data of the fights. He copied the data of the fights, correct. But he also copied the DNA of the character of the people he fought. Of the not people just he the fought. Pe- not, not just the people he fought. The people that obviously just it was not just the people he the fought, plan. but it was all people who were associated with Goku. He would have never thought to take Kami's DNA because he was only able. Yeah, he was only after Goku. That's why he was able to track him so many times during his fights. And why wouldn't he think to do that? He thought to take Frieza. Because here's the thing, right? The cell that we see is from the future timeline. The cell that's in the cell saga is from the future timeline, right? So Goku, he fight either he fights Frieza or he doesn't fight Frieza. All right, some some shit happens over there, right? No, he did fight Frieza in the future. He, he killed. He did him. fight. He did fight Frieza in the future. But how would he not know to take Kami's DNA even in the future timeline? Because Kami was always in the lookout. But the bug have- was the bug was fought. Fo- listen to what I'm saying. The bug was following Goku, which it would have followed him to the lookout. Well, I don't that know. De- I don't, that, I don't that, know. That, that's just well, that's assuming Indra. Well, that's assuming he's been doing it ever since directly from the destruction of the Red Ribbon Army, which would mean, which would but mean, the- hold up, which would mean, which would include the moment of his death. <laughs> 
<laughs> and we know it was because guess what? We even see it in the anime that it was following him. All right, but the anime, all right, those are extra. The, scenes anime, in the anime altered some scenes though. In the original manga, it wasn't the from the moment scenes. from his death. It was just after he died. It's never specified when. Yeah, the anime added scenes. They weren't in the original manga. It's never specified when he started. It's never stated directly to be directly yeah, after his death. After, after. And I'm pretty sure that bug can't reach the lookout. Why wouldn't it? It's able to fly. Because the bug can only reach so far. Bro, it's high it can fly around the entire planet, yeah. But the lookout's so high, it's basically in fucking... It's borderline in orbit. It's near space. No, it's not. It is not in space. At least not in I, said, I didn't say it was in space. I said it was near space. No, not even like, near. It's, it's like, it's super fucking space. high up in the... It's, it's so high, high up in the Earth. fucking atmosphere, the bug might not work up there. Mm, I don't believe that. Not, not Dragon Balls, Earth. I don't believe that. There's no way. Because we even have a map of Dragon Ball's Earth. The lookout is not that high. The lookout's not that high? The lookout's high as shit. What you mean? No, I'm talking about in the scale of plant of the planet. It's not that high. In the planetary scale, yeah, it's not that high. But in, like, from height-wise, from, like, a height sense, it is very much that high. Because the lookout is at the very top of Corrin's Tower, and Corrin's Tower is super fucking high. Yeah, it took, like, bro, how long it took Goku to reach up Like, three days? How would he not? It took him, like, three days. Three that's full a, sets of 24 hours. And that's another thing, right? They, this man built a bug <coughs> that was able to survive these, like, fucking city-busting fights, right? These fucking ultra city-buster, planet-buster fights and shit. Like, literal blasts that would have nuked countries. But you're telling me it can't survive the fly up to the lookout? Really? That's a bit strange. I mean, it is, it, it, it is quote-unquote, God's realm. I don't know. God's realm, but anybody can get up there? You I, think maybe I like, said, quote, well, say, man, this God knows everyone who comes up there, so why wouldn't he let him maybe, up there? Maybe, I don't know, maybe like Kami and or Mr. Popo like found the bug, and maybe they pulled like a Beerus and Whis and Super and like how they destroyed the, they physically went in and they destroyed the uh, time machine, so the events of Goku Black couldn't like repeat, so maybe like Kami or Mr. Popo like found the bug, and they purposely made like destroyed it or made sure that it couldn't actually but the thing is that idea will work because then the way the bug works is that when it's watching goku it's copying the data live the only yeah the only time he the only time the bug yeah the bug wouldn't have reached the lookout because like jet said like around his death like bro the it couldn't really track goku until after he came back and by the time he came back he was already at the lookout he sprinted down he went to fight vegeta in them and like the bug was already there, so it was like. So also, does the bug have to see what's happening in order to copy it, or can it just? Yes, it has to see it. Has to see it. Has to see it. Also, see it. also, Goku did try to fight Kami when he was on the lookout. It's just that Mister Popo stopped him from doing so. Hmm. Like when he first got on the lookout, Mister Popo stopped Goku from trying to fight Kami. He was literally about to rush him and punch him in his shit. Oh, but yeah. at the same time. The bug couldn't. The bug couldn't probably uh, reach the lookout because Jero was working on other shit. He was working on seventeen. He was working on uh, 18, eighteen and sixteen. Yeah, he was doing other projects. Hmm. See, I'm, I'm, you... I'm kind of stumped on this. It's eventually a situation where the detail of how the bug didn't get Kami's data is it's, it's a fucking minor detail, but that minor de- so it's never really like considered. But that minor it's, detail makes such a big fucking change when you like stop similar, to consider it. I feel like it's similar to like the whole situation with Trunks. Like he could have got Trunks' data, but he already had enough from Goku and Vegeta. Similar to like the Piccolo. He had enough from Piccolo. There's no point in getting Kami's. Yeah. I mean, there is a very good point of getting Kami. I mean, he's literally considered God. Yes, but to that same man, Jiro doesn't know this. Yes, he, he would know this because he's... No, he wouldn't. There have literally been multiple characters in the series who refer to Kami as God. In that's true. After the events, after the events of which the bug would have been active. Look, that's true, but there's no point in getting his data, especially if Piccolo was already stronger than him. Also, and like, exactly. Also, exactly. Also, also, and and, and, no and here's the thing: we know where he got Piccolo's data from. He got it from his from Goku's fight with Piccolo Junior at the end of Dragon Ball during the 23rd tournament. So we yeah, have no reason point, to even I- care. Yeah, at that point, at that point, Kami was already disguised as a random person, and he got taken inside Piccolo when he trapped him in that fucking uh, jar. Okay, okay. So why wouldn't Jiro care if someone literally named God? 
Which okay. Is okay. Let me put it to you like this, right? If the project's already been started, it's already in the developing phase, right? Because at that point, because by the point that we see it, the cell project has already long been started. It's been developing for years at this point. It's already fucking started. At this point, there's no reason to retroactively go back and try to get Kami's data and then add it to the fucking thing because that'd just make the process take even longer oh, yeah. than it's already gonna what? take. Oh yeah, and another thing, he said that the that project long. this project was going on for over twenty fucking years. It's not gonna be, and like... it wasn't gonna be finished no. for another seventeen. And no, no, he, yeah, because he said Jero even said Jero stated himself because Cell said that Jero stated himself that the project won't be completed while the time he's alive. So that's another thing. See, I would agree with you if Future Cell didn't exist. Mm, he exists in all three timelines. What you talking he about? He exists in all three timelines because he that's hid him in the fucking issue. basement where no that's, one would find him. That's the, the only issue. reason they found him was because they found Cell. out Jero had a basement. About. How the hell did Future Cell not get Kami's DNA? We just told you, bro. Because I'm not talking about mainline Cell. Main, main timeline Cell, the one who got blown up by Krillin, right? Fuck that nigga. Yeah, the baby. That's You're talking I'm about saying, future cell, the main the cell that we see they're throughout they're the story. The main cell we see throughout the story. That's the cell from the future. He wouldn't yeah. have Kami's data because he wouldn't go get it. Because Jero put all the data he thought he would need inside of him. But at that point, his project's already finished. All he's worried about now is the fucking androids. So why would he take Frieza's data when he has no idea who Frieza is? Because they because the bug they, followed they, Goku they to were, Namek. It went on his ship. Bro, it followed him to Namek, but it wouldn't follow him to the lookout, which is it never not, it never followed the bug never followed him to Namek. What are you talking about? No, Jump it was there on Namek. Did. That's how he got Freeza's data. Because it was on the ship. No, he didn't. No, he got it. He got Freeza's data when he came to Earth. He came to Oh shit, you're right. Never mind. Remember when he was Mecha Freeza and stuff? That's when he yeah. came to Earth and when he got chopped up. Why that's when the bug took his shit. But free but Goku didn't make it. To Earth till, okay, hold on. Go no, Future make... Trunks was there to stop him, bro. Yeah, Future Trunks was there to stop him in our timeline. Goku would have arrived later. If but he we, was, yeah, you know, if he was yeah, in a Future he Timeline, he would have arrived, arrived later. Which is weird because then in the Frieza Future Timeline, Freezer still would have shown up. Yeah, he still yeah, Freezer would have showed, showed up regardless. But Freezer would have oh. showed up later, allowing Goku time to show up. Yeah, because Goku right, used instant transmission to so go back to why, Earth. So why would Jero take the DNA from Frieza if the logic here is that he doesn't know who Kami is, but he also doesn't know who Frieza because, is? Because Frieza happened to Because land the on bug Earth was set to follow Goku. Yes, he it was. But then it would have also followed him to the lookout. <laughs> But then Indra, Indra, here's the fun. Here's the thing you keep fucking forgetting, <laughs> and the thing that you keep assuming. We're assuming it follows him directly from the defeat of the Red Ribbon Army on. Not even that. There we have been multiple times in the series where the bug literally goes, oh, like it literally, like fucking Goku goes to the lookout even after that, even after this first meeting with Kami. Yeah. So why didn't it follow him then? Because he's fucking, at that point, Goku knows Kami. To, to Zero, Kami would just be some random fucking old Namekian dude that, he, His name that Goku has. Literally, to God! Okay, okay, okay. Hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. That is assuming that Dr. Zero understands Japanese. He does. Because he lives okay. in the world of he Dragon Ball. He lives in Japan Everyone. and around <laughs> Japanese people. If, he knows if, enough if about we're Japanese. Assuming, we're oh, assuming, Japan. okay, if we, okay, we're just assuming that he knows enough. I was going to say, if his laboratory is physically like in like the the uh, the the island of Japan, that's one thing. But I didn't want to immediately assume that he was located. It is. How do you think they were able to fucking get there? Okay, well then, yeah, I'm on Indra's side. How does he not know then? Because fucking Jero's a dumbass. That's just not a good know, argument for bro. that. I don't know if you've noticed it. I don't care if it's not a good argument. It's a fucking fact honestly, of the series. Think, I don't know if you noticed this. It really doesn't matter if he took it or not. Like, bro, he still... Sell like, he already gone. had the Namekian data from Piccolo, and Piccolo was half of Kami. So when you... Technically, he already has Kami's DNA. Like, no, he's not he, worried about Kami. That's not how that works. He's that's not how that works Namekian at all. DNA. You that understand. is literally how that you works. You know how much that is literally how that works. You know how much if that's not how that works. No, stop. Jet. If the, no, stop. no Yo, you stop. Let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. No, relax. You shut the fuck up. Everyone relax. relax. Now, if we're just gonna start cussing each other out, then the debate is over. Like that's yeah. 
that's not how that works. J- Kami, Kami is from the Dragon Clan. Namekians from the Dragon Clan can make Dragon Balls. Yes. Piccolo is a warrior clan Namekian. Having Piccolo's DNA is vastly different from having Kami's DNA. Because with Kami's DNA, you'd be able to make Dragon Balls. Piccolo's DNA, you can't do that. Also, with Kami's DNA, you kind of get, like, healing magic and shit like that. But that's assuming Dende and Kami have the same, like, abilities. But They're both from the Dragon Clan, so you would, yes. So, do you know how crazy Cell would have been if he had Dragon Balls and healing magic? On top of his existing yeah. regeneration, he would have killed the series. Because <laughs> you gotta remember, know. you gotta remember that when Piccolo, when Piccolo made a wish on the Dragon Balls, this is in Dragon Ball Super Superheroes. Shinron mm-hmm. awoke awoken Piccolo's potential, but not only that, he also gave him the orange form. Oh, I don't. If Cell that. had Kami's DNA, he would have been able to not only become perfect just by wishing to be perfect, but also be able to make like up to three wishes, probably up to three, because it was said that Kami only made it one because he just wanted to be a dick. So he could have just said, "Oh well, I could just make these and Dragon Balls have three wishes." So, you know, he's gonna be like, "All right, so well, he he would definitely make it three because he'd be way stronger than Kami, so he'd definitely be able to make make it have All three right, but- wishes." So the thing about making the Dragon Balls, it takes a long ass time for them to make it. The only reason they were able to remake the Dragon Balls because they still had the model of the original Dragon. They still had the model that Kami used. And then they like, and then they's younger than Kami, so obviously he they was able to make two wishes instead of one. Well, then that doesn't automatically mean that. Even though here's the thing, no, here's the thing. Well, here's the thing. Carl, 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 Kami could make more than one. He just chose to make it one. Exactly, but hold on. Wouldn't the same model also be in the future timeline? Yeah, but like I said, there's really no point in him having Kami data if Especially there's really no point in having his data. There's a pretty big point can... in having Kami's data since you know you can. Right, he's already strong as he is. He doesn't over. really need it. Could... Especially since the end, the thing that he was Frieza, set to go okay. after, right? Cell was set to go because here's the thing, right? Cell was set to go after the androids. And achieve perfect forms. Yeah, that's the thing. Wouldn't it just be easier to just wish for the androids and absorb them? (laughs) How if the Dragon Balls don't exist anymore? Maybe if he made them with Kami's DNA, he could have just made his own set, wish for some androids, or wish to be perfect. He wanted DNA of the strongest fighters. Kami wasn't technically a fighter. Kami Kami wasn't like, a fighter. He wasn't considered one of the strongest. Because fi- that's the thing you're forgetting, Indra. Kam, D- the DNA inside Cell was specifically stated to be the strongest the fighter. The strongest warrior ever- on the planet. So that bug followed Goku the entire time that he was on Earth, but only copied data when he was fighting. Any other time, it wouldn't fucking care. It wouldn't so matter. Only said it wasn't worried about that. It, it was copying took, the data, from, data the from the strongest fighters. Right, right, right. So, so that's why he took he took data from the fucking humans. Okay, okay. Yes, he yes, took, yes. He took the data from, from the humans, humans, but not yes, Kami, because, who is yes, strong. Who is yes, strong? Because let me no, let me explain this to you. Right? Yes, he took data from the humans. You want to know why he took data from the humans? Because these humans are considered to be the strongest humans. Yeah, they're the strongest <laughs> humans. But guess who's stronger than the human? Yeah. Kami. <laughs> No, he's not. He just has strong. He just the, has really powerful abilities. He's not a warrior. DNA is being collected. Kami was stronger than them. Kami wasn't Kami a warrior. Was he was manipulating yes. that but one dude to make him that, strongest. Yeah. Kami wasn't the warrior, so it's not going to copy his data because he's not one of the strongest he's warriors. A he's Kami's a strong person, but he's hands. not a strong warrior. He is not. He has magical okay. abilities, okay. but he's not a fighter, bro. Kami doesn't fight. Not no, he doesn't. He can't fight because he can fight. He thrown hands. Technically, he's guarding the earth. When he, like, he's when he was, here's the thing: he's thrown hands when he was younger. Not, not when he was younger either. He's thrown hands when he was older too. The only yeah, when time he ever Piccolo, even really throws hands when he was, was, fused, with Piccolo, deep, when he was fused with Piccolo, and then no, that no, Piccolo he Daimyo, he which he less he, he threw, threw hands with Piccolo older. Daimyo. He threw hands with Piccolo Daimyo, but guess what? That was one fucking beam. It did fucking nothing. And Piccolo Daimyo and, said, and, "Hold and, this." And by the time he and by the time he fought him, bro, he was in that bro. He was manipulating that human body, bro. It wasn't even him. It was some random dude that he just took. I could still see that data being worth copying, though. 
exactly. even if it's, it's not way... outright warrior moves, those are still really like good. And just because he has his data, he technically don't have his knowledge. It took a while. Realistically, to us, it doesn't it really be, okay, no, no, but no, no, to no, no, Jero, no. it doesn't matter. That's cap. Even if he, even if he didn't quote unquote have his knowledge, he instantly knew what Zenkai's were. He instantly knew what the regeneration of the Namekians were. He instantly knew all of the abilities that he had. That's not no. But, it doesn't even matter if he would because he also had the intellect of not just Jero, but also a million billions of other people. So he, it's not, it's not just Piccolo's data. It's not just Piccolo's intellect. It's not just Goku's crazy crackhead intellect. It's not just Vegeta's <laughs> intellect. It's not just Jero's intellect. It's Every single person's intellect and they are added together. And with all of that intellect added together, he didn't think to just absorb Kami. No. Why would he absorb Kami? Because Kami wasn't in his fucking register. Okay, wait. He has the intellect of Piccolo, who is yeah. aware of Kami. Yeah. yeah that's, he that's... has the intellect, not the knowledge. There's a difference. No, he does have the knowledge of Piccolo. He understands how his abilities works and knows that everything about them. He knows everything about Namekians because of Piccolo. Mm -hmm. And because of Goku. Mainly because of Piccolo, because Goku didn't that. find out. Goku didn't find out Piccolo was a Namekian until, Namekian way until later. later. Exactly. So he knows everything he has. He knows everything about Namekians from Piccolo, who is aware of Kami and aware of Kami's abilities. How the hell does Cell not know about those abilities? I'm not sure. Well, maybe he, he fucking does, he does just, know. Maybe he, he just probably, never thinks to fucking no, 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 no. get them. What? He probably does. He just don't give a fuck. Because Indra, he what, what is he set? Indra, let me. You keep asking why. Let me explain to you why. What is Cell set to do? Get, get the well, androids, achieve perfect well. form. Because I am. Because he refuses to fucking grasp this. Yes, he's Indra, supposed to get yes, the androids and achieve perfect form. Androids, what would be the easiest way to do that? Run everything. What? What would be the easiest way to do that? Absorb Kami. Absorb Kami. Make some dragon ball. That would be the easiest way. But the thing he was said to do was specifically target the androids and their fucking bodies. If he knows where to find them, androids and their bodies. Okay, then how about you just wish for the androids right in front of you so you can eat them? That, here's the fun fact for you. He didn't think to do that because Piccolo was dish dead. Piccolo Why didn't he dead. do that in the main timeline when he traveled back in time? Because at that point, he, he his was, focus is getting the androids. He it. went back in time. It would have been get easier to do that if he just absorbed there. Kami. <laughs> No, he could not, bro, because he was not designed to absorb him. He was designed to absorb 17 and 18 as he was okay. created. Well, okay, okay. He no, 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 he no, was, no, no, He was absorbed. He was, absor he was designed to absorb life in general. Which would, yeah, I know. Life in which general. Would, but which would technically was, include Kami to, to that end. It would technically include Kami. However, in the timeline that sells from, Kami's dead. So when he goes back, right, his sole focus is, I'm going back specifically because the android's physical bodies are still here. He's never once, he never once decided if you stop and think to himself, it would be easier if I just go got fucking Kami, this big old ass nigga that's all the way the fuck up there. Right? <laughs> he never stopped to fucking do that because he's got tunnel vision. He's on a fucking mission. He came here and, on a mission. And, and another to thing is, that mission. Kami knew that's that all he there. focused on. Kami knew that Cell was there for like four years, bro. He was not gonna let him take exactly. Him. So Kami was, was ducking gonna, that man, was, and Kami was ducking that man. He was Kami sitting was, on the lookout. He was just chilling on the lookout. That's what he's supposed like to ducking. do. He's a that's guardian of the earth. He's not ducking shit. If Cell flew up there, he would have been cooked. <laughs> he's the guardian of the earth. He's supposed to chill on the lookout. What the fuck? That's all he <laughs> did. What was he gonna do? Fucking hide in the back of like Mr. Popo? Get him! Get him, Mr. Popo! <laughs> well, well, hold on! Hold on! Hold on! Hold on! Hold on. No, no, don't hate on Mr. Pope, but we actually have no idea. Hey, how listen, Mr. Oh my Mr. Mr. Popo got hands. We don't know how much hands he got, but he got his hands are certified, hey, bro. Oh, this ain't the most certified in the world. Stop. That man, listen, Indra, I'm sorry. You had to make Mr. Popo a joke. This man got hands. This man, this man oh, effortlessly sleep through go into the time oh, chamber. Like it was nothing. Almost this. killed him when he was a kid. Stop this, bro. If first form cell, first of all, if first form cell saw Piccolo, he would have immediately he should have immediately thought that Kami was alive because Piccolo is alive. Then he should have flew up to the lookout. Body Popo absorbed fucking. Absorbed um, he said body we, Popo like we know. I, so. I will like agree. I will agree. That would have been fun to see. That would have been fun to see. But that, that wasn't in his fucking game plan because by the time he came out, 
Because by the time he was out, right? So were the androids, which means now he has a fucking free reign target of what he's looking for. So now his goal is not his goal is fuck everyone else. Fuck everyone who keeps trying to come fight me. I'm trying to find I'm trying to find Raggedy Ann and Faggedy Andy. <laughs> yeah yeah and you know what it would have been easy like hmm you know what since piccolo's here i'm oh, just gonna please. absorb kami make some dragon balls wish for the androids to be right in front of me because at this time yeah but androids he's hold tracking... on hold on yeah, pause, but he's... pause. Okay, at this time just... the androids weren't even activated so they were yeah, still they were. asleep no they were still asleep in those fucking they were parts. when he came back when he came back in time the first time he was asleep by the time he came out of his shell yeah no they were active at that point Wait, hold on. Let me. No, he's 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 right, Andrew. He's right. He, they were okay. they were all reactive. Yeah, they even were if they were, even so if they were. So now he's tar So now he's targeting them. Now he's focused on finding them. He's effectively running a fucking radar. Where are they? 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 Okay. 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 So even if they were activated. All right, I wish for 17 right in front of me. Beat 17's ass, absorbs him. Okay, that's it. Remember, Indra, Indra, remember the only reason he was even, even, even able to get 17 was because 17 got into a fight with Kami fused Piccolo, and both of them were fucking exhausted. And then he snuck him. What if exhausted? He was... Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Did you say exhausted? Did you say exhausted? Hey, wait, wait, uh, wait, did wait. you forget about the infinite key and stamina? All right, <laughs> what, I what exhausted? <laughs> I was going to say, what then, well, like to, be, to be more accurate, the, the proper term would be battle yeah. damage. He was damaged from the fucking fight. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, what if it was like this? What if he was programmed in a similar way to 16 to where Jero purposely made it? Like, he has side objectives, but he was programmed specifically to where, like, his main objectives overtake his side objectives. So let's say side objectives, you know, go absorb Kami. But his main objectives, if they're active, is to go find 17 and 18. What if he was and that's like that? That's exactly what it was. Right. You want to know how I can it prove was... it? I can prove it. And I can prove... No, I can prove it's exactly like that. You want to know how I can prove it? 17 and 18. When they first came out, they killed Jiro, yeah, but they were, they were also following their main directive. Kill Goku! But they were also but, doing a whole bunch of other shit that was just fun to them because they were fucking right, around. Yeah, the teenager, teenager, yeah but to that same end, they're cyborg teenagers, yeah. not full yeah, androids. The difference is Cell needed energy. He needed more energy because that's why. Remember, he was going from town to town, absorbing energy, absorbing people. That's why energy. he needed energy because he was asleep for five for four years. That's why he was okay. like lowering his energy and sneaking and town think, so he can get stronger. Okay, so. You think that Kami wouldn't provide more energy than a bunch of shitty ass civilians? That's not my argument. That's not my argument's saying. a little different. That's not what anyone's saying. That's They're saying the reason why <laughs> Cell went from town to town is because, well, it's a quick fucking source of energy. That's right, fucking. Actually, no, no, no. It's another reason why he couldn't get. There's another reason why he couldn't. Like Kami couldn't help him, bro. He Kami mostly mostly used magic. He didn't use key. And. All right, so like, bro, what would be the point? What is Cell gonna? Uh, yeah, he probably get access to no, 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 no. magic. What but like, that, what would that have to do? Because guess what? He can still use instant transmission. Instant transmission is spirit control. No, it's not. What is that? Is yes, that it magic? is. What the hell is no, it's it? not. It's instant transmission it's isn't not. magic. It is spirit control. I'm not. It's I didn't say control. instant transmission. That had nothing to do with that. I no, didn't say anything about that. Here's the thing. Cell literally gains all of the abilities from whoever he absorbs. That's why Cell knows instant transmission because when he got, got DNA from Goku, part of the DNA he got from Goku was, well, that post your dragon DNA, which includes instant transmission. Right, but another thing that he should have learned was, well, the fucking Susano form, but, you know, retcons. What? Uh, Wait, Susano form? What? what? <laughs> yes. Okay, so while Goku was training on Yardra, it, instant transmission wasn't the only thing he learned. This was in Dragon Ball Super. Basically, it's oh, that no. um, the, oh. Yardra, the Yardrats actually have multiple techniques revolving around spirit control, and Goku knows the gigantification technique, which is basically just a giant key Susano. Okay, so that's what the three idiots keep showing off in their videos. I don't, I, I don't include Dragon Ball Super in that shit. I don't think. <laughs> see, I would never. See, see. Well, too never, bad this is bad. Bad. Okay, Indra, Indra, Indra there's your problem. Indra You're thinking with point. super logic. You're no, 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 I'm not even thinking about pre-super. Thinking about super logic. You're connecting Dragon the Ball. Magic, I'm just saying it doesn't matter, even if it was like magic, because well, first of all, Kami does have a does use key. He has a key. He system. does have key. He he, key. His main thing is magic, but he can he, use key. Creating every... I have a question. Is creating Dragon Balls constitutes does creating Dragon Balls constitute as using key or using magic? That's magic. magic. That's okay. magic. It is directly it's magic sure... that anyone who's in the dragon clan can use. Okay. Because so then they're able to use it too. Do we know for sure that Cell's able to use magic? 
No, we never seen no, him use that. No, because he didn't get the DNA from the Dragon Clan. He only got Warrior Clan DNA. So he he doesn't have magic like they do. He has, so, you know, no, the Dragon Clan. No, he has Piccolo's DNA, and Piccolo himself is able to use magic. He's able to No, use but that was when Piccolo was split together. He didn't have magic. I mean, no, no, Piccolo, he, no, magic. Piccolo, he Piccolo can, can use magic. magic. Piccolo, Piccolo, the Piccolo we know, you My know. Question. The question is, is it possible that maybe Jero specifically created Cell and only made it to where he could copy the... Because the thing is, Cell's a battle board. robot. Yeah, Cell's a like battle machine. Because I was saying, if he, if he, if Jero made him to where he could specifically only use key, then maybe it's not that he couldn't go absorb Kami, but it's that if he did, he wouldn't be able to actually do anything. He wouldn't really gain anything better other than yeah, just the yeah, has, exactly. has telekinesis. Cell has telekinesis. He can use telekinetic abilities and shit. So no, it's and not tele- just key. So telekinesis is magic. No, it's no, just it's like no, an it's extra not. ability that he just has. It's like a skill. Like, yeah, like it's not even like it's not just like he because Gordo's telekinesis like, also uses key. Uh, yeah, sort of like, I, I, I know, it, it, yeah, nah, way. you're gonna you're gonna have to explain time stop. That is it's, not key. It's, that is it's, not. It's, it's, fuck, the, uh, well, I can't it's explain time, time stop. Key? It's it's time stop. I can't exp- I can't explain time stop. I don't, I don't have a fucking answer. I don't know about that. Maybe it's some. I don't know about that. Maybe maybe it is. Maybe it isn't. I don't fucking know. No, oh, time, stop, time well, stop ability those... is not key. That is literally just like, the ability. Yeah, that's what about yeah, hit time... so hits time stop you think is magic. His time stop is a native thing to him. We don't know anything about his race. I was about to say that doesn't really up. under that doesn't really answer the question. Yeah. We just know like it's a native thing to him. That's all that we know. I can't answer that fucking question because all we know is oh, time stop is a thing that hit knows it's a native thing to him. Because I'm trying to like because the pieces that I'm putting together here kind of make it so that everyone's kind of right in this situation, because if creating Dragon Balls is magic and Jero specifically made it to where Cell can only use key-based attacks, let's just say telekinesis for just the sake of argument for a second is key, well, that doesn't make Indra wrong, but it doesn't make Jet and Xeno wrong either, because maybe what it is is that Cell knows of Kami, but also knows yeah, that they said he looked balls- it up the rob- Yeah, because remember, Jero didn't, when Jero found out about Super Saiyan, he was like, what? Because Jero didn't know what a Super Saiyan was. He would know what a Super Saiyan was if he followed him to Namek. I don't think anyone was arguing against that. Who no, but like, what? the whole thing was fucking, um, the, go- the thing was following Goku the entire time. No, it wasn't. Well, even if we say that it wasn't following Goku the entire time, let's say that it was. If it saw Kami, oh, but so it didn't go not... to Goku. To, it ended at Goku versus Nappa. It ended at Goku versus Vegeta. What ended at Goku versus Vegeta? No, it's what um, the the, the, the fights the robot recorded because they said it only recorded fights Goku had from. Goku it did record. Yeah, it only Vegeta. recorded the fights. And it so, only, yeah, it only... so how does it have Frieza's DNA? Because, because he went, Frieza came back to Earth. Yeah, he came back to Earth. That was after Goku and Vegeta. So if it only no, stopped I'm, there, no, then what the fuck? It, when Frieza That's came to we, Earth, when Frieza came future, to Earth in the future like, timeline that Cell specifically is from, Goku was part. there. Meaning it would have been able to get that data from that fight because it would have realized, oh wait, Goku's here. Hey, let me go get this fight. Kane, what but, did you okay, say? he said the robot only recorded the fights from Goku that Goku had. From Goku versus Tien to Goku versus Nappa. Nothing else after that. Goku versus Frieza on Earth would have happened after Goku versus Nappa. Yeah, when Goku came back to home. So when Goku came back home in the future. So there would have been, if it didn't record that fight, it wouldn't have had Frieza's DNA. Yes, it would, because Goku killed him. What? If Goku it only recorded... Okay, F- listen. F- listen F- to F- what I'm saying here. Listen to what I'm saying here. If it All only right. recorded... Up to Goku versus Nappa, right? That's how it gets the DNA, right? It records the fights. So if it only recorded up to Goku versus Nappa and Goku versus Frieza would have happened after Goku versus Nappa and nothing else after Goku versus Nappa would have been recorded, it wouldn't have recorded Frieza's DNA. It also, but to that end, it also by that logic, it also wouldn't have Vegeta's DNA. But it does have Vegeta's DNA, making what exactly. they said actually wrong. So, so this is just wrong. <laughs> so it record it record that was that's just wrong. But we it recorded all of his fights that he had on Earth. But then remember, then remember in the future timeline that both Trunks and Cell are from both versions of that timeline, Goku dies immediately after that fight. 
because he ends up with the fucking heart virus and dies not long after. Right, and <laughs> Cell would have had time to gather... Wait, hold on. No, he didn't die... Okay, the heart virus killed Goku... It, it killed long, him a few there years was a time skip. There was a time skip between the um the android showing yep. up and fucking um what yeah, the fuck was so it still would have had extra years to record more data. Yeah, no, 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 no. You're you're right. No, no Andrew, you're right. But because by that um, point, Goku, the world would be Goku at, died two and a half years after that. Peace. Goku died two and a half years after the uh mm -hmm. that whole shit. So by because, that point, um, the world would be at peace, and all he and the only data Jero would get from that was well. The data of the people he's fought already before. Between, yeah, data of people he already has. Mm -hmm. But then sometime later, right? Not long after that, Goku dies. He's not getting data from Goku anymore, so he doesn't care. Yeah, and he already has enough from Goku and Vegeta, so he doesn't need more Saiyan DNA. Reed says, remind you, these recordings that we, the audience, sees are the one for Cell in the main timeline. Future Cell will more than likely have DNA of Frieza. And he does have DNA, yeah. You're right. He has DNA from both of them. No, he don't, yeah, because they both came together. Future, the they thing is, right? Together, Future yeah. Cell is the cell from the. Okay, I'm gonna need to fucking explain this. Okay, so there's the cell we see is from a different, is from another fucking age line, He's, right? Mm -hmm. Then, the, then he comes back because in his timeline, Trunks had managed to go back in time to another time and destroy the androids. Yeah, no so then he. I was gonna say he in found this out that the androids in his time had been destroyed. So when yeah. Trunks came back to the future, after going back to the past to get fucking to be after going back to the past, he went back. He came back to the future. Uh, fucking Cell snuck him, killed him, took his time machine, left. Right. Yeah, yeah. Came came to came to our timeline, the main timeline, the one that we see. Buries himself underground for four years and leaves. Bruh. In this particular situation, the trunks, the trunks, the cell of the current of the main timeline actually does not matter. The only one that actually matters is the one from the future timeline. So it's that's the one. That's timeline. the one that Jeff was talking about. I was just the, about to say that. Like, yeah, I was about to, to say to explain everything cell... that everything that the cell from the current timeline, the knowledge that the current timeline cell has, doesn't actually matter. What matters doesn't apply. What, what matters is what the future timeline cell has seen, which could be vastly different from what the, the current uh, timeline cell is seeing. That could that's be That's what I'm saying. As the viewers, we could, well, yeah. what, the, the, If that's the case, then I don't, I don't see what the argument is here. Yeah, there's no point. In, yeah, there's really no point, because there's literally there's really three no versions of cell. Like, they there was no really point? What? <laughs> what? What? I, if there was no point to this argument, then why really is the argument? Like when he because really he brought up the about it, general, he brought he brought it up. So that's why he was this That's why he was like, bro, why he, like? So did Kami did Kami exist in the future timeline? Is what I want to know. Yeah, yeah, he did. He did, but he when Piccolo through. died, he died. And did Cell know that? Yeah, no, he no. didn't. Oh no, 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 no! no. He did know. He no, did. He did know. He did know. Okay. Did he know that they had a link together, though, is the question. He should have known, I, because he has Piccolo's DNA. That doesn't has, answer the and he question. Has knowledge. No, he has knowledge of all of Piccolo's abilities and that little life link. That would with, include that would the count. link with Kami. Yeah, yeah so he should have knowledge link. about that. He's okay. a, but he might not be. The thing is, we're assuming he's aware of all the things that he's connected to. That What that connection also details in full. Well, yeah, he does. Which we could, which we could assume he does. But again, no, it's that's not even us assuming. He he knows, like he straight up confirms that he knows. He knows everything about like the He knows he knows about his the in half. He knows about the Saiyan half. He knows everything about these. He people. knows about all of them. Okay. He knows about all of them. There's still there's still a possibility. Then this is one of the things that I was trying to get out to. There's still a possibility of a couple of things. Is a he does not have as much free will as he thinks he does, and his primary directives keep him from even cost, uh, constituting the idea of going to uh, of going to Kami to to get Dragon Balls and then use them, assuming that he can mm. use them to to bring seventeen to eighteen immediately to him. And B, even if we don't talk about that, there's still the idea that Digiro programmed the idea 
the ability to be able to use magical abilities because if he cannot use magical abilities then he can't create dragon balls to begin with so getting anything from kami anything from kami wouldn't even matter no because okay, he can't nope. use magic I found, it. I found it nope he can use magic because he's able to use um piccolo's materialization magic to create the uh, cell arena that's magic yeah, that's magic. The, oh yeah, because uh, remember he fucking he took a piece of the earth and cut it up. <laughs> not just uh, cut it up, but he also used like a beam and shit to not really like a I'm Yeah, he did use the um, materialization magic on the on the cell arena to create it. Yeah. Well then Yeah, he can off. use pick, he can use Piccolo's magic. He can use limited magic. He has a limited okay, so magic uses can because Piccolo he's not make, can Piccolo make Dragon Balls. No, we can't. No, because he no. not unless he's fact, not unless he's fused with Kami. But even then, Kami would have to be in control. So it would have to be. So the way it is now, it wouldn't work. Piccolo okay. would have to go into Kami control because he was so, stronger, and he, he said he would have dominant control. So in the yeah. future, in the future saga, Cell because this Cell's from the future, would Cell be aware that Piccolo and Kami have fused at any point? Yeah. No, he wouldn't. Well, no. He well, should. no, because the thing is, in his timeline, Piccolo and Cell would have never fused. You mean Piccolo, Piccolo and Kami would have never fused? Piccolo and Kami would have never fused. Because remember, Piccolo died, which means Kami died, which means they would have never fused. No, no, he would have. He would have not known that Piccolo and fucking Kami fused, but he would have known about their link together. Yeah, yeah, he wouldn't have known about their link. He didn't know that they weren't fused at all. Yeah, but like, if one of them's dead, then the other's dead. Right. But yeah. when he comes to this timeline, Piccolo is alive, which mm -hmm. he should know but that that would be Kami. But alive. also when he, but also when he comes to this timeline, right? He's now running on fucking main objective one, find the androids. He's but not worried the, about side objective, get Kami's data. The, he's not worried about side objective, fight the, all these here's motherfuckers here's who keep trying to get in my I way. This right here's the issue I have with this. Right, this is saying this is basically saying he can't go about. Of achieving his main objective in different ways. That's what you're right. Saying. That's very possible, though. That's very much a possibility. Oh, Hell, but I that's also only just not true. Except it, except it technically uh, could be because here's the thing: uh, when he learns that the androids were destroyed in his timeline, thus making his goal impossible, and he learned the person who killed them because he learned it, but when he heard it from, I think he, I think he overheard it from fucking Bulma talking to Trunks. So then, when Trunks came back, he snuck Trunks and killed him. That's the only reason he even thought to take his time machine because he saw Trunks come back in the time machine and killed him. I think right. to me that's that actually no, that's proving my point because that shows that he has other but methods the thing of is, achieving his goal. Yes, but the he thing is go. the only reason but the thing is the only reason that idea was even a thought in his mind was because his main directive was now incompletable no matter what he did. Right. So how come he didn't just die? <laughs> How can we just didn't say, oh, well, I'm, I'm, maybe he doesn't, just, maybe right, he doesn't have die. that programmed into him. Maybe he so, doesn't so, have that programmed into him. If he didn't hear that, right? If he didn't hear that, what was Cell going to do? Was he just going to roll out of the planet? He was, nothing. He, he, nothing. He just fucking wandered the earth until he either A, found out, or B, Yeah, he died. just wandered. <laughs> All just wandered. I'm, I'm purely trying to look at, at Cell from this angle in this conversation as a machine. And so I do believe that Jero just did not give him like a plan B. Like if your objective cannot be completed then you're useless. I generally Basically, say like the only like the only reason Plan B came about was because he overheard with the I conversation agree. with Bowman and Trunks. Right. And, and I agree that, with, and with that. And with that, he came up with a plan B. So it's very possible for him to literally just say, okay, there's another way to go about this. For sure. But to that extent, I would say that's probably the 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 narrowest the narrowest way to get back to his objective because going after Kami sure maybe he can use magic to then conjure up the dragon balls to bring the androids to him but what if that's not the quickest way to complete his objective like for him the quickest well, no, way it would have been just way faster physically. than the way he no it would have been way faster than the way he went in the main timeline that's for damn sure because the thing is in the oh, main oh, timeline oh, oh, he was effectively following their fucking energy signatures and they were just running around the entire planet. They so they were hiding from exactly. Him. It's like it it would have taken him a shorter amount of time for him to just fly up to the lookout, absorb Kami, wish for them right in the spot, than to just run and yeah. Chase because around. remember, now his main objective is achievable. Side objectives don't really matter. I don't know. Wait, I'm, wait, I'm, wait, I'm wait, 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 wait. I'm just kind of thinking. Is that would that really have been quicker? Because I don't know if it would have been. It would have been. It definitely would have. Doesn't, doesn't it take a while? 
to summon it the takes dragon, three though, days to get to it takes three days to get to the lookout but here's the thing right it he, takes he could, three days for goku kid goku that, that was kid goku I, I, that I'm was sorry, yeah that was kid goku at first but like yeah. bro we are at the point and he where had to niggas climb are literally, he had to climb the tower exactly he had to climb the tower we're at the point in the series where niggas can literally fly to planets in the matter of seconds it's there. not gonna take him three days to get to that look let's be real would he still have to physically climb the lookout though? No, he no, he just no. fly. He he'd he'd have to fly it. Well, okay, but that he is thing. He still, regardless, he'd still need to drink the energy from the towns, because he he wouldn't be able to do but, shit without the energy. By the time Merc already had the all the the abilities and shit. He already knew how to the fly. data and abilities. He just needed he just needed the fucking thing. Is he wouldn't be able to do it without the energy? You know what I think okay. it is. You know what I think it is. I just thought of something. What if he? It still would have made more sense for him to go to the lookout if he did not run into Piccolo. What if Piccolo okay. is the reason he did he didn't go to the lookout? Because well, while he was getting energy, then he runs into Piccolo, and that's how he learned of where of, of that the androids are still nearby, right? He's going to learn that some other way. Well, no, he knows the androids are around here. He just doesn't know. He doesn't have an exact location. He just knows they're around somewhere. I need to find these motherfuckers. Did he, so he's learn any, he's did, a, he, did he learn anything when he ran into Piccolo? He learned anything? He, he, learned, he learned Piccolo's energy signature, and this is important because that's what, by following Piccolo and 17's energy signature, he, find, he finds their fucking fight. Okay, so what if he, he was... He even, he even said this. He even said this. He even said this himself. The only reason he was able to find them was because of their fucking fight. What because he, he ran into Piccolo and followed that energy Piccolo. signature. What if that was a part? What what if that replaced the side objective of going to the lookout to find the androids? And maybe that was his original plan. But then once he runs into Piccolo eating while he's eating um, uh, people, then he realizes, oh, I I know an energy signature now. I wonder if he knows where the androids are. Let me wait and see if he can bring me to the androids. And then but I, I mean, that entire that time way. he's just gathering up energy. Exactly. Well, so he wouldn't even. It wouldn't even matter at that point. He's just eating people. Which yeah, he, again, he's, trying, he to make just his, he's trying to, to get the, energy. Which again, if he just went to the lookout and ate Kami, he would have gotten energy faster because not only would he have gotten more energy from Kami, but he could have used the Dragon Balls to wish for more energy and power. I don't know about that. I'm not. Gonna no, lie. he could have. He could have. It's confirmed in Dragon Ball Super superheroes that he could just do. No, that. no, 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 no. Dragon Ball Super. No, we're not worried about superheroes. Okay, we're not worried okay. About that even, trash even, movie. even. Listen, the movies no, don't matter. The we're movies are irrelevant. All right, let's go back to Z. He could still do that. Like he could still do that, but that's not in his fucking game plan. I don't. I don't know about that either. I don't mess with that either. Absorbing other oh, people. Good. Wasn't in his game plan. His game plan is to absorb seventeen. Well, when he can't, when he yeah, his game his main objective was capture seventeen Nick Dean, but he can't right. do that if he doesn't have the fucking energy to do it. So if he goes out to he was, wish for the energy, it would have been faster than just going out. Yes, but it. to that same end, right? He's gonna run into people on his way there. Why would he? Why fucking bother ignoring all of them and going straight for Kami when it's like there's energy right here or there's energy later? Which do you think and is time, you would get another, more energy later? Or you could just get yes, more he'd energy. get more energy later, but or there's a look. larger collective of energy right fucking here, right or now. So look, I feel like and uh, I need energy. I feel like the another reason why he couldn't reach Kami because he literally just recent, he recently just reached full maturity, and by the time he did, Piccolo already fused with Kami, so there's no point coming at the Kami. He didn't know yeah, that obviously. Time, he didn't know that yeah, obviously. Time, uh, Piccolo, when Piccolo fused with Kami, let me let me look at the chapter on this. When remember, Piccolo, Piccolo, when Piccolo fused Piccolo with Kami, fused, Cell was already out. Cell, Cell already reached full maturity because remember he had different stages. He reached his final stage and his imperfect. Form. He reached the so, stage just before first, and then came out. And because he, he, was, remember, he shed his he shell. Already, he already fused with Kami, so like, what's the point in doing all that? Okay, okay. So, Did he know that? That was the question. No, he didn't no, know he, that. But even he so, wasn't like when he fought as Piccolo, as he didn't know that. Would he have he been able to sense? Con okay, now I'm wondering. Would he have been able to sense that? Would he have been able to sense that Kami wasn't? No, he was realized it later. He realized that he powered up. Because hmm. I'm I'm thinking like maybe possibly he did think about absorbing Kami, but if he sensed that he wasn't on the lookout, then that would explain why he didn't bother. Because he's not. Yeah, because when he because when we first see Cell, by that point, Kami's already gone. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, I'm Kami's looking this. Gone. I'm looking this up. I'm looking this up. Yeah, right. because when we first see Cell, the first thing that happened when Cell first comes out, Piccolo and Kami both sense the fucking energy. Piccolo and Kami fuse, and then we Piccolo goes to investigate where that fucking random spike of energy just came from. 
Mm. Okay, no. Imperfect Cell's first appearance was after Piccolo fused with Kami. However, however, he did not reach full maturity after that point. He Yeah, no, he was no, already he at was full maturity in, at that point. Was, no, no, he was already fully mature. He was just in hiding. Yeah, 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 he yeah, was. He was, he was in really hiding cute. before. He was in hiding before Piccolo fused with Kami. Yeah, yeah, he, yeah, he, yeah that was the point in time he was in the fucking buried. No, 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 that was that, that wasn't the point in time he was buried underground. I'm saying he was already in his imperfect form. He was just yeah. in hiding so he can eat. He can get more energy because that was literally yeah, what that's he was what, doing. That's what I'm saying. He yeah, already reached. That's, that's the reason he why really, he didn't go after Kami though. By the he time really he would have had enough that's energy why. to reach that's the lookout, Kami was, was already fused with cells, so they were fused with pickles. No, no, so there was no, no bling. That's no. Com okay, first of all, first of all, raw cell. I'm being so serious right now. Raw cell would have body Kami. That's what I'm saying. Raw cell, even without absorbing any humans, he would have bodied Kami. But he wouldn't have the energy to get to the lookout. Yes, he that's would. what you're not under. Yes, he, he would. No, he's he, no, he wouldn't because he no, no, literally he, he would, but he, he would, but he still no, be he weak wouldn't. You want to know why? You want to know why? You want to know why? Because the first thing that he does is he sheds his shell, which is, he even states it That's left him pretty, it, it, it drained him. Yeah, he reached for maturity, but that left him drained. So okay. then he was hiding and eating people that entire no, no, time stop, to stop, refill Jet, his energy. Jet, Jet, you are literally sitting here and saying right now that a drained cell is weaker than kid fucking Goku. <laughs> 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 I mean, you laugh, but he it's has not a point. The point, the point. No, 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 no. Yeah, You are no, because what? No, you are literally you sitting here trying to convince I'm... me that a cell that shed his skin is weaker than a kid Goku. No, dumbass. What I'm trying to fucking get at is that he wouldn't have had the energy to fly to the lookout because he would have been too no, no, drained and exhausted. No, no, he would have the no, he would have had the energy to fly. He'd just be weaker than most of the cast. But stronger than Kami. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, stronger than Kami. But again, what's the point, bro? By the time he already reached full maturity and started eating people, I, the thing is, okay, right? Why? It's a Indra, Indra. But that effectively takes us back to our, let's say he does still have the energy to fly, right? That takes us back to our other scenario. You're running into free sources of energy on the way there. Even like, yeah, right. you're aware, like you get more energy later. But if you are looking, if your objective is, I need energy, I need energy, I need what energy. Was greedy? What if that was greedy, though? It's a ba basically the whole idea is, which would you choose? The energy that's right fucking there when all that's on your mind is, I need energy, I what need energy, wants, I need energy. Wants, or would you wait until you reach Kami, which is going to take a lot, a bit of good bit of time, considering this man was in the fucking These forest. Are faster than light, that's not going to take a good bit of time. Please stop. Please if he's stop. drained, if, he's, if, he's, take, if he's flying if, drained, not, he's not uh, being fast. He's not faster. They're not, A, they're not faster than light. You're B, okay. If he's okay. fucking drained, no, no, if he's no, fucking stop, drained. Stop, Jet, Jet. You're telling me that a drain cell is slower than Kid Goku because Kid Goku is faster than light. Kid Goku is not faster than light. Kid Goku that man, has, been, that light. man has outspeed light like three fucking times. In no, no, no he's more. fast, but he's not faster than the light, bro. He's yes, not. He is. Yes, he is. No, he's, he's not. not. No, he's okay. not. Okay, even if he wasn't Saiyan Saga Goku, Namek Saga base Goku, you're telling me a Namek Saga base Goku is definitely faster than light. Exactly. No, he's exactly. not. None of them. Are, a lot of them are are not fast enough. Stop capping! Don't don't make me do this. Don't make me do this. You you capping right now? You capping for this app? What, Stop in it! What, in what situations have they uh, been faster than light? Okay, so there was one time in OG Dragon Ball where Goku literally reacted to the um solar flare in the middle of it shining, not like while someone was putting up the putting up the signals over their face and shit to activate it. No, while it was being activated, Goku ran over, took off Roshi's glasses, put him on his face, and then ran back to the arena. Bro, All in the same second that shit was being acted. All the same second that, while that was activated. So does that confirm Bro, he just that had... faster than light at all times? That, that was just no, that just confirms reflex. that he's faster than Roshi. No, no, no. That wasn't just that wasn't just faster than light reflex. He ran. He traveled to Roshi from the arena. But you also gotta remember, he and Roshi that weren't mean. that fucking far apart. That was, that doesn't it wouldn't take long to get there in the back. center of the arena. The center of the Tenkaichi Budokai. Let me show you the size of the Tenkaichi Budokai real quick. Just for it wasn't even that big. What the it fuck wasn't that fucking big. big. The original was not. The original, not, the original that one big. that they fought in oh. wasn't that big. And they weren't that far apart. It wouldn't take very long to get to him and back. Okay, 
Okay, I'm going to find a picture of the arena so y'all know what the fuck I'm talking about. Does it, the give original the option, does it give you the option to present? Because if you present, I could just throw it up on screen. I don't know if it gives you that option. If not, you could always send it to me via Discord. I, he should have that option because I have that option, and I'm not a host or anything like that, so he should have it. Okay. Yeah, if you find it, just use the present button, and I can show it on screen. Like, because that that point about, like, even being, like, as like being fast enough to get to the lookout, I could buy that. But the thing that I wonder about is what if that was still a plan of cells, but since he's kind of greedy, like let's say he's like really greedy, maybe his plan was to eat all of the humans that were in that town and then still go after Kami afterwards he, and wasn't worried about it, running out of time or anything to do so. It is in his it is in his blood because like bro, he's like bro, he's power hungry and stuff like Freezing right. Vegeta. He has and his he, blood and he even so. yeah, and he even stated that the reason he was eating the humans was because he was hungry and needed energy. He, power he hungry, probably could have gone to Kami, like, yes, yeah. but there's energy right there. It's effectively there's a quicker source of energy here that I can get right fucking now. Why the fuck would I wait? That's <laughs> dumb. That is a very interestingly sized thing in my Bob. There are more pictures though. I'm gonna show Yeah, you there's more. more different depictions because it looks big right here, but in like in the manga, in certain uh, in scale, areas, like in actually, like they make it look small. big, right? But like in scale, like real scale, real time scaling it, right? It's not as big as it looks. If that makes oh sense. no, it's way bigger than this in scale because when close up, right? When we're close up, we can literally see characters running around the arena, like literally running yeah, around but we're also like, close like characters meaning but also indra here's a fun fact for you we're closer in the arena which means we are inside the arena's fucking dumb i feel like us as we're viewers in... they're just camera views so it's like obviously it's probably big i'm not denying like, view, it's like ob like it's big yes but it's not as big as we often see it hmm Okay, this one, this one in particular makes it kind of look a little tiny, to be honest with you. Yeah, that's, to, that, that's, hey, man, that's a, to that end, H, H, yeah. H, that's also a fucking high shot looking down at it. So, of course, it's going to look low, smaller. Because hmm. a higher up shot would make looking well, down would make, some, would make whatever in focus the camera look smaller. Either way, you slice it. Either way, you slice it. Goku literally taking the time to run over to Roshi, take the glasses off his face, and run back into the arena is faster than light. It is not just him reaching over to Rochi, grabbing the glasses, putting them on his face real quick. No, he's that, literally that doesn't traveling. Okay, how, okay, so if I shine a light, right? If I shine a light, right? And you move faster than the light that I'm shining, how fast are you? No, 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 no. That's not a similar situation. Shut the no, fuck. No. That's literally what the happened. Say, no, 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 look. The only reason I say is because before he even used the solar flare, that's when he took the glasses. He didn't oh, even you want me to play the clip. Okay, you want me to get the clip? I'll get the clip for you, stupid ass. All right. Go ahead and get the clip. He's not fast enough light. Andrew's freaking fighting this like someone's got his <laughs> <a> family. Bro, <laughs> I'm ready to I'm clown this nigga. I'm actually like, why are you though. fighting this so hard? Nah, I'm nah, nah, surprised that y'all are fighting back. Who's y'all? I'm kind of just listening to this, bro. This is great. Like I don't have Honestly, no I'm game just game I'm just trying to play fucking. I'm just trying to play middleman. Nah, Jack, no, you ain't playing yeah, middleman. You no, 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 Jack. You're you, you're getting legit most heated out of everybody here. I don't want to. Yeah, he is. He's because to everybody. Carl's right. Andrew doesn't want to fucking No, no, no. Shut the fuck up. I have to be Carl's fucking lawyer. Wait, wait, wait. I'm about to make y'all both look stupid. I'm gonna make y'all both look stupid. H, run the clip. Run the clip. I'm about to make both y'all look stupid. Let me pause it. Let me pause it. <laughs> I'm not even. Hey, look, I'm not even tripping, bro. It, it is entertaining. I'm not going to lie. This is fun. I can't even lie. I'm not even I'm tripping, enjoying bro. this. I'm not cussing or none of that stuff. Hold on. Skip to Idiot. You think. Skip to what? Skip to what? Where do I skip? Just 30 seconds. Just 30. Right there. Oh, fuck out of here. Fuck out of here. Oh, wh where's Goku moving before this started? We don't see him, so we don't I know. Didn't say that. Yeah, I was about to. I didn't okay, say okay, that. okay, go back. Let's 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 go. No, go back even further. Let's start the clip from the very beginning, just for this stupid ass to see it. You idiot! You think your infantile abilities can defeat me? Me? You're hardly even a challenge. Which was trash at first. Hold on. Look at him standing completely still. Pretty hard, bro. He didn't know he was gonna do, bro. Then prepare for my wrath. Fine. 
And see, see, no, pause it, pause it. Because in that moment, this man was ready to fucking move. He didn't know what the fuck do you to mean, ready, ready to move? To he literally <laughs> said, bring it. He's standing completely <laughs> still. That, 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 doesn't, stand that doesn't mean that he's not ready to do something, though. He's Just ready to move. Bring it on. Okay, okay, okay. So if he's ready to do something, right? If he's ready to do something, as in travel while this ability is going off before it blinds him, right? Because this is a light beat. This is literally light, right? He's ready to travel. If he wasn't faster than light, he would have gotten hit and he would have gotten blinded. Do we know for sure is, that this older player does travel at the speed of light, though? We yeah, know. exactly. That's the yes. thing. We know yes. It's light. I, yes, we know. It's, it's, it's light, but does it move at the speed of light, though? Yes. No, it doesn't. The solar, solar flare could mean oh that it just God. manipulate. Hold on, hold on. Let me explain my my reasoning here. I don't know if this is true, but it's called solar flare, right? What I'm gathering from seeing the the move the first time and seeing it other places, what I'm gathering is that it could be at the speed of light, or it could manipulate light. That doesn't does necessarily mean light. that it moves. It at is, the it, of no, light. it does not manipulate light. Yes, it does. No, it makes the light stronger. It makes the light blindingly bright. That's what it does. It's that's amplifying manipulating. it. That's manipulating it. Because if you can but find is, a right, specific... The, speed, the thing is, the speed of the light isn't changing. So it's still... So the speed of light remains the same. It's moving at the speed of light. Because you could convince me. If you can find a specific article or something, a wiki or something that says solar flare always travels... Because the thing the about solar of... flare, the way solar flare works, it just makes the power of the light stronger. But it's because light is always moving at the speed of light. It doesn't matter if it's stronger or not. It's still going to be moving at the speed of light. I'm gonna start. But the thing is, Goku doesn't need to be faster than the speed of light. He just needs to be faster than Tien, which I'm he's not in this instance because he's literally standing still while the attack is going off. This is crazy. This is crazy. Hold on, I'll be back. Okay, we we, we done we done interrupting me. All right, I'm gonna start my sentence again. If you can find me, because I can still be convinced otherwise, if you can find me something that specifically says that solar flare, what it does is instead of manipulating light, it specifically at all times will move at the speed of light and instantly blind you no matter what, then I could be convinced that that's what it does. But from what I've seen in the anime and what I've seen in the games and such, that's not what it does. What it so see, here's the do. thing, H. Here's H. H. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry for cutting you off again, but I, I want to like correct you on like this whole speed of light thing because of the by explain because the way solar flare because when you think about it scientifically, right? So all solar flare does, right? Both in series and scientifically, is it makes light strong enough to blind someone, right? Temporarily, it temporarily makes light bright enough to blind someone, right? And that's fine if that's what it because, is. That... But because, but but the thing is, it's just making it stronger. It's not changing the speed at which it's traveling. The the light that you are seeing is always going to be traveling at the speed of light that you, as a human being, are able to perceive it. Wait, wait, that doesn't make any sense. Wait, that kind of don't make no sense. Hold on. All I'm saying is that I can still be convinced otherwise because I've only seen okay. it in certain Carl, clips of the anime yeah. or in video games, and in those situations where I've seen it, that's not what it does. What it does is it just blinds people, and that could okay. mean that's moving at the speed of light, but that could also mean that it's just amplifying it. Okay. Okay. So I'm, so I'm like yeah. explaining to Carl what I'm what I what I'm trying to like get at, right? I'm explaining to Carl what I'm trying to get at. So what I'm trying to get at with Carl, this Carl, right? The thing about solar flare is that it is a blinding move. The way it works is because every time we see it used, it's always in the bright fucking daylight. It's never in the dark. You know why? Because that's when there's a lot of light already out. Because solar flare is a light powering move. It's making light stronger. It's like, not. Bro, I know slower. that, but it's like. Yeah, but like because the light's not getting any faster or slower, it's always going to move at the speed of light that a human can perceive it. So, it's like so if you, I were to, if like, so okay, basically you, to you like this. So basically, you agree with Indra said he's fast and light. No, no, what I'm trying to fucking <laughs> say to you, no, that's exactly what it is. But, no, what I'm, it's let me put it to you like this, right? I'm going to say to explain to you like this, right? Let's say I, I shine a I shine a light at you, right? Yeah, it's up on screen. You can take a look at that. Okay. Consistency, right? This is Goku training with Mr. Popo. Mr. Popo quite literally says <laughs> I love that fucking picture of Goku. <laughs> no, this is this is the copy Goku. 
right? Piccolo makes a cop, uh, not Piccolo, fucking Popo makes a po- a copy Goku. And in order to beat this copy Goku, Popo says he must move faster than lightning. Goku ends up defeating this copy Goku. Now, here's the funny part, right? Either lightning is one third speed of light or the speed of light based on the return stroke, which is the speed of light. But this is consistent with Goku being faster than light because he's faster than lightning in this here. Now, keep in mind, Tien is way stronger than this. <laughs> Tien is way stronger than this. But does that mean way he's stronger than this? Though? Yes. Because in no, Dragon Ball, no, no, shut up. In Dragon Ball, speed and strength are linked. I'll they are right, literally right. linked by by key. That don't make no sense. Fuck you mean it doesn't make sense. That's literally how it works. They literally explain this shit to you. But at this point, he's stronger than Tien, bro. How, no, what does that he's mean? Not. This was before he, yes, he is. this was before he was finished with his training. This was before he was stronger than Tien. Yeah, exactly. before this he specific was... instance. This specific moment is before he was stronger than Tien. That's what he's saying. That is no. Okay, Mm-mm. so let me ask you something. What do you mean, nah? Let, let me, let, see this nigga. See now you're telling you're talking about me not wanting to accept shit. This nigga is literally in denial. <laughs> How am I in denial, bro? He, right there, faster than lightning, and that was before he fought he's, here. He's he's faster training to be fast light. enough to beat me. Lightning, lightning, not light. lightning, but the thing is, is one Carl, third the speed lightning of lightning is light. one third the speed of light. If he's faster than lightning at the very, he can still be slower than the speed. Of, that's the thing, though. He can still be slower than the speed of light if he's faster than lightning. But here's the here's the funny thing, right? Here's the funniest part about this, right? Goku in this instance may or may not be three times weaker, right, than the one that fought Tien, and he's sure as shit three times weaker than the one who fought Piccolo Daimao, and he's sure as shit three times weaker than the Goku fought Radix. Okay, yeah. <laughs> okay. So what you're getting at is, as Goku right. gets older, he become he eventually gets fast, strong enough, and fast enough to be faster than the speed of light. Even if we went that route, right? Even if we went that route, because I can believe that. We, I, I even no, expressed this. I can be, I can be sold like base Goku and Namek was faster than the speed of light. Even I can be convinced on, that. on that. that. Even based on that, there is no way in hell that a weakened cell would be weaker than the Goku who fought Raditz, who would definitely be. Faster and stronger than this kid Goku by leaps and bounds. Okay, so there's clearly a misunderstanding. I never said he would be weaker than this Goku. I'm not trying to imply that. He definitely didn't sure, say that. But he sure as shit would be faster than him. That's the thing. He sure as shit yes, would be faster. Yes, but the thing is, the thing is, this is a thing that we see consistently, right? When you're tired, when you're drained, it's a lot harder to fly. It's a lot harder to fly at a consistent speed. So yeah, Cell would still have the energy to fly, but he wouldn't be able to fly soup that fast. Yes, he would. Okay, be- okay, okay. A He'd be fast, cell. but because he's super fucking drained, because he was asleep for four years, and then immediately did something very fucking draining, he's fucking... Sh- that's like trying to run a mile when on an empty stomach, bro. You know how fucking exhausted and you're, you're going to be after that? Jet, you know how exhausted jet. you're going to be doing that? Jet, Jet, Jet. He is not fighting Vegeta. He is not fighting Piccolo. He's fighting fucking Kami. If he, Dickhead, it doesn't matter. It bitch. doesn't. No, no, Jet. It doesn't matter if he is tired or not. If he pulled up on Kami, he would kill him. No one's talking about fighting Kami. I'm talking about getting there. Yes, getting there. Getting there is. And easy. getting there is gonna be it's a. F- getting there is. Getting there would also be a fucking hassle because he'd be drained. No, it would not be that simple, much of a yes. hassle. He's fast enough. Okay, look. If he's faster than this kid Goku, it would literally take him about three seconds. You're telling me this nigga can't fly for three fucking seconds to get to the lookout. <laughs> <laughs> hey, well, he you, probably could. Hey, well, but to the end, but to the end right? To the, because I'm trying to explain to him what I'm trying to fucking get at, right? But to that end, it's effectively a situation of you're starving. There's food right here, but there's more food at the end. If you're fucking hungry and your immediate thought is, I need food, I need food, I need food, you're not thinking logically. You're thinking, oh, I need food, I need food, I need food. To sell, these people were food. Their energy was food. When he he has to pass by them and ignore them 
to get their fucking energy. That situation is completely nigga, different, bro. Nigga, that situation. Nigga. Okay, different. okay, nah. If you have a bag of chips on the table, the bag of chips is right in front of you, but there's a pizza, like, <laughs> slightly across the fucking room, nigga. It's just like, okay, well, I'm hungry, so I- I'm just gonna stop and eat these bag of chips before I ever go to the pizza. Just go to the fucking pizza. It's literally just two extra steps. That's basically the equivalent of how fast Cell would move. It's literally just two yeah, extra steps. Yeah, but you also gotta remember whose DNA he has. Frieza and Vegeta. Power hungry people. Greedy motherfuckers. They're not gonna yeah. take their fucking time. They're gonna try to get all the energy that they could. And you know who else he has? Piccolo, someone who actually thinks. He has Z Goku, someone who actually thinks, surprisingly. Sometimes. Well, cra- cra- no, not sometimes. All the time. It's just sometimes. crackhead think. It's crackhead think, what? but it's still okay. thinking. Crackhead think is not thinking, bro. Uh, I was about to say, crackhead thinking could tell him, hey, let me snort the crack that's on the, the right yeah, exactly. that's instead of going to the crack also. house to go crack, like smoke the bigger crack over at the crack house. <laughs> also, you are really discrediting Vegeta's intelligence by saying, oh, well, he has Vegeta. You know, he's a power hungry individual. Yes, Vegeta is power hungry, but he's also smart with him being power hungry, which is why he was able to completely jack Frieza's shit and snatch all of his Dragon Balls because of how smart he was with it. Know if that's intelligence, bro. That was some high level intelligence because he tricked him and he knew that he couldn't sense energy without a scouter. So it's like exactly. Mm-hmm. All right, I guess he's that makes him like bro. ten times smarter. I guess he's pretty smart then. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, but he's not dumb. But I don't oh, no. know if he if he saw if he saw that there was one dry if he if he saw okay so I I could get stronger if I fought this person right here but i could get way stronger if i fought that person all the way over there vegeta's gonna go all the way over there to get way stronger that is a fact and you're that's saying that's he wouldn't fact. fight any of the people in front of him like he would just ignore them like he's literally just gonna be like yeah you niggas ain't gonna get me as strong so i'm gonna go fight this nigga what's an example <laughs> of him doing that hmm? what's an example of him doing that I mean, he literally had Nappa fight all of the Earthlings by himself. Because he all he wanted to do was fight Kakarot. Exactly. Because he knew Kakarot was way stronger than them. Mm-hmm. Hmm. I guess that's fair. Well, then I don't know. Why wouldn't he go that's to the lookout, the then? Mm-hmm. I guess that was just a greedy bitch. He wanted it all. Hey, that, which, funny enough, was also his downfall. I, I wanted it all. I'm just gonna leave it at that, honestly. Like that's how it is. Man, no, I don't. I, I never really gave much of a shit about this to begin with. I know. Ne- I didn't either. I just started fucking. I, I don't want to entertain this yes, fucking conversation. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. No, he definitely did. He why did why entertain this. Don't sit here alone. This, no, this nigga Jet, no, this nigga Jet will argue with you for two hours and then say he doesn't give a fuck afterwards. This man's a liar. This man no, was no, fucking no, everything. No, this man was fucking. <laughs> Carl, okay, and you can't even use cussing because I curse all the fucking time. I curse well, even no when shit, I'm calm. Yeah. yeah, yeah, no, dumbass. So that doesn't even fucking mean shit. Drop that shit. Get that shit. How does that? How does that Take not mean? Costco, in terms of situa- bro, literally the whole argument. You you was cussing and then you said, <laughs> like, <"What?" laughs> I don't care. I curse all fucking daily. I curse yes, even you when did. I'm you not was cussing, Bro, you was cussing at me and Andrew. You was going back and forth between both of us. I curse me. even when I'm not <laughs> angry, though. I curse even when I'm not heated. That's not my fucking point. My point is, I curse. I curse a lot even when I'm not heated. I and I'm not denying that. Be fucking calm. And I'm not denying I'm that. Right I'm just... I then then your point's fucking irrelevant, dummy. How's it irrelevant? How's it irrelevant? He's doing it again. He's doing yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. Because <laughs> <laughs> what you're saying is dumb. How, how's what I'm saying is dumb? Because if I curse all the time, because I curse all the time. No, because if I curse, because shut the shut your burnt black bitch ass and let me fucking talk. He's doing it again. Because what what I'm fucking saying is, if I curse all the time, even when I'm not heated, even when I'm not going, why would it fucking matter if I'm cursing a lot, even when I'm fucking going? Because in this situation, you said that you didn't care, and you clearly did. Because now that I fucking calmed down, I realized this was fucking- Oh, oh, so it's, okay so-, for you to lose. so it's okay for you to care as long as you're not heated. But if, as soon as you're not heated anymore, then you want everybody to get off your back about it. Like, yeah, oh, he's, he's, he's only saying that again. He's only saying he didn't care because you said that. <laughs> no, dumbass. I'm saying it because yes, it I stopped now. No, dickhead. If you would just shut up and, and he fucking finish my sentence. <laughs> 
Hello, Pedal. My name is. What Pedal. the fuck you laugh? Wait a minute. We are talking about talking over people, bro. <laughs> yes, <laughs> hey, that's, that's just problem too. He be talking over people. I was trying to talk over him like five times. This man was going all in, bro. Cause fucking. <laughs> they injure you. Won the argument. How do you feel? Was that worth two hours of your life you'll never get back? Yes. I don't think. <laughs> <laughs> yes. You're insane. Hey, you're thinking you're of myself insane. now. Absolutely. Because I'm, I'm sitting here thinking to myself now, this was stupid. Why did I do this? It was why funny. did I let him drag me into this? this? But yes, it was stupid. I don't know why. I don't know why. Like, I really don't know. That's, that's, that's what I was fucking asking care. myself. Like, realistically, this was dumb. Why did I care so much about like, this? I, learned I guess I just wanted to prove him wrong. I learned a few things, but it's shit that I'm not going to be able to, like, what am I going to be like? Oh, I learned today that the solar flare doesn't actually move at the speed of light. How the fuck am I supposed to be like, Get a girlfriend like, hey, did you like, you know, I see a girl like fucking Dave and Busters. I want to get her attention. I was like, hey, did you know that TM Solar Flare doesn't freaking travel at the speed of light? And she's like, like, okay. Oh, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> like, okay. Like, what is that? Like, what, is, what the fuck is that? It's like, damn. I was in a whole well, two hour that, seminar that I No, nah, hold on. Pause. If that bitch ain't interested in that shit, she not a keeper. I, oh hell no! This is <laughs> crazy. This about the speed of the solar flare. Then I guess you know she just ain't a real one. Mm -hmm. like, she ain't a real. She ain't hey, a real I know why this this got me going so much. Because what it? Because the same reason I was going at Carl. What Indra said felt stupid to me. And, and I hate stupid that shit. And me getting all heated in fight because I said freaking Elise had more fucking agency than Sonic did in Sonic 06. And at the end of it, I was just like, okay, he can have more agency. I don't give a fuck. You were literally the because only what I was because. <laughs> because what I was trying to get across to you was that, yeah, Elise has a lot of agency, but she's not the only person in 06 who has a lot of agency. I didn't. That was never. You weren't listening. I didn't say that. He that's what you were fucking. I, that's not what I said. What I said was specifically. <laughs> answer. No, you can breathe hard as much as you want. You <laughs> that's not what How I said. How about I bring your fucking ear then? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I gotta get the fuck no, out okay. of Y'all are fucking weird. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, and you're nuts! Like, in this particular episode, y'all were definitely weirder than me. No, y'all can have all of that. Y'all can keep that. He like, said we're not, we're not weirder than that. Shane. That's for sure. That is true. Yeah, I don't there think we, I don't think any of us will top Shane's weirdness, Mister Purging the fucking own a hole. Every Jesus Christ, he's never gonna live that shit down. No, he's not. Oh no, God. we not live with Jet live down either, bro. Talking about something but being sticky and shit. <laughs> Absolutely not. I'm still on the fucking. I'll fucking stick you. Oh my Whoa. god. Whoa, you did it again. No. What? Not like that, you fucking weirdo. Whoa. Hi, everybody. 